Hello, everybody. We are here. It is Monday. You're too long with it on my own. Here we go. It's Monday. Thank you for coming to the show. Oh, we're going to have a great week of shows for you. Oh, today we have so much good stuff to talk about and to joke about. We'll have so much fun. The weather's beautiful, not a cloud in sight. Yeah, thank you, everybody. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's had this song stuck in my head all weekend. And it is so good. It is actually so good. Shout out to the Jersey Lawman. And Vampira XOXO, our winners of the fantastic uh, tournament we ha- that we had on uh, Friday. Yeah. Although, Sam, I have to tell you, um, it wasn't that song that dominated the space in my mind this weekend. It was, frankly, Grim is Shaking Fortnite. Shake Fortnite. Do you have that, Zach? I can pull it real quick. Because we're gonna need. Because that was in my that was in my head. <laughs> That's a jammer. You want the remix or you want her? No, I want her original. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. I mean, of all the beautiful stuff we heard, and fucking Sam is in my head. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for being here. We got a great show. We got. I hope you guys like the thumbnail. Actually, uh, this one was particularly good. Can you send it to me, Cam? I want to. Appreciate it on screen. Sure, one sec. And frankly, I'm surprised we never made this comparison earlier because they fit so well together. I've, it's, had, I've had this in my mind for a minute. It's seamless. It's uh, in the chamber, but now it's out. Bateman, that's his name, right? Patrick yeah. Bateman. Yeah. Patrick Bateman and David Dobrik. I mean, h- how much fudging did you do to make this look like one face? How much? Uh, uh, just on the nose. That's it. Just the nose just a little fix bit. The nose a little bit. Golly, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. So that's uh, Dobrik and uh, Bateman, mm-hmm. obviously. So they have the same laugh. With the tongue and everything. So um, apparently he's hurt another person. He's, they're coming out against Dobrik. It's, the year is 2020. There's also some new James Charles tea, but I guess we're going to s- look into that a little more. But I was like, yo, what year is it, you guys? 2020. Let's get Trisha in here and talk about it. What year is it? Exactly. Um, here at the top. Last night we let yeah. the Rizzler talk. Even Livy Dunn was getting rizzed up by baby Gronk. Mm. He said that her gyat was so Ohio and skibbity. Even Kaisen, Nat, and I show speed hitting the gritty. Damn. A grim is shaking Fortnite. That's so true, though. A, A grim, grim is shaking Fortnite. Fortnite. That is so good. Ian, are you the proud? Um, you got to be proud, man. You got to be beaming with pride. I'm over the moon. Yeah. I was there for the process. She you know, had, she had a notebook. She was asking me for like hours. <laughs> You, she was asking for She's feedback. Like, How could I shoehorn in uh, the gritty? Can I oh. can I give you a little uh, a little trivia that you could add to the genius profile? Ian and I were actually playing Fortnite while she was writing in the background. I could hear you heard that over happening? the headset. Wow, the, the creation process. Yeah. Did you guys win? We always win. Yeah. Fat dubs, right, Ian? Fortnite. We actually won always. that game. I think you know what we lost that one, but I think it was only because Ninja was in it. Yeah, yeah, Tfue, Tfue. yeah T- Ninja and Tifu fucked us up. Yeah, that's fine. Tifu, more like P U. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Anyway, um, <clears throat> thank you, Sam. Uh, quickly at the top here, I want to say that um, Black Friday is still happening. I don't know what's left, but let's take a look. Get your Christmas shopping, your holiday shopping in now, up to 60% off. Um, Get it now, guys. There's also, if you go to the the search thing, no, not that. How do we do the, 
There's a way to sort by like size and stuff. I don't know. Filter. Where is that? I thought probably, it would be here. Probably on the best tab, huh? Or at one. Maybe do I need this to... filter? This filter. Do I need to open it all the way? We can work on. There you go. Okay. So, eh, we can work on making that a little more accessible. But anyway, if you click filter, you can organize by size, color, price. I'm telling you guys, you will find something you love here at teddyfresh.com, Black Friday sale. Also, if you want some of the timeless H3 memorabilia, the H3 trading cards are on sale. All proceeds are going to the crew. Get them now at trdng.shop. Got them right here. There it is. The there's, a, there's all kinds of beautiful. There they are. Yeah. Those are the ones that are being sent straight to you. Thank Thank you I think we're Here's almost out of the red ones. Um, so get them while they last. The green yeah. ones are, are, are uncapped because it's a pre-order kind of thing. But the red ones are the ones that will show up before Christmas. And uh, I think supplies are dwindling fast. I don't think there's many left based on what I understand. But, but it's like a hun couple hundred. A couple yeah, hundred. You better yeah. get in there fast, yeah. boys and ladies and girls and everyone in between. Mm. Here's a free sample. So that's it. Woo. Thank you. That's All right, cool. Gambit. Okay, wow. Gambit. Okay, Gambit. Now that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> wow, 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 Jesus wow. The king, dude. Um, one thing I want to ask. People have been saying since I got this rash around my eyes mm. that, oh, Lupus. you look, you look sick. You look unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with you. What I don't understand is when Pete Davidson has butthole eyes, everyone talks about how hot he is. Mm -hmm. But when I get butthole eyes, then it's like, don't come near me. What the fuck? His aren't red, right? Yes, they are. They're super fucked up. Looking. Really? Sometimes they're red. Oh. So like, where, why, yeah. what's the double standard? I but. think maybe it's not, maybe it's not the eyes. You His know what I mean? Like maybe it's not the eyes that are making Pete super hot maybe okay. it's possible it's helping. he is it's in spite he, of. he has sleepy eyes you don't look sleep <laughs> hold on you said <laughs> olivia hold on okay. you said previously if i recall correctly that you like guys with butt that butthole look specifically i'll be honest like i look at him and i think he has beautiful eyes <laughs> like, like i look at that photo and i'm like wow look at his eyes you, they're really pretty. but look these aren't like really red it's more just like dark and like he's My really tired eyes. i think he's it's more emaciated because you said you like starving heroin boys <laughs> i don't think she ever the, said the that. type no, varies however did. that has been a type that has yeah. existed in my past well, he definitely embodies that. Okay, so it's less red and more just emaciated. Mm -hmm. So maybe get yours to be a little less red, a little bit more emaciated, and then we'll talk. Okay. You well, I'm not. Say, Olivia, by the how way, do they not, look now? I'm not guy, and just not so it's not weird. I'm not trying to get Olivia to say she's attracted to me. Oh my god, absolutely. Let's just, I, I I'm just saying in way. general, the the uh, the uh, audience, I'd prefer some. You know, more compliments. Ah, uh, he's yeah. hot. Look Less, at his eyes. Oh my God! Look at him. He looks terrible. He exactly. Looks like shit. He looks ah, like he's look dying. how hot What's, he is with his eyes falling yeah. apart. Yeah. If your eyes make you feel pretty or not? My eyes make me feel like I have hamburger fucking eyeballs, dude. I'm seeing people in the chat that that. point out that it it may be partially because of the fact that he supposedly allegedly has a giant dick too. Okay, well, you just haven't heard the rumors, but people say that about me too. Well, I've heard. Rumors, but they're not the same kind of rumors. <laughs> and what, what do you mean by that? It's going in the opposite direction. You have not. Well, wow. Who have you heard rumors about From that you. Yet? You saying it on the show all the time. I never said I have a small dick. Somebody, it's too. Wait, somebody what? pull up the compilation. You. All right, I may have said I have a <laughs> tiny Jewish dick. Yes. God. I have small dick energy. Can you guys please stop using my own words against me? <laughs> also, <laughs> this, also, this is Perhaps. what's been going around. Whoa. Whoa! And again, where's the Ethan's hot compilation? No, <laughs> what's happening? It's this. Jeez. Ethan wants chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Me when I see, uh, oh brother, where art thou? Chocolate. This is right before you know you hated to hear it, but this is the face you make when you start floating to the pie. Yeah, I don't hate to hear it. I I I, I accept it. That's I'm excited. You know, I'm ready. I want chocolate. Damn. It means you care. Sure, do care. Wish more people cared as much as I do. I wish I had chocolate right now. We have a bunch. It's not the yummy. You can one. make your wish. I, wish. I want our brother chocolate. Yeah, I want more brother chocolate. I got this email from the 
Oh Brothers guys this morning, because I keep saying, where's my chocolate? You just sent me this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't you think you're leaning into it a little too hard there, buddy? Still haven't got any chocolate from him. <laughs> um, what else I got here? Another um, uh, important note to make at the top of the show is that for everybody to <laughs> go to Google and type, here I'll do it, we can all do it together. <laughs> go to Google and search failure podcast, just that. And then what I want you guys to do is look for um, our website. I only say to search failure podcast because it's easier to typing in that super long URL. It's so easy to right. do a typo and then yeah. you could. One typo and you're done. You know? So go here and then click our website and then give it a read. This is to people who haven't read it or people who want to brush up on this uh, for uh, upcoming podcast. What was it that you Googled? Thank you. Failure podcast? Yeah. Yeah. It's important. Thank you. Just... Why did I see Jay Shetty on there? Wait, what? Wait, Where? scroll down. Scroll down. I just saw Jay Shetty. You did there. not. Keep going. Right there. Jay what Shetty the podcast. fuck, bro? He's following. Get him. the <laughs> fuck out of my life. <laughs> Why is Jay Shetty here? One week ago, too. Jay, Jay, Shetty, Jay Shetty's rating above Ryan's podcast more than us. Yeah. No All right, I'll problem. click it. I'll take the Shetty bait. again. I think envy is the thief of joy. Where we run mm, into problems so is when we stop admiring those people and we start wanting what they have or feeling I like I should have gotten what they got. I don't Organizational buy psychologist it. want to bring in best selling author Wharton's number one going wow. I'm skipping. What is that comment? sweater, Whoa, man? He looks, he looks awesome. Fly. That's awesome. Bro, what the fuck? Why do you look like Santa Claus from like the 80s Coca Cola commercials, bro? Oh, look at that mock. Hey, those are pe first of all, those are Pepsi colors, clearly. <laughs> what is that? He's always in like the craziest designer clothes. Yeah, like, be, can you be humble? <laughs> he's fit. What you really gonna have a book nice. in the background called Bel Air Virgil? Uh, Virgil Abloh. Obla? Ablo. Ablo. Designer. <laughs> Obla go. Obla da. And then like, what are these? What are these fucking things? Are, getting... are these streamos? Uh, those are streamies. Yeah. What's this? Okay, bro. It's know. not an Academy no. Award. Chill the fuck I don't out. Know what they're because <laughs> we don't have any, so I don't know what they look. What like. are those? He's not getting awards from anyone else. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Are you seriously gonna come out here in that sweater? Started. Go ahead. I can't wait to go on this journey with you. Thank you so much for subscribing. It You're means welcome. the world to me. The best-selling author and host. The number Oprah. one health and wellness podcast. He's, He's better. He's on the OLED. Like, why is growth important? And I know it sounds, it You're may sound like a stupid again. question. It may sound like a... It is a stupid a silly question, thing to talk Jay. about, Especially on a show like this. But <laughs> I find the people I talk to... Do we need a second angle profile shot? That is so pretentious. <sighs> I call this out every time. We don't need a second profile shot. It allows okay. you to cut around seamlessly. Okay, well, we don't fuck around, bro. We do it like we never miss. If we need to cut around something, I hit a button, man. <laughs> All right. Cut. Cut. Uh, so we got some stats here, too. Oh, you want me to pull these up? Yeah. This I'm is our article? Yeah, I've been going through the stats, and quite frankly, that, um, what's it called, uh, average engagement time is pretty low. We need that up a little bit. I'm Spend thinking, more time reading the article? Yeah, read it twice, you know, as you remember. But. To further... Right. To further... Like, well, maybe we should add stuff. more, I don't know, maybe so... We should. ...an additional information as it's released, as we learn more... Read it! it it'll be a, like a live update vlog. Yeah. We'll add more information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like that. Very good. Do you guys want to, maybe y'all would just like if I just watch Jay Shetty podcast, because apparently it's so much better than this one. Maybe I'll just play his podcast here. here you know, maybe maybe people finally come watch our show when it yeah. becomes more like Jay Shetty and less like me. I idolize being average. They think it's good <coughs> enough. Good enough is good. I find that we are wired often to want things to stay exactly the same. We like how they are. Why should we get better? Why should anything get better? We should be satisfied. Nobody believes that, Jay. <laughs> oh, I just think I'm totally cool just being a lame, stupid idiot all the time. I don't want to prove anything. Said nobody. Everybody wants to do better, be better at something, man.
And it's not all just about making money, Jay. It's not about financial success, Jay. It's about personal growth sometimes. I don't know why I have to teach this to you. Satisfied with what we have. And often in the guise of contentment and peace, there's a sense of lethargy and complacency that, well, we don't need to grow because you're just being greedy. So I'm presenting a what? spectrum of ideas there. I'm happy for you to dive into any of those. But why does getting better and improving matter at all? This is fast. Why doesn't... What? Okay. All right. Go ahead, dude. I know you can take the bait. Go ahead. Nobody's ever asked me that before. And I, frankly, I think I've taken for granted. Oh, look how happy he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's so annoying. Mm -hmm. Look how fucking happy. Why did he have to say that to him? It's, you know what I mean? Like, look how happy he made him. And He's that pisses enough. me off. That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Her. Look at this. this. Frankly, I think I've taken for Look granted that, that oh, growth yeah. is just oh, intrinsically yeah. enjoyable and motivating. I mean, I think you've made a case that no one needs that profile shot. <laughs> and <laughs> it's our oh, guys, no, 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 don't do that. What do you mean? I didn't ask for that profile. We've always shot. had this. No, we have not had that. That's your favorite shot. You say that's a special shot. But You're just trying it. to distinguish yourself from Shetty. I get it. He's the king. You want to carve your own space in the no. podcast sphere. Mm -hmm. but, Guys, um, I was saying, nobody I really think needs it, I really a profile think it's advisable. Shot. I really think it's advisable you use the shot. You really think like, oh, this is interesting. Did okay, now this is more shots? interesting. No, dude, it's trickery. Stop. Stop. Shots. One my, shot. In my professional opinion, you, you need the shot. I'm not going to allow this. I'm going to do like this. <laughs> Try show me the side shot. Oh fuck! It looks even better. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the front. Show the side. That's chic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There. Okay. Who's got a side? At least it's different. At least you see in the back of my head, not the side. This is a different perspective, as Gary Vee would say, which is so important. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna listen to this guy. Maybe some people are not motivated by growth. I think that. Why do you say growth like <laughs> that? <laughs> Great. Fuck. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I think you made a case that maybe some people are not motivated by growth. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Why would? Why did you say that like that? Yeah, dude. He's so annoying. <laughs> Zach, you gotta oh pull that. <laughs> you got it. Well, and motivating. I mean, I think you made a case that maybe some people are not motivated by growth. I go around. <laughs> what happened, yeah, bro? Dude. What? Is, what was that, man? Come on. I think that where I might push back on that is to say we live in a world that glorifies performance. So, you know, people feel True. like if they want to be respected or celebrated, Sorry. they need to win a medal. They need to earn a trophy. Uh, All right, I'm out. Listen, the one person I really want to see on Jay Shetty is uh, Boogie2988. I think that they would have a really fascinating conversation, Zach. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in... 2006, 2007, <clears throat> I am disabled, mm. uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental right. health issues that we bring to the table. No, okay, and all right. It's not that, and not that good, actually. It's not that good. Buddy. And then physically, uh, <laughs> I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references. Uh, okay. No work history. All right, it's just and no education. Laying it on and a little bit. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I Ugh. beat beat my ex-wife, no. and I am also a pedophile. Buggy. Should mention I'm also a felon. Ugh, okay. Jesus. Uh, right. What's the nature of it? Oh gosh. Oh, you found the sweater. Nice. How oh, much is this? You. I bet one thousand three hundred. You're gonna sit before us. Mm. A modest, isn't he supposed to be like a Buddhist? What does Buddhism no. say? No, <laughs> he's hin Hindu. Oh, I thought he was a monk or something. Was it a Hindu monk? Okay, he was a monk, yeah. all right. What does Hindu monks have to say about $1,350 Stella McCartney sweaters? It's Stella McCartney, yeah. Probably okay. that shit looks fire on Stella McCartney. Okay, Buddhists <laughs> love Stella McCartney and he's not Buddhist. Monks love you. Really, you really think Stella would <laughs> the be? The words were jumbled in my brain. Everyone loves it. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen. I didn't even want to be here talking about Jay Shetty. I literally was just talking about Ryan's podcast, and somehow it pipelined me into this. It's radicalizing me. This is. You remember how like 
<laughs> you remember how like white nationalism videos were being recommended? Right, yeah. <laughs> it was like a radicalization pipeline. That's what this is. Yeah, you're in the Shetty. The Shetty pipeline. Shetty Shetty's pipe. What the fuck, dude? Pipe and Shetty. That was a really, really... Yo, let's go to popular. Who's, who? Maybe some who? people are not motivated by growth. Growth. <laughs> I am, I am <laughs> motivated by grit. What, what is? By growth. <laughs> grit. What is that accent? Does anybody have any? It sounds like a surfer, bro. Mm. He, he sounds American. Grit. I don't think he's, I don't but you think. You saying other words. Kind by of growth. Like too. What he region? sounds like a cartoon character. Talks like this. Grit. He's got that decay, dude. And, mm, growth. And the growth. Maybe some people are not motivated by growth. <laughs> Wait, his number one guy twice. Who is this guy? Wait, we gotta reach out. Who is this guy? <laughs> Doctor Joe. They love him. Doctor I don't know. Doctor Joe Dispenza, because he Dispenza. The... Hold on. Can we reach out to Doctor Joe? <laughs> I want to get into the Shetty Pipeline. Doctor Joe. Go to Dispenza. Joe. People lose their free will. Let's see. What, what is he on about? Let me see. Programs, and it's that uncompromising will where you keep. All right, get on with it. I that. think the most. Beautiful and by the way, this is oh, this is from five months ago by growth and grass grass <laughs> Powerful thing in the world <clears throat> is a repetitive thought But sometimes the most dangerous thing in the world is a repetitive thought Absolutely, and we think about the most beautiful things we create is because we're obsessed with this new idea And this new thought that we want to build something but <sighs> at the same time we know countless people Who they have a thought every day that says I'm unlovable I'm on Jay. I'm here to. I want to hear from the guests. You don't have to monologue this long, man. Everybody already loves you. You don't have to win anyone over. Uh, uh, Joe Dispenza, right? Yeah. National speaker, doctor of chiropractic. No, no way. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. serious? He got in a cycling accident in 1986 and he checked out the hospital <laughs> and worked on uh, having his mind heal his vertebrae. No! Six compressed, yeah. No! He was left in a serious cycling accident that left him with six compressed vertebrae. Doctors told him he may never walk again and recommended spine surgery. Instead, the doctor claims he checked himself out of the hospital and dedicated himself to reconstructing his vertebrae with his mind. No! <laughs> That's fucking sick, dude. No way, this guy's. Well, isn't that a, a Dr. Sarno theory? No, Dr. S no, his theory is that stress can create back pain, can manifest in back pain, not using your brain to rearrange your fucking <laughs> bones together, man. This guy's like the ultimate chiropractor, right? <laughs> like, here. That's, that's crazy. Sick that he can do that. <laughs> oh my God. Growth. <laughs> Griff. Well, this seems like all the more reason to have him on. I'm gonna call him out. Bring. I want to talk to Doctor Joe. I'm here to dismantle the Jetty pipeline. <laughs> I'm gonna break his back again. I'm gonna sabotage. You know how they didn't it happen? Like the Ukrainians or Russians blew up a pipeline. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna do that. It's just a war between me and Shetty, and I'm gonna okay. up the pipeline. <laughs> yes, this is like the Nord Stream uh, pipeline explosion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve love in my life. If someone's having a negative, repetitive <laughs> thought, specifically around... If anyone's thinking, hmm, my back is fucking broken in five places, <laughs> what do you do with your mind to think to fix that? Please, bro. Can you guys back? <laughs> Self-worth, <laughs> what they believe they deserve in love, where do they start with that thought? Well, we think primarily... 90% uh, of the time we think the same thoughts as we thought the day before. The challenge with that is the thought that you keep thinking over and over again becomes... People are calling him Dr. Strange. I don't know about that. It's sort of a similar story in that he, he like fucked up his back and he healed it with his mind. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, because in his he world, magic and exists. From, and he learned it from a monk, right? He, yeah. he it's because they do magic. Yo! Do you believe in magic, Jay Shetty? I do now. Oh man, I did this, this, what you do with your this mind. Is, this is bullshit, dude. This, like, this man is like engineered perfectly to piss me off. Serious. <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> man. You know who we really need to get on this podcast? Hmm? Is Phidias. 
Oh, yeah. I think that would be a clashing. Stop with the side profile, Ian. It looks great. It's not funny, it's and I didn't great. ask for that. Interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. What do you think, uh, Fidius? I don't what know. I'm not there. I'm experiencing the other you. side. And then I was with Olya. It's interesting how you compare, how you compare mm-hmm. when another new person potentially comes in, the li- in your life. It's like you compare, oh, what if we did? Or is she right, more right, beautiful? Right, right. Like, did right. you have right. this as well? How is yeah, Jay Shetty, I'd like to see how you handle that kind of interview. That's the shit I deal with. Phidias? 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 Phidias. Like, did you hear this as well? Phidias! Oh, yes. All right. Anyway, welcome to the H Street Podcast. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Who wants to cure their fucking broken spine with their brain today, boy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling frisky, boy. I'm I'm about to fuck around and fix my broken bones with my brain today. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thank you. To, yeah, we're gonna be talking to the Jersey Lawman and Vampira XOXO later. I have questions for them. But I have so much to get to, so let's just jump right into X, it. X, X, Tassion. First of all, we've had a heated debate about Mr. Beast's body language when he went on the um, Andrew Schultz podcast. But a new, we have a new evidence coming out. Why is it so far away? I thought it was. Okay, no, I'm here. So here, here they are. Jesus. That podcast looks, I think I know where that is. I think, I think that's where Howie works. My best friend, my, my helper. My understanding is it's in Mr. Beast's uh, place. Oh, they went to be, okay. That also makes sense. It's a temporary setup. So they, okay. But what the fuck? Who sits like that? Uh, how are you? G- Nobody Jimmy can defend D. that. Freaks. <laughs> okay, first of all, <laughs> I'll happily defend that. Go uh, ahead. The other, um, the other host also has his feet up. It's just a feed up kind of podcast. Mm, do you think he's that far away though? It's hard to tell because we're straight on. Like he couldn't be further. I mean, have you ever sat where you're like as far as possible? It's yeah. Weird. I'm doing ahead. it right now. I'm literally doing it right now. <laughs> like it's not even comfortable. So I saw a comment. It was very good. It said, it's like Jimmy just read a book about how to dominate the <laughs> space <laughs> yeah. or something. He just watched that TED talk about power poses. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. At first, this person said, I thought Ethan was being hard for having his feet up. But then what the hell is this? <laughs> it's even more aggressive on the <laughs> Colin and Samir podcast. He looks like, yeah, here it is. He looks like he just read a book about how to assert dominance. So true. So I don't know what this means. I mean, he is. Uh, are they even recording? Look how <laughs> is he? They can't be recording right now. Look how far away he is from the the mic. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the audio guy must hate him. He's probably laughed up. <laughs> Mr. Beast don't need no mic. <laughs> He's just projecting. He's, He's yelling the, like six feet. The God mic all times. <laughs> I don't think Beast would wait a second with these guys unless they were recording. You know what I mean? He's got things to do. I kid, Mr. Beast though. We love Beast. I make that clear that we love him, and that's why we kid him. How much do you love him? A lot. Enough to skip this next link? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Well, I'm a, $2 million. I, look, I seek truth. That's all I've ever said to do. And if that's my friends, if these are people I respect or admire, I will always bring the truth to the people because I am not swayed by politics, by in personal fightings, or even sometimes, you know, look here. For example, this is a massive uh, expose. Oh, to make Squid Game. Yeah, four they million two hundred. What the fuck, Jimmy? Where's your pants? Whoa. Your what is going on here, bud? <laughs> this is just unforgivable. Why? Are you, why, why have you done this, dude? I'm surprised you can't see his balls. Although to be fair, I would say the dominance he's exerting now is definitely better than this. 
Well, maybe that's why he puts his feet up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I can see your balls and asshole. That's his actual asshole right there. <laughs> We're like okay. one centimeter away from his asshole. I think what's happening, after staring at this for so long over the weekend, he has flesh-colored pants, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> so YouTube moderators watching this, it's not actually dick and balls. He uh yeah. he can do anything he wants. <laughs> yeah. He's at that point. He just pulls up naked. Oh, what are you gonna arrest Mr. Beast for public indecency? Oh, no. Man. No, no, he's a millionaire. Honestly, I think he's showing off his legs. I think he knows, he knows what, what works he's and he's letting us oh, that, know about it. That one you can see a little better. But. Yeah, and all the other angles uh, from this podcast, it's obviously he's wearing shorts. I genuinely thought that <laughs> when you said this that was real, though. But when I first saw it. Beast. <laughs> I guess that is a form of dominance, just to come balls out. <laughs> That's, I think, as alpha as it comes. I Slap so him too. on the chair and yeah. call it a day. Like, Who what's needs up? clothes, dude? Mm. We love you, Beast. Good job on the wells. <laughs> I was reading about Mr. Beast. Because, of course, people always complain when he does stuff. And I wouldn't say people complain more so like they're angry that a YouTuber is doing more humanitarian efforts than their government has. Like if you go to his, his uh, new video about the wells, I was reading separately that he's actually provided drinking water for half a million people that didn't have it before. Which is absolutely fucking crazy. Wow. Yeah. That is like a significant, um, I mean, that's some good, that's a good deed right there, but. Sure. Uh, where, and what, what, where was it? Was it, what country was it in? Or was it across? <clears throat> uh, I'm not familiar it's... with this uh, latest video. So he Multiple went. countries. It's almost a hundred million. So yeah, he went across, um. I guess Africa and places where they don't have accessible drinking water mm -hmm. and built a hundred wells down to the, you know, groundwater. Wow. And gave, they, these people have half a million now have access to drinking water. So, I mean, God damn. Balls out, Jimmy. Get those balls out, bro. Balls out for Jimmy. Fuck. What's the gorilla's name? Harambe. Harambe, yeah, <laughs> fuck, my ball, fuck Harambe, my dick's out for Jimmy now. And you know he's got a fucking uh, thigh slapper, man. Oh yeah. Wearing those shorts, man. Oh, That's yeah. confidence right there. You think oh, Jimmy's God. got a hog? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, dude. You got some group or something. Short? For sure. If you wear short shorts like that, wouldn't it imply the opposite? There's not much, I mean. Mm, there's because, not much to cover. Yeah, I mean, there's it's super tight. There's nothing, there's nowhere for anything to hide down Show there. it off. Right. I don't know. I think you got larger you balls. Up? <laughs> yeah, I think they hang low. Why do you think that? <laughs> hang low. Yeah, why do you I, think that? I've seen an alternate angle. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well swinging droopers. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's all the bussy. That's a, the, <laughs> the beast yeah. balls. The beast bussy. Love, listen, <laughs> you're a young man, and I have to tell you that one day your <laughs> balls will swing low as well, my friend. Hey, and I can't wait. <laughs> Why? You know, just embrace it. You can't wait for your balls to drag on the floor like gorilla <laughs> <What the> <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> yeah, um, um, I, it's exciting. Just change, you know. Uh, life's, anyway, life's stagnant. It's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah, so true. I have big balls. <sighs> cool. Um, create. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, this was a nice little clip that came out. Over the weekend, um, I don't know what this isn't a Karen. This is uh, something else. I don't know what you'd call this, but it is something. Let's take a listen. Discuss it after. Can you not touch my car like that? <laughs> Can you give me a phone, please? What? Can you give me a phone? I want to send a text. <laughs> what are you doing sitting outside this house? What are you doing? I live here. You don't live here. What are you doing? Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. Please. What are you doing? Leave. Go away. What are you doing? Go away. Be away with the fucking Zimbabwe. You stick, bro. He turned into Bilbo, <laughs> grabbing for the ring. Get away from here. <laughs> That's a witch. Oh that was Bilbo. God. That was Bil you very Bilbo. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. What the hell? 
Please. Oh, what are you doing? Leave, go away. What are you doing? Go Give away. Give me my precious. I've got to be away. I've been fucking Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp. Did he say Zimbabwe? It's a sound of like. So is the guy, is this a racist thing happening? Oh, maybe. Possibly. I didn't even understand what she was saying. I, I think it's a guy. Yeah, it's not a dude. I think it's Wait, a no, dude. It's a woman. woman. No, that's a woman. That's a lady. Hell no, that's a guy. No. Uh, no, it's a guy. It's a lady. Ain't no way. No, it's not. Well, let me watch it again let's with watch. that in mind. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was okay, a whole right, lady. Can you not touch my car like that? Can you give me a phone, please? You got earrings. What? You got gorgeous give me earrings. Give a phone. I want to send a text. Yeah. What are you doing sitting outside this house? It sounds what like a man to me. Doing? I mean, whatever. I don't know. Her voice is just husky. If you look at the very beginning, she has earrings on. Not that a man can oh, wear earrings, but Dan, they look like. Are you seriously <laughs> want to retract that now or later? Men wear earrings, dude. And I'll say it to both cameras. Go ahead. Men wear earrings too. And clearly, this is a fashionable guy who's been around and cares about the way he looks. This is a man, baby. Hell no. I yeah, think you might be wrong though, Ethan. <laughs> the guy, the guy who posted this clip uh, said it's a, a woman. What? Where do you say that? If you click on the post and scroll down, it said, I try to put the window up, but uh, she, well, there's a part two. Our guy, uh, 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 I tried to put the window up, but the pushed it down. Should have left it where it was. I don't see Go gender. Down. Go down. There is a part two, but I got a bit angry, Go so down. I will not see the light of day. Uh, One more. I want that. Yo, you better release that part two. She called me a pimp. Okay. All right. Well, he could have been wrong, too. I mean, what the fuck? He's seeing what we're seeing. I'm you you're with me, right, love? No, that's an old lady, dude. No, wait, somebody backed me up. No, <laughs> I thought it was a guy. Yeah, it's a guy. Yeah, Zach had guy in the dock. I I erased guy and put person because I thought a person is uncontroversial. Yeah, true. We agree there. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. You don't live here. What are you doing? Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. Please. What are you doing? Leave. Go away. What are you doing? That's... Go away. Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp! Get away from here! Dude, that is... So, first of all, I guess I, I should acknowledge first that there is a chance this is just some, uh, a sad case of dementia happening, so... We extend our hearts and our minds. Uh, yeah. But that the other hand, it could also just be a racist also. <laughs> yeah, it could be sad in a different way. Yeah. Well, well we have to, always have to do a poll. Poll if it's a guy or a girl. Yeah. Can you not touch my car like that? Can you give me a phone, please? What about a non binary what? queen? I will add that as a third. Okay, up. right. Is we'll let's yeah. say gender. Um, how would I word this? Assign what? You could say. Is this. Oh, oh. Assigned female video? at birth. Assigned, assigned male at, at birth. birth. But see, uh, I don't, I don't know, know. What are we. I don't know if that's dicey. Because I feel like. I think you just say man, woman, weird. or non binary. Yeah. You got three options. Okay, you can say whatever yeah. it is. Uh, they look like they're related to Jimmy Salville. That and <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. And they were mean what for no reason. What's in the text? What are you doing sitting outside this house? What are you doing? I live here. You don't live here. What are you doing? Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. Please. What are you All right, doing? It's, uh, Leave. Go away. What are you doing? It's breaking doing? for go woman away. quite heavily here. <laughs> I'll be the fucking Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp! Get away from here! <laughs> Dude, that was so theatrical. <laughs> that was scary as fuck. <laughs> Old people are scary sometimes. Bro. Okay, so so the I see the people out and I think it's a guy. What? Only 14%? Zach, me and you are... But that's not even represented because me and Zach thought it was a guy and what there's like nine of us here And that's got to be at least 25 30 percent. It's definitely a woman. I'm surprised you don't why does it matter? It doesn't matter Mattering is not the point nothing on this show matters <laughs> all that it's a disagreement <laughs> and I and it's just about who's right and who's wrong Yeah, that's what Who matters. said anything about mattering getting a dunk over you're watching the even. wrong fucking show bro If you're looking for meaning in any of this, this is the pettiest show on YouTube. literally doesn't matter at all <laughs> Nothing exactly welcome to the existential crisis pod. That's right. Yeah. Are you seriously asking does it matter? <laughs> Yeah. All right, I'm uh, I'm wrapping this poll up. I think. Okay, who's this, Dan? Is this a guy or a girl? Oh, wait, well, hold on, he's got earrings. Oh, Dan. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
There were other context clues, even. I'm kidding. You look like other you could context be playing drums. That said, you look like dude. a freaking woman, dude. <laughs> Lady <laughs> earrings, those are gay. <laughs> Damn, fuck, dude. Lady kind. I need to. I need to get my hands at some alpha brain quick. Mm-hmm. You gotta start wearing short tan shorts, dude. <laughs> yeah. Flesh co- like a mask. Flesh sh- colored matching, everything, dude. Matching my. <laughs> Flesh color exactly. Like to the point where you gotta get like a bikini wax. <laughs> <laughs> this man, Ethan, hates being wrong. Are you fucking kidding me right now in the chat? Stop looking at this. Do you not know anything about oh, me? Wow, we switched to the other angle. Don't I don't want to talk to you this angle. <laughs> you come here on this Monday and talk to me like this. Doesn't matter. Ethan hates being wrong. <laughs> Try growing up well adjusted in my family, capiche? My fucking, my brother and my dad will argue about fucking if there's MSG in the Chinese food. You guys don't understand the house that I was grown up in, man. Wow, that sounds brutal. You're... No, brother my, and your dad arguing about it. No, you don't understand. Yeah, there, crazy. there is. That's I wish Eva was here. Dude. I just no. got abused. Bro, <laughs> it, it, the constant, Mash constant fucking arguing. Yeah. The constant ones upping of just the need to be right. Right. It's it's infected my soul. It's and I'm the least bad about it of anyone in my family. Huh. I grew up in the trenches, man. And how dare you come and be ableist about my childhood dra- trauma? Uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States supplies, government. Case, there's that. that. Now, right. the, the downside right. of that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some. We all have our baggage, bro. Yeah. And then physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. Bro, have we all no have our baggage, man. Uh, no work history and no education. And all right. when you Google my name, it's not a suffering Olympics, see- dude. You know, you don't have to top everything I say, Bogey. <laughs> I'm calling Ela. <laughs> You're in the void now. Huh? <laughs> Ela, pick up. It's urgent. All right, this is. I gotta move on. She's busy. What the fuck? Anyway. Uh, where are, where are we? So shout out to the um, to the to the lady, <laughs> to the lady out there in England, and all British people the world over. We love shout out positive influence on the planet <laughs> from the beginning of time to <laughs> modern day. Not your ID. The English have not instigated a single bad thing in this world. Period. <laughs> And I, uh, as, and it being the cradle of civilization as we know it, <laughs> I fucking stand with the English people That's against right. any and all accusations. Watching a wiener. Oh, wait. They do it like this, right? Just they don't do, do it wrong. sideways. They do it or, like I mean, this, don't they? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Told her to say, Booyakasha. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh yeah, this was a crazy weird coincidence. This dude, we talked about uh, the MAGA We Are The People video. <laughs> we Are The World. We Are The World with Big Nick and all that. Yeah. And th- so the guy who produced it, who put this whole thing on, who looks like a we avatar. <laughs> I'll stick together. So all right. he was recently in the news because he almost blew up a fucking airplane. <laughs> In the shores of California. Watch this shit. <laughs> it was so funny. This is the terrifying moment frantic cabin crew tried to put out a fire on a jet blue plane after American Idol star Jimmy Levy's backpack exploded and burst into flames. <laughs> Footage shows crew desperately pouring water onto a smoldering bag shortly after the music artist had woken up to intense heat. The former American Idol star said, I thought someone tried to attack me because I'm a known political figure and musician. But no, it- idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. What he the will fuck? Bring us closer. <laughs> yeah. What do you got in that backpack, man? <laughs> when After investigation, to- it appeared to be an overheated portable charger in my backpack. What? <laughs> that is insane. And he'll lift us from the ground. 
<laughs> Wait, do we believe that a portable, a overheated portable charger causing a, a, a flame? I mean, yeah, they have a warning about how many, uh, was it milliamps that you're supposed to bring on? But yeah, you'd have to really fuck it up for it to do that. Because I've never heard of this happen. I mean, I think they, it, I mean, that's why they don't let you bring batteries over a certain size onto planes. Um, okay. Because of the fire risk. So I don't know. I, it could have just been a. Could have been a fluke. Yeah, could have been a fluke. It's just funny that it's him. What does it mean? And they're wording in that TikTok that his backpack exploded. But what? Then, but what does it mean though? Was it mean? Yeah. What does it mean? It means that the deep state failed to take out a brave patriot. Because in this guy's world, uh, God coordinates and orchestrates everything. So my question to you, my friend, is what does it mean? <laughs> God, that beard, though. The eyebrows, the beard, it's wild. I love it. American Idol star said, I thought someone tried to attack me because I'm a known political figure and musician. But after investigating... God, can you imagine people going after him because he's a threat to the social order or <laughs> yeah. something? Like, of all the people, the CIA is plotting to assassinate. His song was too powerful, man. It brought too many people, <laughs> too many patriots together. Oh, it's so funny. I love that. Anyway. Just from the ground. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, Big Nick. Play the Michael Flynn one. Please. Only he will bring us closer <laughs> when we fall to our knees. That is, that is 100% unedited, right, Zach? That's 100% unedited. That is raw. I, I mean, in their version, it's auto tuned to shit. But yeah, we have. I haven't touched that. So there it is. There it is. Thank you. Shout out, MAGA. Shout out, MAGA. Always working to make uh, America better, one exploding uh, backpack at a time. Um, is anyone hungry? <laughs> Why am I? I've been hungry lately. Mm. Maybe I need to eat a bigger breakfast. I just have like fruit. I had a fruit and a coffee. That was it. Mm. Oh, I didn't apple. Yeah, that's not very much. I'm apple? Starving, dude. But like, uh, I, I gotta like eat. Coffee, uh, yeah, I think I gotta eat an egg or something to fill me up more. Mm. I'm like dying right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need to break what those eggshells. <laughs> what do I want? Mm -hmm. You guys can pitch stuff in Discord. Okay. I don't wanna, <laughs> get, to, I wanna get too God. deep into it right now. <laughs> Where's your dad, love? Just like odd doing things, you know, busy. busy man. There's no free. way. He's Spread at home wings. watching this, isn't he? No, he's he's touring all the comic book slash like uh, role playing oh, uh, dude. stores. Dude, your dad is awesome. <laughs> no, he's Love funny. needs to take the hood off the hawk, man. He needs <laughs> to fly free. He told me he has a Warhammer 40k army. <laughs> like a yeah. miniature army. Is he yeah. like Magic the Gathering? Uh, yeah, he fucks with our D&D. Yeah, he likes Magic oh. of the Gathering. I'm going to try to get him some okay. today. Wait, that's mm. sick. Yeah, he yeah. loves everything. And he plays World of Tanks. He plays World of Warcraft. Th he does? Yeah, that's how I got started playing World of Warcraft. Yo, your dad got you mainlined into that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, as a kid. Holy fuck, your dad is the is so interesting. Yeah, dub. and he watches like Twitch and all that. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, do you know NoPixel? It's like the big RPG GTA. Mm -mm. GTA server. He's mm -mm. on that. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. You don't remember that, Ethan? That was like the role playing the GTA thing that all the Twitch streamers were doing for a while. They were doing like hate crimes. He's and on stuff, the same server as XQZ. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> and he's interacted with them. Holy shit, dude. The Hawk yeah. is a badass. <laughs> so is your dad the like Hawk, a hardcore dude. WoW player? Not anymore. No. Not anymore. No. What does he do for a living? Uh, computer programming. Yeah. Oh, your dad's the man. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. pretty cool. I love him. Does he work from home? No. 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 He probably could, but no. What a cool dude. Yeah, he's super cool. Dude, you guys are like, you, you have so much in common with your dad. I, I, I think it's cool. Yeah, I'm just like my dad. Everyone tells me. You guys have like the same interests and stuff, yep. which I think is cool. Yeah, I'm a carbon copy of him. It's mm -hmm. hard to admit. I <laughs> wish, yeah, I, uh, I'm not going to fucking complain about my dad right now. <laughs> we've, all, we've all heard enough about it. <laughs> Well, I'll complain about mine real quick. I was just going to say, it was so cool how Love's dad knew all of our names, what mm -hmm. all of our jobs are, and like mm -hmm. went by one by one to talk to us. I'm like, my dad does not know a single one of your names. Like, I'll be surprised if he knows Ethan's name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of where, because like, my dad is obsessed with sports, and he never, not only did he not show interest in my hobbies, he like openly, like, 
I would say, uh, teased me for it. It wasn't mean, but he teased me for being like a gamer or even listening to hip hop. Mm-hmm. He's like, what is that? Back in the day. Mm-hmm. His opinion has changed since then. Um, but uh, Mash that my up. brother and sister are obsessed with sports just like him. And so they have they connect on on a on a level that I can't relate because I fucking hate sports. Was it like just Dodgers or was he anything? Like- he loves it all. He loves football, Dodgers, hockey, baseball. He does it all, man. He's like a diehard UCLA fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. My I, sister and my dad both love sports, too. And you don't. And I don't love sports. Do you think that you, it was a, a re- why do you think that you didn't get into it? I don't, I feel like maybe it was Alex claimed the athlete thing, so I wasn't really even thinking about doing it. Alex? Alex is my sister. Oh. Is she, she, she just was in soccer and all that stuff, so I was just like, Hi, oh, sisters. I'm going to sing, I'm going to dance, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure mine was was an act of rebellion. Maybe subliminally mm. for me. I think I didn't want to have the same interests as him because I wanted to be different. Mm. Mm. You weren't like other girls. I certainly wasn't. Yeah. But I was that bitch. You were that bitch. All right, enough. But anyway, it's super cool how you and your dads have so much in common. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice. nice. It's very nice. He's got, he looks young, too. How old is he? Um, I don't want to say his exact age, but he's below 55. Oh, so yeah. he's young. Yeah, he's very, yeah. He's oh, that's young. so nice. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Love the hawk. Yeah, both my parents have never, I feel like the reason I have this job, I followed this like all the way, is because my parents are so open. Because I, I was going to go back to school, and my parents, when I when I said what, that I got hired here, I was, they were both very supportive. And like, oh, yeah, go for it. That's awesome. Full support. I will say your dad, We when I arrived here, uh, took me aside and was very grateful for uh, he says he's so happy that you were wow. able to come out here and nice. be here and like that it was so special and he was so just happy and appreciative that uh, for the opportunity that we that uh, for you to come out he here. He did that? And, yeah, he oh, did. That's nice. Yeah, he was very very <laughs> sweet and genuine. He didn't tell me that. That's very nice. Well, I yeah. knew it, I knew he was happy, but yeah, no, he very wholesome. Yeah, it was really sweet. <laughs> we loved the hawk. Yeah, fly free hawk. Spread those wings, man. Hell yeah. He'll be back. <laughs> Hawk is cool. Hawk is fucking cool, dude. There it is. Ugh, getting teared up, getting emotional, talking about Hawk. <laughs> yeah, but with my boys, I'm take I'm I'm specifically trying to like show interest in all the stuff they like. You know what I mean? Like I want to do the stuff that they like with them. Mm. Instead of like forcing them to I don't like anything though to be honest, so it's easy <laughs> But like Teddy's obsessed with this game my singing monsters and so like I'm right there with him I know everything about that fucking game you, That game's sick by the way you sing with the monsters No, well, so each there's a bunch of different levels mm-hmm. And you breed monsters on each different level There's a bunch of different monsters and they each have a different role in a song each island has a different song, and it's it is actually so cool. It is so cool. It has really good reviews. I see, dude. It it, cool. it it is a freaking cool game. Yeah, People inspired. make music with that too, like actual yeah. good. Oh, music. you've seen those? Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Huh. There's a whole singing monster universe. It's pretty <laughs> incredible. Here's the Mr. top review on that game on Steam is uh, this makes me want to neglect my kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sad. It's not that good. <laughs> um. Here's Jimmy, uh, you know, with his new well out there in Africa, and we, we think he's doing really good work. So in this case, it's forgivable? In this case, he should f- be flexing on that well. I think he could probably use better construction. Shoes near the drinking water? I don't know. Better construction material, maybe, if next time? <laughs> it doesn't look very reliable, but well, yeah. better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah. If it works, it works. Um... Let's see what else we got. Oh, this one's crazy, you guys. Roman fucking Atwood. When's the last time you heard that name? Smile more. Remember that? <laughs> I used to have a problem with this guy because he he literally invented pranks in the hood. He is Mr. Pranks in the Hood. And I thought it was so interesting how he pivoted from like hardcore racist 
like it's Joey Salad's bad where in the comments it's just all super racist like of course black people act like that I didn't know that was his origin oh he's the king of that shit dude huh. like look up um siphoning gas from oh. people's oh. cars prank in the hood in the hood <laughs> you know where it's dangerous and scary do you remember that dog shit prank movie he made with Vitaly they did a lot together what did they do they made a like a, a full uh, movie of just like Jack. Oh yeah, prank. it was terrible. Wait, it was even in the theaters. Yeah, but it was a, a colossal flop. Of course, it was. It was really bad. Here, um, <laughs> wait, it's still up on his channel. Holy fuck! I would thought he would have erased this in embarrassment. Yo, it's still up. Fifty-five million views. So stealing people's gas break. I'm pretty sure he must have changed it because I'm pretty sure it used to be in the hood. But anyway, here, take a look. See one in the description. Explosive yeah, farts in the steal. hood. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's dangerous. You yeah. don't want to do that. Hell no. People's gas out of their car, but really, it's just water. <laughs> oh. oh. By the way, that is such an um, insane thing to do to someone. Is it? We getting claimed? Not necessarily claimed, but he's about to uh, get into a pretty physical altercation. I don't know if it's... Well, anyway, he, he basically uh, pretends to steal people's gas, which is objectively a crazy thing to do. And then uh, pe some people are just angry, some people get violent, and I mean, there's a good chance some of this is even fake. I don't know. Which makes it worse. Which does, like, yeah, yeah. doesn't make, make it better. Not hell no. <laughs> yeah. Because he's building like, yeah, he's making them people look bad. Like Joey yeah. Salas, when he when you when he faked it, it's like, right, so so much worse. It's like ten times worse. Jesus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the comments are wild. But anyway, I always thought it was so interesting that he pivoted from this to smile more family vlogs. Wait, I was like, oh my out? god. Well, there was a transition phase where it was like flashing children in public prank. Oh my, you're right. I forgot about that one. That was a nice transition Started of family what? content. Yes, flashing kids <clears throat> at the park prank. He's he's wearing clothing, but uh -huh. what he does is he goes up to kids and does it like he's flashing them, and then the parents come up in a panic, and he's like, "No, psych! I just I'm wearing clothes." No, he's wearing a shirt that says "Don't do drugs." Bro, it's That's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> it's Christ. so nuts. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, but that's still a pretty scary thing to run up to a kid and, like, violently open your robe. <laughs> that's crazy. It makes, like, really weird noises, too. Like, <laughs> it's fucking insane. So he pivoted from this to a family smile more. Smile more? The oh, fuck? So anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is my background with uh, Roman Atwood. <laughs> but he's doing a podcast now. Of course. What I love this. What do we need? Another white guy with a podcast? I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been doing it long enough. I'm not you do not include me. We've been here for years before mm -hmm. the white dude in the podcast meme existed. And frankly, is that true? I think we started so. this in like 2017. I, I feel like we were the first YouTube podcast, dude, or one of the specifically first. specifically like a big YouTube channel starting a podcast. Yeah, you may have. What? Go ahead, AB. Definitely, yes. Everyone after you guys did it, everyone tried to do it, and Thank still you. to this day they have not succeeded. Thank I feel you. like this is so much more I than you, Shetty. more than a podcast. Yeah, I mean, Jay Shetty is. I, I agree. Over the years, it's certainly not. it certainly evolved to more, something more, but. You guys it's definitely like made a template show. of it. Oh. Say what? <laughs> I said you guys definitely made the template of oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 I mean, at the time when we made it, I was very unsure. It was a big risk. I remember, like, I don't know if anyone wants to watch a fucking podcast. But mm -hmm. There it is. And here we are. So anyway, yada yada. Now Roman Atwood's uh, talking about how his dad may kill. He's... He... What seems like he's accusing his dad on his podcast of murdering his mom. Whoa. And I'm reading between the lines a little bit, but you watch this and tell me what you're getting out of this. This is truly bizarre stuff. So oh, unbelievable. No, is that, do we
Clint, uh, check this one? Yeah, there was no clue. Oh, nice. Thank you, Zach. Strange. Um, like, it, it doesn't add up in my head. Um, you know, she, she fell off a scooter. Not only did she pass away when she fell, but she had a closed casket. And that just, to me, just doesn't add up. How, how do you fall that hard? I think the angels threw her down and made sure she was not coming back. Or That's crap. not what angels do, man. When, since when do what angels body slam and kill people? I'm telling you, this is there's something really fucked up going on here. What? Uh, down and made sure she was not coming back. <laughs> or whatever. I mean, I've thought about this a thousand times. She might have passed out on the scooter. No, it didn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know how high part. you need to fall to have a closed casket, but off a scooter just doesn't seem high enough. A scooter she like did a, have a terrible set of lungs. I, like a... A moped, I, can like you, a can like we a get Vespa details? scooter. Uh, let's get details. I'm depends. Sure. Like a if it's like a Vespa, that kind of scooter. No, I think he's talking about like a mobility, mobility scooter. Yeah. Oh, a mobility get out of the scooter. Street. Yeah, I was picturing a bird scooter, but I knew in the timeline it didn't make sense. Like, of course, you can so die bad. on a moped. I think. Yeah. She okay. was on a gat, like a not even a Gatsby, probably something even less. So. She was riding around with uh, his nephews on some little scooters. She fell off hers and hit her head. Oh, that's oh, so horrible. So we're talking like a razor scooter. Oh. Or that's what that sounds like. Riding around with their nephews. Yeah. Oh, that's it's such a freak accident. Tragedy. Yeah. But but this and I don't understand Romans. Well, here, let's, let's watch. I mean, it's fucking crazy. I don't know how that high part. you need to fall to have a closed casket, but off a scooter just doesn't seem high mm -hmm. enough. Now, she did have a terrible set of lungs. I don't know whether she would have made it through. But anyhow, um, she had. Well, I think she I, had conquered uh, smoking. Yes, she did. And but it had taken a toll on her. She was hacking for the rest of her life. Yeah, it mm -hmm. took a toll on her. Also, Stop. the. The other weird thing was the Christmas before she had a cough for like six months or something. Yeah. And I remember Kurt coming to me. He's like, make sure, you know, you and Jess, whatever, like you guys really take care of Sue this Christmas. Mm. Mm. And so that was her last Christmas. It's like you already knew. Yeah. Yeah. I. Things yeah. just don't add up properly to me. There's too many weird... It's almost like you can see the behind the scenes too well. There's too <laughs> many weird things that had to happen for her to pass the way she did. And, um... What, so, like, what are you getting at? Yeah. And so that's the dad. That's the dad. Right, that he's talking to. Later in the interview, the dad mentions these visions he had while the mother was still alive. And he said that in one of them, he was shown another woman, not Sue, who he believed he was supposed to love. He then added that he is currently remarried to this woman who was in that vision. He got married to this woman only two years after Sue died. What the Jeez. fuck is going so, on? <laughs> Murderer. I watched the full thing for some more context. I mean, it's yeah. definitely weird either way, but he was talking about they watched a movie together as a family, and at the end of the movie, the mother dies, and he's just talking about these weird coincidences leading up to it. So he's saying more like weird. Cosmic? Like, yeah, yeah, cosmic type. More weird. like the angel's body slammed his fucking mom's <laughs> face into the curb. Like a, yeah. yeah, like a cosmic... Yeah, you as know, they do. Slam. Yeah, the angel of death visited her. <laughs> what the? Hold on, hold on. I gotta hear that again. Fell. But she had a closed casket. By the way, you're her son. Ask someone, you know, <laughs> yeah. who put right. the funeral together. <laughs> Ask someone. Like, you should be able to figure out why is the casket closed. Who who managed the funeral, who made that dude? decision, yeah. You're the dude probably with, like, the money in the family. I'd imagine you're paying for it. Also, isn't yeah. like deciding to have a wake is like that's a decision to see your dead family or friend to do it, it to open. Be open, yeah. Open casket is not usual, is it? Um, it. I've been to both. I think been to both. Depends. Yeah. 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 yeah, he has like one brother, and then it's the father and him. It had to be him uh, or his wife that managed that right, funeral. Right. Exactly. And why? Why is he being like, "Yo, who decided to do a closed casket?" Like. Hmm. I don't know, man. Ask yourself. Shit. Dude, I, I, <laughs> there's a lot of weird shit in the, the in Roman Atwood's podcast. I think if someone just combed through all those podcasts, they'd find some weird shit because he like talks about hitting his kids. Yeah. That's what that, I brought they up. They got busted time. for that recently where they were talking about how that you got to, people need to start beating their kids again. Can you find yeah. that? That's what, what I brought up like a couple months ago, but I didn't really have anything prepared. But there's a lot of weird shit.
Huh. On those. You know what I'm seeing, there, Ethan? Yeah. Did, did you notice any glaze on that family? Mm, he's not glazed. Look at him. He's troubled. Well, I'm reading that they are Mormon. Oh, dude. I knew they were religious because he said an angel body slammed her fucking face. Yeah. At least according to his Wikipedia page, it says he's a member of the Church of <coughs> Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is the Mormon Church. Oh, my God, man. They're very religious. The Mormons are having a hard year. Hard year to be a Mormon. Oh, here. Here's an article. I am Mormon, actually. Roman Atwood says on popular podcast with Logan Paul. There you go. Let me hear the dad again talk about this. And that just, to me, just doesn't add up. How he looks guilty. Look at his face. <laughs> he's I like, feel like the he's like, am I being called out right now? Pushing you towards a he, certain conclusion here. Look at him. How, how do you fall that hard? Can you? I, I'm sorry. We need to pull that. That's like another great reaction podcast clip. How he just sits there. <laughs> um, Ian, we got to pull this part here. How, how do you it's fall crazy. that hard? Just this. I think the angels threw her down okay. and made sure she was not coming back. What or, fucking I mean, I angels would do that? that is... And he even did the gesture. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who would say such a thing? <laughs> Holy crap. That's like unhinged, man. Angels threw her down and made sure she was not coming back. <laughs> or, uh, That's a crazy soundbite, too. <laughs> the angels, they, they knew she was not coming back. Boom! <laughs> Spike that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the angels made sure her head be splat on the ground. Boy, boom! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> God, six points. Holy fuck, man. Uh, so they're Mormon, huh? According to, according to him in, a, in an interview. Is there something about beating your kids that's Mormon? Uh, well, probably not specifically Mormon, but I mean, that's definitely kind of like an old, an an old, old school kind conservative of an old timey thing. thing. It's kind know? of an old timey thing. Did you find that clip? I didn't. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. I'm, I'm looking though. I'm sure we watched that. I'm seeing yeah, a bunch of I like throwing my son off the balcony, blowing up my kid prank. Those I remember yeah. watching. I, I those ones are horrific too. Send those. We'll watch them as we look. Yeah, we definitely looked at them, but it's worth watching again. Let's go down the Atwood pipeline. From the Shetty pipeline to the Atwood pipeline. Right. Exploring a lot of pipes. Today. Maybe I, some people are not motivated by growth. <laughs> Growth. Growth. I'm still so fascinated by where that accent comes from. Uh, <laughs> Growth. Um, this, and again, he was a huge deal to those of you who weren't around then. Eight years ago, 50 million views. Uh, this guy was like top prankster. And when pranksters were getting massive numbers, yeah. pranksters are like the Minecrafters of yesteryear or something. Or mm -hmm. Just the mainstream content. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, this one was nuts. I remember when he dropped this. And even for hey you... Hey guys, today my girlfriend my believes prank, that our yeah. three-year-old son and I are looking at a used four-wheeler. She's gonna come pick it's it up in our truck. Two minutes. What she doesn't know is that it's fully remote control. Are you ready? So, so the prank premise is he's gonna goof his wife into thinking his son died. <laughs> Not just died. <laughs> fucking blew up. <laughs> That's so. Here it is. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hey, wait, wait. I would never, ever, Before. ever, ever do that to Ela. That's crazy. Why not? It's because you're not funny. Here, like that. But even being open to that idea, like, she whiz, man. It just says I got him. Wait. <laughs> And again, oh, you uh, probably not real. That's it. You yeah, ha you question the authenticity of the, the girlfriend. Definitely yeah. in on this. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. But a million oh, likes, God. almost no oh, downvotes. So People were just on board for anything huh? back then. And that's the whole reason I started making YouTube videos, because I was watching all these pranks and I was losing my mind, that nobody was calling them out for. Yeah. Look at this shit. Straight into a ramp. Stop! Don't! Hey! 
Run! Oh my god. Oh my god. Babe, stop. No. It's not funny. I know. That is not funny. It's it's kind of funny. No. It, it, oh, no. I'm you, sorry. You don't touch me. I'm done. I'm done, honey. I'm, I can't do it. There's Kane right there. I cannot do it. There's Kane. Um, I think she's acting. You still probably, love but, me, right? But, like, again, that's really not funny. That's like spousal abuse, dude. I'm pretty sure. But this is YouTube fucking eight years ago. It was just crazy back then, man. <laughs> I, I was looking at YouTube and there was all these guys, Vitaly, yeah. SoFlo, Mo and E.T., fucking Roman because. Atwood. They were dominating YouTube and nobody was saying yeah. anything about them. Mo and E.T. Prank let's, invasion. Let's not lump them. Let's not lump them in with all this. Well, at the Mo time, they were doing some wild shit. Yeah. You know? They're geniuses in their own right. I We've grown to have <laughs> admire them in different ways. <laughs> We've, we've, you know, got new perspectives on them. Yeah. But holy tamales, man. So I guess in a sense, I do owe my whole uh, career today to these pranksters in a way. Probably, right? Shout out Roman Allen. Mm. Um, it's a prank, bro. <laughs> so that's that. We didn't find the beating the kids one, huh? I love saying I did. Uh, yeah. yeah. You did. Oh, with his dad too. Is it from the same podcast? Oh, that's a that's an action packed podcast. I could, yeah. I could get you a couple loops, but you would always catch me. You had it easy though. My father used a belt on me. Yeah. Now you go to jail for that. Really? <laughs> no, nah, but he be did. In jail? Brit's like, I'm going to jail. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. Why? I uh, one time we had our. Uh, my grandmother living at the house and all of us kids were just torturing her and making fun of her and she's pretty much paraplegic kind of jesus man <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking vicious bro you were you were goofing on your paraplegic grandma <laughs> what the fuck this whole podcast is gnarly oh <laughs> uh. God. And my mom said, when your dad gets home, you're going to get it. So all day us kids were running around and uh, making fun of, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. But when he got home, he beat us all <laughs> with a belt. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we Good really time. had it coming, too. Oh, such so, different times. Well, now it's yeah. spare the hand, spoil the child, not, you know. I feel like we're Spare the rod, I, I, spoil I feel like the child. A, that's a big lie. So the, how you get fucked up dysfunctional of kids that well, tease a paraplegic grandma is by beating them. Yep. There you go. They go, it's funny. They go, I'll tell you what, man, I don't know what to do but beat these kids. Yeah! Every time I beat them, they do more fucked up shit. My boy took a shit in Nanny's bed. <laughs> a dream She's a I paraplegic. She lied in it all night. Grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming Black in pool. society. Yeah. <laughs> like that, everything's so like sensitive it's discipline that makes you great it really is you watch all these greats they've all been disciplined usually tortured and they become <laughs> great who's what greats is he talking about i'd like to know true they so our kids are going to be great <laughs> oh. stop it's not funny what the fuck you're stop. also combine beating your kids with having a family vlog dude it's fucked up when the camera goes off they we're like what they're insinuating that they beat them, which is fucked up. They're working kids and you beat them. That's a fucking sounds. There's really a word bad. for that. It's like it's like slave slavery. It does, dude. I don't yeah, know. It's it crazy. Does. Not a nice thing. Certainly not painting a nice picture. No. <laughs> make our kids great again. You, you have uh, to lose everything <laughs> to become great. No, you don't have this to. This man just said, "Make our kids great again." <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Be beaten, but the good. discipline is important. Yeah, you're not yeah. great till you lose everything, and then... Yeah, you seem like you got... I don't know anything about this guy, but this guy is giving, like, total catastrophe of a life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that, that's, that's my Well, he made himself great, you know? He said, you're not great until you lose everything. And you ain't great. Of his wife. You ain't great till a... One way or another. Angel 
slam your wife's well, face into the concrete, boy. Yeah. He, he's independently wealthy too. From he is from watching. I watched all the vlogs, and I think he owns a factory or something. Wait, you've watched all these? No, or the vlogs back in the day. Oh, the so vlogs. I all of them. Yeah. So I, you were a fan of his. Big fan. Yeah. I How old all were you then? You were young. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 17, wow. 16, 15. Wow. That Interesting. Age, yeah. So his dad is rich. Wealthy. I don't know how rich he is. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Realized that, hey, I can rise above. I can get higher than yeah. where I'm at. So, and then if you don't, well, that's it. So um, what do I, you want to talk about? I, I want to. This is this is why people say we don't need another white guy with a podcast thing. It's like this guy shouldn't be. This guy should not be in front of a microphone for any reason. Realized that, hey. Like even can he, even, you can even feel that he knows that as well. Like I can get higher than the, yeah. where I'm at. <laughs> and so, then if you don't, well, that's it. So um, what I, do you want to talk about? I want to, I want to, I want to bring up that we. It took many years on my first YouTube channel mm. to hit a hundred thousand. Right, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> why were we talking about Roman Antwood again? Just. <laughs> The, I'm sorry, the meme that Cam said. Yeah, here's a replay of <laughs> Roman's uh, <laughs> mother taking a spill on the... Oh, no. I mean, Is it's tragic, but oh, no. that's literally what he described, man. <laughs> that doesn't seem like something an angel would do. Mm -mm. I thought Lots they're supposed to protect us. No, this is a biblically Is accurate that the hawk, angel. dude? <laughs> you. Just, I don't get why... Why an angel would do this, something like that, man. But there it is. <laughs> so that's that's uh, uh, the Atwood. Attaboy, Atwood. Attawood. You pick on a sandwich place? Yeah, I just asked Sam the name of it because I can't remember, and the first place is too far. You guys wanted... Oh, it's too far? Haven't we ordered there before? Yeah, we have, yes, but I now know. they, they uh, cut us off. I hate that one. Probably because the been. freeway fucking collapsed. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Cut them off! Um, Anybody outside of, I guess... Uh, I got to work outside. quicker than you. So I, I realized um, it's technically a holiday today. Really? Yeah, so that's kind of why I think it was like somewhat okay today. What's I think the it's going to be way worse. It's like a... Uh, veterans, veterans Day, day right? Yeah. No, Wait, it's Friday. Veterans Day? That was Friday. Oh, that was Friday. That was... Oh, for, I think maybe some places are <laughs> celebrating it today. I think what happened, Dan, is that I got onto the 10 after it collapsed. And so there was like no through traffic. Oh. And I got on, right. and there's just not a lot of people on the freeway. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It felt like there was 10 million more cars on my commute coming in this morning. It was, I mean, yeah, if you're coming from the wrong part of town, you've been fucked. They even yep. sent a warning message, like a... A panic message to my phone. Yeah, did they send it to you at like 11 o'clock yes. at night? Yes, yeah, of course they real, A lot of, lot of competent people work in the L.A. city government, let me tell you. It did awake me from my slumber. <laughs> One of our major highways was, I don't know what happened, there was a fire and it like got fucking there was a destroyed. Giant, there was a giant um, pallet storage yard underneath a section <laughs> of the freeway. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know exact. Oh my god. Yeah, which seems like a, a great idea. Um, Did you guys see the photos and videos from it? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I'd like yeah, to. It's brutal. Hold on, let me send one. Was anyone hurt before we watch it? Look at uh, that stuff. I don't. I don't. Holy shit. Think so, but uh, the freeway was hurt. Holy it's, uh, fuck, dude. It's damaged to the extent that it could be closed for. Uh, months. Apparently. Hell on earth. They said indefinitely closed. And this is one of the main motorway arteries in Los Angeles. Yeah. And it's just fucking closed. Jeez. Keep your hands off my fucking car. Right. Well, what do you want to do, Jordan? I mean, the freeway's fucking on fire, man. Like, literally, what do you, what do you expect them to do? You know, it's not fair to put that on up on the yours. city. The angels did that, somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking angels body slammed that pl freeway, made sure it never got up again. <sighs> I wonder if there's going to be like new laws of what you can keep under the freeway. Because uh, in my opinion, it's so crazy how they have like parking lots and truck stops under the highways. They, like just I mean, disaster some, waiting yeah, to happen. It's bad. <laughs> 
no matter what, but the uh, <coughs> the pallet yard in particular. Dude, I went in no. retrospect like that. Uh, very good yeah. idea. When we were making the hundred beanie challenge video, uh -huh. we went to like this mass beanie uh, wholesaler, and it was under the fucking four hundred five freeway. Yeah, right. And it was cr I never seen anything like that. You go in there, and it's like you hear everything, you feel everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nuts. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. Karen Bass, the mayor, says, Unfortunately, there's no reason to think that this is going to be over in a couple of days. We cannot give an estimate right now. Jeez. So, happy driving out there, uh, Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. When I lived in Atlanta in 2017, there was a massive fire, too. that shut down, like, a main bridge. So, everywhere I go, there's just... It's you. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're the problem. Uh, you uh, did this. I yeah. thought it was the angels. <laughs> it was the angels. <laughs> Through him. Yeah, they just spoke to me. Yeah. Um, there's some great D'Amelio sister memes. And again, I know that, well, they're older now. Like, how old is, how old is Charlie now? I mean, I don't think they're that young anymore. She's 19. 19. Oh, fuck. Pretty young. That was, she, yeah, I was surprised yeah. by that, too. Oh, my God. She was really young before. Mm-hmm. Dixie is 22, according to Google. Well, anyway, honestly, I don't even blame them for this. Somebody put this together, and I mean, I don't know why influencers keep doing this, where they LARP as, like, minimum wage workers. <laughs> um, but I guess this was a Walmart collab. Here it is. <laughs> Walmart collab. No audio? Oh, we have to mute it. Okay. So here, I'll, I'll narrate it, I'll narrate it. Walmart. So they, they're, I guess they're in the Walmart break area. <laughs> Have a good day at work, they says. And she said, you too. And they're like, huh? Us too? We don't do this shit. <laughs> and now they got, oh, they're, mm, here they are with the chips. And they're working, you see? Fuck you, show up at work. They're buying chips, <laughs> and look at them. It's so fun to work at Walmart. It rules to work, work there. I love working at Walmart. I love it. Um, be happy snacks. That's the, that's the brand that paid for this? What the fuck is that? It's like a popcorn brand or something? Wait, I think it's theirs. They're in every fucking video. I think that's their brand. Oh, wait, yeah. Because yeah. this happened a couple weeks ago, so it was a little hazy on it. I think you're right, yeah. They launched a popcorn brand. It's interesting how there's like such a, a creator economy for side businesses. It's interesting. And the new one is like food, I've noticed. I don't know if it's like a beast inspired or prime inspired. I guess those because those ones are so big. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't, I can't see this being a good business. Like popcorn or some shit. Well, uh, I mean, like the energy drink people, what do you call it? Uh, Logan prime. is crying yeah. up doing all that stuff. They're probably seeing stuff like that. But I think that they the, need the, to get the, in on that. The beverage, like the energy drink market is massive and people they grab multiple of those a day right popcorn cat and candy popcorn i mean how often you go to the grocery stores and buy yourself a candy cotton popcorn um i buy a normal I almost every think... time you do mm -hmm. well the, here's a good video what the fuck's happening here hold on i gotta start this over <laughs> what is this uh, okay he's playing which, a part it said which flavor represents you best i mean jesus christ it's just popcorn all different flavors <laughs> flavor that represents yourself um i think <sighs> i feel like everyone wants me to say cotton candy but i feel like nice spice because i'm nice but i have an attitude sometimes Okay, just... But I know uh, everyone else is going to say that I'm cotton candy. I wanted her to say cotton candy. Which? I like her answer. Same. It was thoughtful. We should try them. Let's see what Dixie has to say. I'll try it. I think the flavor I mean, that... But it's just popcorn. I mean, well, it sounds yum. There's a lot of different popcorn. Maybe Let's try it. I mean, I don't know. Do you think it's in our grocery stores here? I'll try it. Friend let's... of the show, uh, Pokimane, just released her cookies today. Right, I noticed that those. too. Ooh. Right. You know. So that's another... I guess food goods is the vibe. 
They look super so good. So no uh, cookies for you? I would like to try Pokey's little cookies. You know? Represents me is maple bacon, because I'm sweet and salty. <laughs> I think the flavor that represents me <laughs> is... Why do you care about which flavor represents you? What about, how does it taste? I'm not trying to express myself when I buy popcorn. Like, does it taste good? Does it taste good? Um, I think so. Sometimes. We have exciting news to share. Run, don't walk, because Be Happy Snacks has finally hit the shelves of your local Walmart store. Get ready to elevate your snacking with a burst of flavor. We can't wait to hear which one is your favorite. It's so interesting that, you know, uh, they were just a normal family, and then she did a dance, and now they're doing this shit. I mean, what a, what a weird path in life. <laughs> yeah. Dude, for being the biggest, like, TikTokers ever... This, these ads are so horrible. Yeah. I can't, like... That's why I'm kind of surprised by all this, that it's so kind of... But if it, maybe if it's their brand, they don't have, like, these handlers. Like, if, you know, Zara or someone pays you a million dollars, they're right. going to have, like, producers and handlers and stuff. I don't know. Maybe they have, like, a bad helper coming up with the, all these boomer-ass IDs. Oh, fuck. She's still mega popping, yeah. dude. 20 million views. Holy smokes. This is from... This is from 29th? Wait, she hasn't posted in like two weeks. Um, but wow, I because I always people being like, oh, she fell off, who is she anymore? Uh, no, you're wrong. She is still it. Those are crazy numbers. So, good for her. Be happy snacks. Give him a give him a plug. You got the cotton candy. You got the maple bacon. You got the Parmesan garlic. Which flavor do you identify with, Olivia? Yeah. What do you think? Which one expresses your personality? Let me see all the options again. Cotton candy, maple bacon, Parmesan garlic, and nice spice. Um. I know the answer. But I'm so curious to see what you say. I about think yourself. everybody wants me to say cotton candy, but I'm gonna <laughs> go with because um, I know everybody wants me to say cotton candy. Mm. I'm gonna go with parm garlic. That's good yeah. choice, and Classic that is so expression. you. But Thank now you. let me ask you a, even a kind of a, an even weirder question: hmm. Which flavor do you think tastes the best? Not that you I think cotton it. candy. But that is a good question to ask. Anyway, we love them. Uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United I States government. That. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that Boogie, is I'm bro. extremely depressed. So there's we some mental health issues dance. that we bring to the table. I know you need a job, and man, but like this is not the way to I, pitch I am yourself. Morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, no, and no education. Bro, you don't have to say all that. You know. I want to say, don't be too hard on yourself, but geez louise. Here is another one that, of them just like LARPing as minimum wage employees. I feel like this is a faux pas that so many creators have made by now that I'm surprised they, they did it. You know? Yeah, don't act poor. That's like, it, don't, you know. Just don't. It's not, it's not nice when you work at Walmart. It's not cute. And then you're like, oh, I'm, look at me. I'm having so much fun here, you guys. You guys get to do this every day? This is so much yes. fun. Yeah. I'm being paid like thousands of dollars per hour for being here. This I'm awesome. so jealous of you guys. <laughs> uh, so, not great optics, but I don't blame them. Someone else's fault. Uh, big sock debate raging on TikTok. I feel actually... I have a stake in this. This is exactly um, m difference between millennials and Gen Z. Apparently, this this lady has detected a surefire Great way. How you can tell the difference between a millennial and a Gen Z just by looking at their feet. <clears throat> are their socks up, or are they wearing hidden ankle socks? Because Gen Zs exclusively wear their socks up, and millennials still wear ankle socks. I'm a millennial. Okay, let's first of all. You're wearing your socks up. You're wearing your socks up. 
that's already wrong. No, I, no, that's right. That's what she's saying. You know what's funny is wait, I what? Have, no, it's yeah, opposite. that's right. Me yeah, and yeah. Love both have our socks up. Wait, I thought you guys were the disappearing socks people. That's we're me. Other Generation Z. Yeah. That's us. Oh, okay. Well, that makes even less sense then. Because I never that's ever, saying. I, I never fuck with the with the uh, and, hidden. Oh, you do, Dan. You well, have... it, you know what's funny? <laughs> oh, so Zach is showing ankle socks. He's Gen Z, so that goes against the grain. Um, you know, I almost always wear tall socks. Today was like the one day that I wore ankle socks. I, I guess I own both. So I feel like a little slut when I don't cover my ankles. <laughs> I can't stand the high socks. I'll wear the ankle I socks when I wear like tennis shoes, but I, I wear boots a lot, and I'll always have tall socks for boots. So I yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say that I always wear the ankle socks. Mm. Yeah. I always wear short ones, because, but I have a long ones because I get shaving in these shoes. So I always wear the short ones, and just make any sense, did it? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm not buying it. I, I'm not buying it. I, I'm so confused about this You're now. Confused now? Because I thought she was saying it backwards. Because I never wear the. the... Well, you're yeah. You Maybe go against the thought. grain. Oh, I I usually wear. I mean, until more recent years. Look at you, you got tube socks on. These are skims, baby. Really? Are they really? Yeah. Oh my god, congratulations! <laughs> Wait, what, what's, what, skim what's a skim sock, sock like? Uh, you know, these ones are pretty basic, but they're, there's like a... This green and black pair I have that's really good quality. I wanted something to go with my uh, slides, and yeah. I but these skim. ones are pretty basic. They feel good? Because I'm always looking for, for good sock brands. It's hard to find uh, yeah. ones that I like. I like the ones that are like, court, I call them like a quarter socks. They don't go up like super high. Yeah, the, Ela makes them. The, there is she's the one that makes my socks. <laughs> she, Ela makes my socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Why not? Thank you. Um, Dan Blazarian cringe of the week. I've been stocking up a lot of good clips. This guy is so fucking embarrassing. Like, if anybody can watch this. Ugh. What is wrong with this guy? Listen to this shit. Girls in a day. And for like a period, it was like more was always better. Four was better. Uh, let, let me re I want, You guys got to hear the beginning. Dan's a good man. God damn it. Why did it open it there? <laughs> Just man. let me not mute it, please. And I can't restart it either. <laughs> uh, and... Four what, was how better, am I supposed five to do better. it? We had an extension that added the uh, the like play controls to Instagram, but um, they must have updated something and it broke it. Okay, and here, so. I, you got to immediate pause it. I think that was a good that worked out. Fuck right. nine girls in a day, and <laughs> for like a period, it was like more was always better. Four was better, and five was better, and but when we got to thirty, where I'm like, okay, I'm on this fucking three hundred foot yacht, I'm with you know twenty seven girls, and it's like. I'm miserable. What the fuck? I don't know, man. It's like that deep seated <laughs> wow. feeling. Yeah, it sense. sounds like a really fulfilling life, yeah. dude. Killing it out there. I was on a That's yacht with 21 dead. women. I fucked them all, but I was still sad. <laughs> that there's like a lack. And I think a lot of people get caught up in pleasure seeking. I mean, I was fucking head on into it. This man, it took him how long to realize this? Like, how old is Dan Blazarian? Like, holy shit, dude. His whole brand is like uh, extreme hedon hedonism, isn't it? I'm sorry, 42. I just I mean, realized... I I'm one of the few people that can actually... Now that I'm 42, I realize fucking bitches doesn't make me happy. <laughs> we tell people, you know, that the pleasure seeking isn't the fucking answer. From a guy that's done it, I think they have a unique ability to then speak to people about like, okay, you know, I've done all this shit. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the answer. It's not gonna I don't even think Logan is like, Logan's got like a fiance, you know, he's had meaningful relationships in his life. I used to have sex with my body pillow, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Interesting lead you to happiness nobody in the world could have fucking convinced me of what i've learned myself right like so like like somebody could have fucking told you all the shit that you know and you're not gonna fucking believe it you're not gonna i'm the type of motherfucker i gotta stick my finger in that light sock i gotta shock myself the dare and i gotta program. shock myself again and again and again and i'm about the fourth time <laughs> like okay we've learned our lesson but is it still fucking hot you know maybe not i don't know we'll see but i'm just that guy so i did that i don't think a lot of people get to the end of the road you know, and I went to the end of the road with pleasure, 
And so I think I have a unique... I took it all the way, baby. <laughs> what? I took pleasure all... You mean... He's trying to, he's framing it in a nice way. You're a depraved fucking freak. Yeah. Like you, you are, you are like a soulless monster of a person, dude. You sound unfulfilled. It sounds like you have not taken pleasure like, to the end of the road. <laughs> exactly. Neek, um, ability to understand that that's probably not the fucking answer. It's probably not the fucking answer, bro. I've fucked nine girls in a day and for like a period it was like more was always better. Four was better and five was better and, but... There it is. Uh, some daily meditations with Dan Blazarian. <laughs> Let me read the comments. I'm curious what people say. Paul thinks, damn, my fiance was probably on that butt. Aw, that's the top comment. That's brutal. Ew. Jesus. What's Jesus Wait, they're blaming the women? What's wrong with these women, though, to accommodate? Like, what the fuck? It's not him? You're not going to put the blame on him? Silly woman. I mean, do you think it's really crazy to, like, bring a... First of all, I doubt he's fucking everyone on the boat. But do you think it's crazy for, like, an 18-year-old to want to go on, like, a mega yacht? And, you know, it sounds like a fun fucking weekend to me. And have everything paid for. Or the adult who's, like... Well, adult is really kind of a hard label to put on Dan. Silly woman. Oh, here's it. This is it. And like the profanity threw me off. I had to unfollow. I noticed that too. The account that posted this clip is like an uber Christian. Oh, uh, what? So, yeah. Watch your profanity. <laughs> Mighty pursuit. So they don't like the word fuck. Ah, uh, they don't mind fucking. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go there. It's just interesting where their tolerance is for certain things. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my tongue today. We're having fun today. Let's keep the vibes good. It's a, my tongue. a close relationship with God is what gives you real happiness. I don't think that's what Dan was talking about, unfortunately, but. Hmm. Okay. So many young men need to hear this. Okay. Dan is spreading the gospel. Yeah, I'll gather all the young Christians here today to tell them that. I fucked 29 bitches in one day. Hallelujah. And it didn't bring me any closer to Jesus. I was on a huge fucking yacht and I fucked bitches 9, 10, 11 of them all day. My, them my nut sack was empty, you guys. Empty. I was shooting sawdust out my dick at a certain point. Poof. Like a cartoon. Sand, Son, dust, come out my dick. You ain't never seen heart. And I'm here to spread this enlightened message with y'all. It doesn't make you happy. Never heard that before. Money doesn't make you happy. Amen. Mm. This is the blood of God. Right. You know what? Money doesn't make you happy, but it does. It is nice. You know what I mean? I feel when, when people go, I feel like the only a really, really rich person can say money doesn't make you happy. I, I think money absolutely makes you fucking happy. Yeah. 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 Money, think... money is, does a lot. It, it can get you pretty damn close. <laughs> uh, menacing. <laughs> There's probably everywhere, right? Yeah. So I said the place, but I'm opening it, uh, Ian. Just be careful here. All right, what are we feeling? What's the least noisy sandwich, would you think? The least noisy. A like, soft I just, one. Caprese. Caprese, yeah, not a lot of crunch. Caprese, there. that's a good one. Yeah. Chicken pesto caprese. <gasps> that sounds good. That sound you want good. that? What about that chimichurri steak and bacon? That sounds loud. I'm not ready for bacon at this hour. Bacon, like, really slows you down some days. Are, are these the ones we had at the live show? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yes. Or do you want that? <coughs> mm. Don't call him a fat pig. You can't do it. I'm looking for a health, healthish one. Which one's got lots of veggies in it? Italian roast beef doesn't look half bad. Vegan bond me, dude. It's the way to go. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. 
that bond me did look pretty good. I like the spread on that. Is let me let me get the um me. let me get that Italian roast beef. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just normal. And we roast that chicken caprese is crazy. Which one has more calories? Uh, I already hit add to fucking cart, bro. <laughs> oh, hold on. Italian roast beef has 620. That's actually pretty good. The chicken pesto has 600. Interesting. You would think the chicken pesto might be heavier. Maybe it's a bread thing? What do you think about that? Bread comes. Dude, the... Oh, wait, no, they roll... Oh, shit, no, they list the bread separately. The fuck? Yeah, 620 exactly. on a toasted roll, 300, so it's 920. Okay, that's pretty... That's a lot. Chicken pesto has 860. And in the roll of... Which is also a lot. Jesus. Yeah, Lee. Roll. It's tough out here when you count calories. Gee whiz, man. Alright, just get me the, um... Let me get that chicken pesto caprese. It's got less calories. So uh, fuck it. Recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. Boogies. There's that. Ah. Now, the, the downside of that is I am extremely depressed. I know, so man. Some health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, Buggy. no education. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is the, and when you the last Google part's my, my favorite. name, this is my favorite. You part. might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife. And go on. Oh, Fallon. Okay. What's the name? What about the one where he says I know, it might be a pedophile? How old is it? <laughs> you didn't want that one, Zach. Aggravated assault. How old is it? Um. I thought it was in there. Mm, okay. POV, you find out you're adopted. <laughs> oh God, not this guy. We've talked about him. This guy is really, really something. I love this. Um, he his name is Lewis Sanderson. <laughs> this shit's so good. Thirty eight, and he just reenacts like horrific tragedies, <laughs> and just really commits he's the daniel day lewis of tiktok you might say <laughs> this man is a committed actor so here uh, he found out he's adopted at 38 my whole life has been a lie and i guess he's presenting it like it's real <laughs> i know i'm adopted <laughs> he's, he says, hello, hello mom hello mom i know i know Whole life's been a lie. I mean, not really. He's crushing this, dude. I know I'm adopted. I know I'm adopted. It's really raw. You can. St Why didn't you tell me? My whole, life's been <laughs> My whole life's been a lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, the slow mo. Oh, that hits. Oh shit, he's about to explode. <laughs> I'm telling you, cast him today in your student film. I, yeah. Him and Eric, <laughs> him and Eric Roberts. Dude. Cast him in your him feature Roberts, film, dude. In there. I just, I find his focus so fucking interesting. Here's uh, one where his kid <laughs> dies. I mean, why would you LARP <laughs> that? This is the guy that drowned his own kid in the pool. Yeah, too. yeah. We that, watched... <laughs> that TikTok has 59 million. In, in collaboration with Roman Atwood. <laughs> Dad falls from cliff during hike with son. Are you We haven't uh, checked this one, so it might be. Uh, uh, it's probably. Oh, uh, yeah, it has a song on it. So he's walking with his son. Uh, he's so cute and sweet. I hate to even think about, like, why, why are we even putting the situation on him? Look at this. Daddy. That kid looks like. Eh, he's so sweet. Josh, I need you to stay there. Josh, sorry. <laughs> I love you, son. <laughs> what the fuck? Daddy. 
That baby couldn't give less of a fuck. Yeah, that kid is like, whatever. That kid, <laughs> yeah, really, uh, that kid okay. cannot act. Yeah, for shit, He's bro. Daddy. Garbage. <laughs> oh, man. Daddy? He fell, dude. That doesn't yeah. look that look high. That, painful. Yeah. that drop looked pretty short. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty low effort one. And this one got a lot of views. TikTok pays you more now if you have a minute long video, and I noticed that all of these are a minute long exactly, <laughs> and a lot of slow mo shots. In You're there. right, really stretching. Do it we out. know what's the revenue like on the minute ones? Like, is it comparable to YouTube, or is it still like doo doo? I don't think it's comparable to YouTube, but I'm not certain. Do you know would know. Well, I wish I did. Yeah, but TikTok is just ignoring us. We cannot get weird. our account monetized. We have. Should I say it? You can say it. Yeah, we have like we have we've had three reps during like a couple. During the year, I've yeah. had like active conversation with them. I've, they've helped me with stuff, and just now, all of a sudden, they stop talking to us. They just ghosted us. Yeah, that's like every relationship. That's every fucking professional relationship in my life. It's so <laughs> bizarre, and they're also because I made the TikTok account in Sweden. They refused to. They're, it's a Swedish account. You can't get monetized in America. It's like so we're bizarre. in America, man. Yeah. Anyway, here's another. I'll watch one. It. Oh, this is the one where his kid drowned. That's so crazy. Here, I'm not gonna watch that one. This one is his his beautiful daughter dead. Jeez, dude. Yeah. What are these extras? He broke through. He's running. He found the daughter dead, man. They're roping it off. Wish he would at least get like a higher frame rate video for the slow mo. <laughs> Security, please let me see my daughter. He crashes. Se security guards in this rural bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in there. Kelly, is that my daughter in there? Oh, we gotta hear him though. Hold on, open it up. Someone hire him. Just oh. give him a job so he can stop doing this. And he can stop torturing his friends by making them be a part of these skits. Spitting all over. Here he is. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm not kidding you. Every video is like this. Here he is. His dad died. Oh, I gotta hear the sound though. <laughs> Stop putting music under this shit, dude. Go ahead. Do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. nice disclaimer. Oh, go ahead. Look, I mean, dude. Okay, all right. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Look, at, nobody does it like him, folks. I hope you get it. Oh, God oh, damn it. Jesus. All right, I'm out. Oh, God. We could uh, go through some and prepare him for next time. Yeah, it's all right. We've looked at him before. It's yeah, memory you see lane. what uh, Ian just dropped? What a clip of me looking, watching it. Well, he he. This posted is a, maybe the craziest did? TikTok. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh shit! I don't. Is this is even one of our accounts? Is it Issue Podcast Daily Clips? That's well, our he bar. like that's our boy. But this is that's not the channel. So Wait, this is Lewis Anderson, which I think is his name. This is the new one. That's that the made? fan channel. Oh, okay, yeah. fan channel. Got it. He's probably monetized and we're not. He probably did. <laughs> Dude, if anyone from TikTok, just reach out to us. Please. please. Like, it's so please frustrating. help us. We had, like, an active conversation with them and then, boop. I don't know. Talk I've ever seen. It's stunning. Yeah. No children were harmed in the making of this video. Never leave a is child Is it just me or does he respond pool. to it? Right. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Why would he do you, that? Yeah, with yeah, his yeah, own yeah, this one is definitely... So he just posted my clip. Another one? How many? Oh, okay. Shout out, Lewis. Keep up the good work, brother. He's like, you know, you know how Gary Vee was like, imagine somebody shooting the person you love most in the Once world a day, in the face. Once a day, genuinely sit there for five That's minutes what he's and doing. pretend one of them got shot in the face. He goes and he pretends that his son drowned every day. Right. He even reenacts it so he can be appreciative about the, the good times. He probably feels so good about it. <laughs> Just, I love you, son. You're not drowned. <laughs> it's really wholesome. 
Uh, let's see. We got the Dobrik stuff. We got the Dream Song Contest winners. Let's do the Dobrik stuff. Oh my God, the document, the documentary wars, Jimmy Lee wars is heating up. Um, there is now a a growing feud between the two Jimmy Lee documentarians, documentarians, and Jimmy is putting out statements, <laughs> I, which I've never seen him do before. <laughs> It is so fucking interesting. Um, Jimmy is embroiled in his first internet drama, I think. Which is really, you know, he's a star. He's a star. So, um, let's do the Dobrik one before we get too, too, too deep in. Because everyone's waiting for that. I'm going to go to the bathroom real fast, though. And I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. I can't wait for this bomb meme, man. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it a lot. Sheesh. I'm hungry. What'd you get? I got the fucking steak and bake. Of course you did. Ooh. Are you kidding, huh? You do um, anything uh, with your pap pap this weekend? I brought him to a football game. Or no, ba Jesus Christ, basketball game <laughs> with uh, with some other crew here. It was yeah. lovely time. Lovely time. Very How was fun. that? You a basketball uh, fan now? <laughs> no. I mean, it's a good time with friends and uh, when the team wants, wins, that's a good time. I don't know how that feels like. I though. thought the Clippers lost. They lost. They did. Well, they did lose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To the worst team in the league, too. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not the worst team in the league anymore. Yep, still are. <laughs> right. <laughs> Standings wise. Apparently, it was James. Martin's first game, and every time he did anything, Sam and I would go, Ah, James! James Harden. Oh, what'd I say? James Martin. Martin. James Martin. Ah, oh, James Martin. <laughs> James Martin probably would have played better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he on the Clippers now? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? When did that happen? This year? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday was the first game. A couple weeks ago. Oh, shit. Are you happy about that, Ian? Ian's a big Clippers I'm not going to subject anyone to basketball <laughs> talk on Why? this channel. Why not? I don't think it's the audience. People, the audience doesn't know, but Ian is very. I will very, say we uh, brought we brought Hawk in too, and oh yeah, was, right. Uh, he was he was stoked. Yeah, he, he loved that. He was yeah. he was telling me about it. He had a good good time. Yeah, yeah, nice. Good guy, great guy. Go Celtics. <laughs> Go Celtics. Okay, got so it. So I, I had that's the only sports talk we got to. Somebody says that the way we pronounce the name of the Vietnamese sandwich is upsetting them. What's the right way to say that? What'd you call it? I said bon mi. It's me. That's right. That's the correct way. I apparently not. Bon mi. Bon mi pronunciation. Let's hear it. We are looking at how to pronounce these names. Shut the fuck up, really? Really? That doesn't sound bad. Because the first is from Vietnamese. The, uh, yeah. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. How do you say it? Bon me. <laughs> what, what is the video? I don't know what you said. Well, there was like 20 it. seconds of intro. Hold on, let's we listen to this. We are looking at how to pronounce these names as well as how to say more interesting both and confusing names from Vietnamese cuisine. So make sure to stay tuned <laughs> to the Whoa. channel. How do you say it? Bon Mi. This well, this guy said it the talk. same way I did, and he clearly knows what he's talking about. So. Yeah, his friend's hitting that brown note frequency, man. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Gorgeous. Gorgeous voice. Gorgeous. All right. Let's do the Dubrick. Two brick? Let's do the do. <laughs> so let's see. Another person that's come forward. Annalise Marie, who's a popular Twitch streamer. Do you know if, do you know who that is? No, I do not. Maybe by fa if I see their face. What was He's, the name? Uh Annalise J. R. Marie. I I linked her Instagram in there. Oh, okay. Let me see. It's pretty big. Do you recognize her in the vlogs? Because I don't. I don't recognize her. I recognize her ex-boyfriend who was in the vlog squad. His he name was Joe. Mm. His Instagram's also in there if you want. Gotcha. So okay. So this is her, and then here's Joe. I guess this was her significant other. I don't remember this guy. Who is? Wait, which one is this guy? It's uh, with the white hat. I just saw him Joe. on the D'Amelio page. 
Right, this guy. Joe. Okay. Oh, Joe. that. Oh, they're all. They're Joe. still together. They still hang out. Go to Joe. They broke up into little groups, it seems. <laughs> and it's nice to see them all doing really well without David. For example, this one post has two hundred likes, so and four comments. Not to be uh, <laughs> harsh, but you, David put these people through so much with the hopes of his fame rubbing off on them, and. It sh it surprises even me how little people care about all the satellite characters in his world. Like even Jason Nash is kind of struggling to get. He's doing NPC streams. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not like, doing great. I, I, don't, I think even he's struggling to get like m moderate views. What, what is he doing? Let's see. Last time we just checked. He was doing that like all day, every day. Is he live? Yeah, he's live right now. No, he's Shut not. The fuck up. No, yeah. he is for not. Real? He's begging yeah. for money right now. Poor man. Please. Yeah, he's uh, in that same kitchen. No. Hold no. It looks like he's uh he's away right now, but I see hey, the hey, kitchen. There he is. Guys, guys, wait, 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 watermelon. There he is. Get him, loner. loner. Is it double? double? Is the audio double? double? Yes. Yeah, I love that. Oh, I think it's playing twice. How many Guys, people are watching right now? We're gonna put that on merch. Uh, that one's real good. Top right. Oh. Top right. In only top four right. words. You're a good writer, Angel. I would suggest that you get into writing. Oh, it's 209. Oh, 295. Jason, man. That's too sad. I'm turning that off. It is. No, I want to keep watching. <laughs> because Jason was, if anyone been, well, actually, Karina probably. Karina. Kar yeah, Karina crushed it as far mm -hmm. as anyone else in that vlog. She seems way more shrewd. Uh, <laughs> what, did it, was anyone else successful out of that group? Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Oh, you know what? Jeff made it because he fucking left. Right. Big and Nick I, is crushing it. I guess you could say Zane and Heath. They have a podcast. Did people They're, watch it? Yeah. Okay. They have like famous guests. Lift us from the ground. <laughs> oh, right. So that everyone can see. Yeah, he's Wait. doing great. Pull up that Jason. I gotta see that again. I need to understand what Dobrik has wrought on this world. He's on TikTok begging for money. That's sad. Well, he's just kind of kicking it. It seems like I don't know if he's begging for money. Why is he alive all day, every day? No, he's doing the like game thing. He, he basically yeah, the like is competition money, yeah. thing. All right, who's gonna give me the most money? That's the game. Can you pull it up, Dan? Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. That's the game. Let's see. <laughs> Freaking go back to basics. You know what I mean? No. This is for Earl Grey out in London, guys. From the United States to London. David, do something to help your oh, friend, man. Oh, let's just man. do it. We've got a minute left and... And he's playing copyright music. We have a minute left? Ugh. He's playing copyright music. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so. I got you. Slip inside the eye of your mind. All right. So anyway, Oasis <laughs> about them <laughs> in a live stream in 2021. Annalise revealed that a member of the vlog squad was very drunk and stepped on her foot in May 2018 and shattered it. Uh, causing lifelong condition. Whoa. She says that she was told to keep the incident a secret. Hmm. Sounds familiar. So wait, her telling her story is claimed? Why? Got claimed? The uh, the audio, and uh, I tried to remove it, but it it it's too low quality of a video to remove the is audio. It, is it music? Yes, it's music. Ah. Uh. Not even my friends knew until I. Oh, weird! It's so quiet. Yeah. So maybe I'll do CC. Does it have CC? That'd be great. Uh, the initial one may have. It's highlighted, but I can't click it. Oh, here, on. No, I don't have an option. Okay. Yeah, send me the original one. It probably has the closed captions. So, um. Since 2018, Annalise has been open about her diagnosis with both lymphedema, lymphedema and May Turner syndrome on her social media on various sites. 
May Turner syndrome is a condition that can increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis, a life-threatening blood clot, usually in the leg. Annalise said that she has also been diagnosed with lymphedema, a long-term t- condition that causes swelling in the body's tissue. And she's, she's saying that whatever happened with the vlog squad, whatever injuries she sustained caused these conditions, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. How many fucking... Okay, here. Wait, so how, what, how is this helpful? It, that's just where I got it from. Is there... There's no YouTube source. Oh. So... Mm, is it on YouTube? We were looking for it earlier. Here, let me look again. Hold on one sec. Uh, well, her story. Hey, stop with the side camera, man. We're not over. We're not overcompensating here. We we have one camera, and that's it. No, 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 no. Ah. All right. So we we'll, we're gonna transcribe it. And uh, we'll read it back. But essentially, oh, there's an article here. Let's read this. So this came out (coughs) in 2021, but we hadn't heard about her. She was uh, kept a secret. She says, a member in his vlog squad got drunk and broke her foot, and it caused a chronic illness. In a live stream, she said a chronic illness was caused by a vlog squad member. She said the person was very drunk and stepped on her break. How do you, how, that story doesn't make sense to me. I believe her, but I, I wonder if she's covering because how do you step and shatter somebody's foot? Right, it doesn't really make sense. And cause like lifelong damage. Right? Very drunk. I mean, he'd have to like stomp hard on her foot or something. <laughs> Seriously, an angel, an angel fucking, body yeah, slammed her fucking angel foot. Fucking yeah. to her. Um, let's see. During a live stream, someone in the vlog squad was drunk and an idiot, and they're the reason why I have my chronic illness. She said they were drunk. They were being an idiot. They stepped on me twice. Stepped on my foot. So did they really? It must have been for David. Yeah. Like, hey, dude. Stomp on her ankle, bro. Oh, <laughs> I don't know when exactly. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Stomp on her ankle, you guys. She's passed out. <laughs> the Vlog Squad is a YouTube collective, yada, yada. Uh, After the allegations came to light, Dobrik faced... Oh, now they're talking about uh, Dom. Since 2018, Marie has been open about her diagnosis of both limp... What is, how do you, uh, can we get that pronunciation Lymphen, guy again? Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. It seems like a well, word. Also, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> okay, so that's why. Okay, well, that doesn't help me either. Lymphedema. 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 Yeah. It's easier than it looks. Yeah, lymphedema. Uh, <laughs> insider, y'all don't have spell check. <laughs> and May Thurner syndrome. May Thurner syndrome is going to, it sounds like pretty rough, those, and this is a, de- a deaf noodles repost. Not even. Although this is from 2001, I guess, that when deaf was not, he wasn't, you know, there was people watching. Right. Like that. Have we ever talked, have we talked about deaf noodles since? I, I've never seen, um, such a. Complete and utter dispersion of somebody's audience. It feels like overnight he went from having like a genuine YouTube channel with like 100,000 views per vid to having like a hundred. Or I- I've never seen anything like that. How did that? I mean, I knew he got into like some kind of dramas and beefs and did and said dumb things, but wow. Uh, she said that Joe did nothing wrong, but added that she sometimes feels that she wouldn't be in this position if she didn't know Joe. Uh-oh. Joe. It's something I'm working on with my therapist, she said. 
I know it was an accident, but it still triggered me because I had to keep it all inside. She tweeted out, as time Joe. goes on, sometimes people need to grow separately on their own. Joe and I broke up a few months ago. They have nothing but love for each other. Okay, they broke up. She reveals that, um, oh, in the July 13th vlog um, entitled Surprising My Little Brother with Tupac, she said, I'm vulnerable. I had the worst four days of my life. Everything flipped on my head. Meanwhile, they're like, don't say what happened. Keep it a secret. This is Jake, and he made his Iron Man glove. This is real, and he's how, made how do you get the balls to do that? To continually tell people that are fucking, like, lifelong getting injuries. maimed. To Everyone's just, getting maimed around you at all, all very, the time. Very suspicious. <laughs> Not even my friends knew until I told them the reason because I was told to keep this a secret for many years. And basically it just got to a point and I couldn't handle it any longer. And Joe did nothing wrong. Basically the short version is, it comes down to someone in the vlog squad was drunk and an idiot. And is the reason I have my chronic illness today. They were drunk, an idiot, and stepped on me, stepped on me twice and broke my foot. That sounds horrible. I'm Dude, drunk. He, David is like breaking people. Like, this isn't the first time I've heard someone say, not even close, like, I was, I was told to keep it silent, and it fucking ruined me. Yeah. It ruined me until I had no choice. Um, dude. You're right about the I'm stepping really, thing. There's no way. There has to be something she's not saying. Her, it sounds like her foot was like fucking... Wait, you don't think that that would be enough to fuck her foot well, up Well, if much? somebody was, like, forcefully stomping on her foot as hard as they could, yeah, but who yeah. would do that? Right. Well, probably, it, she said they were drunk. They probably just didn't intentionally do it, but just well, acting like idiots. No, he did it twice. Yeah, it's, oh. It sounds intentional. Well, seems very mm -hmm. weird. Well, that com combined with the chronic illness, that's probably what made it so bad. It might have not have been as hard, I'm not sure. Well, she's, it sounds like the chronic illness was a result of the injury. The article, I don't know. I, I, unless I'm missing something, it, it didn't seem clear to me if it, she had it prior. No. No, it's mm -hmm. clear. Oh, okay. It clearly said, right, that... It yeah, she says she, it yeah. comes down to someone in the blog squad was drunk and an idiot, and they are the reason I have my chronic illness. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to make sure. Um, so, it seems like he's had a really good exchange with people. You get lifelong trauma and chronic illness, and in return... I get <laughs> a lot of to money. use you for money and views. <laughs> it's a healthy exchange of goods and services. Get it on his own and it actually works. Look at this. Let's see it. All right, three, two, hand down. Hold it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Corn. Oh, a lot wow. Wow. These videos, <laughs> like, in, looking back in retrospect, you can see the so debaucherous. It's just so fucking wrong. All right, guys, I'm here with Vardon. He's taking. I mean, we knew it, like how they laugh at everything over the top, and everything is just like Scientology ish plays. <laughs> Skateboarding today, he's gonna try to drop in. Dude, every time a fat kid drops in, <laughs> two, one, push. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my god. That looked painful. <laughs> Are you yeah. good? That looked oh, yeah. painful. Fucked oh his knee up. And that's a child. That's Vardon, yeah. Wait, why did you guys do that to him? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why are you guys bullying him? Wait, look at this. That was brutal. <laughs> I thought maybe it won't be that bad. His fucking ankle. I thought maybe it won't be that bad. He gets bad. the camera in his face. It's like, that's damn, a, you ain't shit, bro. That's a gnarly fall. That looks really painful. <laughs> he did the splits. I know that man can't do the splits. Hell no. By choice. By oh. choice. Why are we just stumbling upon <laughs> more of this? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you good? Stop <laughs> laughing. Stop laughing. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? Get up and walk it up. Get up and walk it up. Shut the fuck up, you fat so. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I'm emotional. They're forced to play along, you know, with the camera in their face. And the whole, the whole point of this is to make a great video. And everybody wants to be a team player. So nobody's going to be like, dude, I'm fucked up. Like, fuck you. Get in my face. Or, well, if they did, they would just make that seem like a joke, too, probably. 
right now. I am vulnerable. You have no idea. I had the worst four days of my life. Everything flipped on my head. Okay. Jo oh, he said that when she dumped him. Joe hasn't had a good week, so Joe. Because wanted... his girlfriend's foot got demolished. Cool. Good vibes only. <laughs> Good Dude, vibes only at the Dobrik compound. Bunch of friends having fun together, <laughs> vlogging it. We're just living, living life. <sighs> We're just a bunch of carefree, fun, loving people. We're just having <laughs> great times, <laughs> living our lives, yes, maiming man. our friends permanently. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, R wording women on a weekend. Yeah. Not a. We just like to get out and do We're stuff, just, man. Doing our thing, dude. We're just out here doing our thing. We're literally carefree. <laughs> How can you be more carefree than than literally maiming your friends on a weekly basis? There it is. Thank you for transcribing that, uh, Olivia. Of course, of course. Uh, meanwhile, let's bring the vibes up a little bit. This guy, who I love. This was my favorite, man. I love this one. This guy's like Prince. He's like, he's on another level. You did? I've been listening to it too. He's crazy talented. So anyway, a really sweet uh, follow-up. He posted his reaction to Instagram. It was very nice. Here it is. Ela saying that she likes the picture. <laughs> and them saying that they want to see me perform live. I could burst into Dude, motherfucking you are amazing. tears. Because, like, I put so much effort into loads of music that I do. And to get, like, a kind of response like that from people that I watch every day, literally, like, the podcast is on, and it helps me get to sleep and stuff, and I've been following it for Love years. Love you, dude. Oh, to Excuse get me? a kind of response Did like you that. sleep? <laughs> I'll, no, dude, you're missing the point. He lets it run all night. Oh, that is good for... Uh, That's good. Watch, watch time. time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jamie, watch time like crazy. I'm, like, so overwhelmed. I love Cardano. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Cardano. I'm sorry you lost. I, I, I see. He wrote, "Oh my God, this is so fucking lovely. I'm so massively overwhelmed." I love you, man. You are freaking such a talent. I want to hear more of his music. Actually, if there's. Me but, too. But in the meantime, we actually have the two winners uh, lined up: Vampira, Vampira XOXO, and the Jersey Lawman, the mysterious Jersey Lawman. So I wanted to basically congratulate them and um, say thank you and just to give them a shout out. Are they are they ready? Uh, the lawman is in the lobby. Bring the lawman in. So I gotta know who first, the fuck this bring guy him on is. Right now, stand by. This is his song. Man. We'll have your I listen little, to We'll have your little day. devil after that. My. <laughs> 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 this is your wake up song? I. This is what I put on in the morning. I was getting ready. Hello. Oh. Here we go. Yo. Oh my God. The Wait. face reveal. Oh dude. my God. So it was you doing the face. Your yeah, face. Me, yeah. The, the uh, let me get a look at you. And, uh, and the hair's real as well. All right. Yeah. Let me get a look at you. Uh, okay. I can switch over here. So, oh, you're, are you, you're English, eh? I am. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Brit. Whoa. And how is that for you to tune into the show? Is it difficult? Um, no, I normally watch that time late wise. anyway, so it's, all, it's, it's good for me. Right. So what's the story? Why do you have so many talents? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> um, I don't know. I started video editing, um, just like watching montage parodies and stuff back in uh, 2015, yes. some of your EXE yeah. videos. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I just like had to do it for work, I do like web design and stuff, so I just carried on learning it and then, um, <laughs> I don't know, I've just been doing music for a few years, so I just sort of, I don't know, I just, I like making content. <laughs> Jeez, dude. And you shred on the guitar? 
Yeah. Can we bit, see? But, uh, I don't even. Can you? Can you just? Can you shred something? Zach. Zach I, needs it, to see it to believe it. It probably wouldn't come through, but um, I can show it that it's real. There's, there's one. We see a guitar. Oh, oh, there we go. That looks nice. That's nice. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can record um, a real me playing this solo. For yes, so I actually just want to see that unrelated to needing receipts. Uh, what's your name, by the way? I don't think I caught it. Uh, I'm Felix. Felix. Felix, nice to meet you, man. Oh, yeah. Big we're, fan over nice here. Dude, fan. we are. Dan has kind of discovered you, or at least he put you on my radar. Yeah, I don't know if I was the first to stumble across the counter if one of these guys showed me, but uh, but as I've said on the show, I, I didn't follow the the Jersey outlaw. I just followed the law, man. <laughs> so what? <laughs> yeah. Um. What made you? How, what brought you to making the the Jersey Lawman? Can you explain the lore there? Um, I'm just trying to sort of provide some balance because you know Jimmy sometimes goes a bit far, so I thought I'd reel him back in a bit, basically. Mm. Uh. Ah, that's nice. The yin yang, uh, <laughs> two parts of the same mind. He um he he messaged me recently saying he's coming to London and he wants to meet up with me. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking about going to see him and I, I, I was like, I was thinking about like going up dressed as him or something. And then I, I heard recently that it's, it's a family vacation. So he's going to be with his wife oh and my kids. And I thought, like, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't think to tell me that before. Huh? The outreach Jimmy does will never stop surprising me. <laughs> um, he is a man of the people say what you will about him. But, uh. That's very nice. Well, dude, you're like a mega talent. I don't even know what to say. That whole video was thank nuts. You, you. And how did you create the Oliver, the Oliver tree part? Was that all AI? Uh, so basically, I I put a green screen behind me, and then had this jacket on, and then this wig, and I just lip synced it, and then I just um, used some AI thing to just put his face over mine, and then um, Damn, it just looks sort of so put good. some effects on it. But... Thank you, thank you. And then, but you also ran a filter on the voice too, right? To sound like him. Yeah, I basically um, got a load of his songs, took the vocals out, and then like trained an AI on it. So that then, and then I had to sing it and then apply that to it and do a little auto tune and stuff. Yeah, that's incredible, man. I'm tr I'm working on getting Dream uh, that collab, man. <laughs> um, he's not he's not answering my uh, texts. Is that he's not there? Is he really not? He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. <laughs> he's not there. Well, he did say he did say that he was interested in doing an official remix. Okay. I mean, that's something. If it involves so so I don't know. I mean, how could he say no to these? Yeah. yeah. He's got to do it. He's got to. <laughs> he's got it. And, and what's your is your ambition in life? Are you trying to be a musician or or uh, are you trying to make content? Is there something like what do you? Or is there something you're working for? Or is this all just for fun? Um, it's kind of for fun, but um, I've been I've been making music for a while, but I haven't really released much of it. But I might I might um, I, don't, I might start putting a bit more out. But um, yeah, I don't. I just do it for fun mainly, though. I just I just I just get an idea and then I sort of have to make it. So I just put it up on the Instagram. Right. Damn. How old are you? Can I ask? Uh, I'm 23. I wish I had your skills at that age. <laughs> and you have like a, you have like a, you're like gainfully employed too, right? You said you got like a real job. Uh, well, I, yeah, I do like freelance web design. So, Shh, so shit, so the, <laughs> the lawman has fucking got it all going on, dude. Lawman. He's got a uh, um, Primus. Uh, forgive me, it, it, there is AI in it, right? Uh, there's a, a uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's wicked good. Like a, he does his Primus parody song and it's oh yeah I remember that that blew my mind yeah it was nuts <laughs> yeah yeah that's um that's an AI I've got two AIs of Jimmy I've got one I trained on him speaking and one on him singing and then that's <laughs> that's a Jimmy singing a Primus song. <laughs> that's so good that's so awesome well um I it's nice to meet you I I didn't know what to expect uh, I didn't know if you were a real person or or. I, I was partially expecting another AI representative to come on the screen, but here he is. Uh, He's the real it. deal. The real fucking the real, deal. Yeah. Nice to meet you. A mega I'm talent. Gonna, I'll let you know if I um, if I meet up with Jimmy. I'll probably see some video of that. But um, he doesn't do. ring me as well, which is funny because oh, I thought do he not. would ring me all the time. He, <laughs> do he not give him your. You said ring. He wanted to ring you. 
Yeah, he. I, I've spoken to him once on the phone, but I don't think he knows oh, it's the same person because I was like, <laughs> I was doing, I was like reading his website at one point, but he didn't want to end up finishing it. But um, he just, the first 20 minutes was him just rambling jokes to me, and I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> so I just sort of. I just just be careful because you've seen what it's done to Zach sharing the number. It's taken mm -hmm. a toll on Zach. Much <sighs> yeah, just be be cautious, man. I did. Yeah, I'll try. I'll but try. I'll tell you that if you have any ideas or stuff, like you are such a mega talent, you want to do something for the show or you have any ideas, you reach out to us. We'll keep a line of communication open. Okay, yeah, cool. Thank you. I'll have a thing. I like, I like, I like what you got going on over there, Felix. I'd love to jam with you sometime, dude. If you're ever out here, you're oh, a wicked to. player, man. Hell yeah. yeah. There Thank you go. You, yeah, that'd be awesome. Bro, you got to put, put out a video of you shredding. I have to see it. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, do yeah. It. <laughs> Is that your main instrument, the guitar? Do you play anything else? Um, yeah, mainly the guitar. I got a bass recently, but just sort of learned that a bit. And then I like, I, well, I don't, I don't really play the piano, but I like play a little bit of it. Um, but yeah, mainly the guitar. That's what I've been playing most. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, well, thank you so much. Get uh, The guys will get your... Did you guys get his info for the the grand prize? Uh, I follow yeah. him on Oh, we got it. Okay, we cool. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, you can DM me. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for sending through all the great memes, all the great memories. And uh, absolutely love everything you do, so... Cheers, man. Yeah, thank you. You'll see some more from me in the future. Hopefully. All right. I'm tuned Cheers, in. Hell yeah. I'm tuned in. I'm watching. Nice the lawman shall go on. Even if even after even after Jimmy Lee is gone, the lawman for what I'm not saying like dead, but I mean he is old. He's getting up there. I mean he's a lot older than he is. Yeah, he's like for sure. he's like 48, 49. But now. the lawman will continue. Damn, that dude, he... Uh, that dude is a mega talent. All right, we got uh, Vampiro on. Talk about mega talents. Yes, indeed. One second. We get her set up. Yeah. Uh, connecting audio. Okay, she should hear us now. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's a little quiet. Oh, it's really quiet. Your Here. mic. I'm turning it up a little bit, Zeki. Yep. Might be us. Here, let's see if we can turn it up. Say something now. Hi. There oh, we go. Yay. There you are. Hello. Whoa, uh, first of all, congratulations. You are amazing. Uh, everybody has uh, fallen in love with uh, the the song you made. Uh, the audience was going crazy for it. How are you? Thanks. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So good to talk to you, Ethan. Yay. Thank you. you. That's nice. Thank you. It's awesome. I just love seeing all the talent in the audience. But so tell me about the are you actively making music? What's the story there? Yeah, I actively make music. I've been doing it ever since I was 14. Um, I am self-taught, so I'm still progressing in my music production and mixing. It's all self-taught. So I'm learning each and every time I do a music project. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to do music full time. Mm -hmm. I just keep progressing in that and yeah. <laughs> so are you, um, <laughs> do you play instruments or it, it, was it, is it a produced on the, uh, the computer? Like what's your process or do you work with other musicians? Um, so I use Logic Pro X. Yeah. Um, so I do it all on the computer. Um, but I'm self-taught on the piano and guitar as well. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. I think you're, um. I think you're really onto something. The everything that you did was really good uh, and really stood out. What, where where can we find more of your stuff? I want to look at it. Well, um, I have a SoundCloud. Um, I just posted that on my IG page. It has a bunch of my previous work. Um, it's all uh, again. I'm so amateur at all of this. Um, 
but eventually I will be producing a lot more high quality music. So I'm excited for that, especially since I want to do music full time. I think the whole idea of Vampira is just so fun. I want to build lore with that alter ego. So I'm mm. like excited to get into that. Here is uh, Vampira.xoxo on Instagram. Is this, this is the best place for people to follow you, would you say? Or is, yeah, 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 cool. I'm most active there. Nice. Um, Slay. I, uh, I pinned the SoundCloud link in the uh, oh. in the chat as well if people want to find that. And the production on the song sounded phenomenal. Yeah, I'm very impressed. You're all self taught because I thought the mixing and it sounded very professional, very clean. It was so challenging. Hmm. I, I, my vocals were so loud. I've never mixed mm. my vocals that loud before. It's all such a big learning process for me. Um, so I'm surprised I finished the song within a week. Right when you guys made the announcement, I was like, all right, I'm 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 just going to stop the stream right now. I'm going to go and yes. work on the song. Mm. Um, I'm glad we, we pushed more time because I knew. Yeah, it was yeah, definitely it worth it. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. Dude, I thought, should I listen? Do you want me to listen to this one? I don't know. Some people don't like like to play their old music. Is there a song here you want me to listen to that you think particularly? Yes, actually. Okay. Um, so I did a mashup of two of Grimes' songs. It's called Be a Body. Oh, you know what? Play I, it if it has love, love, love yeah. Grimes oh, is it, in it. Does it use her like music? No, I did everything. It's all different. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh my god, I think I'm pretty positive when we were listening, I was like, this sounds like Grimes. Like I it like influenced by Grimes a little bit. Wait, where uh I love. how do I find I'm so boomer? She's how do I, how do a I math inspiration for me. That's awesome. I think it's Ash Nico, Melanie Martinez, and um and Grimes. I love They're Ash like Nico. Is my inspiration. It's this one here, be be a body. Yes. Okay, all right, let's hear it. Oh, is it uploaded to Discro, Disco, Distro Kid or anything like that? No, just okay. on YouTube um, okay, and cool. on SoundCloud. Cool, so perfect. I, you're sure, you're good. Sure you you're good, yeah. Loves you, Vampira. They love Vampira. You. Oh my God. Your voice is crazy <laughs> oh, good. You have a beautiful God. voice. Thank you. Um, right now, I'm struggling with my voice right now just because, um, okay, I live in Arizona and I'm highly allergic to the atmosphere in Arizona. Right. So, From Arizona? Hey, how are you? <laughs> and so that takes a toll on my voice and I'm also like highly allergic to my cats and I have three of them oh, in God. So right now I am struggling like it this is probably a little bit embarrassing but it takes me hours upon hours to record one song and why so is that because you can't get the vocals right correct oh. I heavily rely on auto-tune that's my biggest secret. No, I don't think uh, I can tell the difference between a. Uh, you sound great. Exactly. Queen, you know promise. what I mean. Let's, Whatever you're on, doing don't, is working. Yeah, don't yeah. don't I sell yourself short. Absolutely. Well, well yeah. <laughs> well, I am very excited to to follow along, and I think a lot of people are as well at home. I encourage everybody 
to go on the Vampira journey. Vampira.xo and well the link to her SoundCloud is on that page. So I'll yep. just go and there. uh three in the description of the episode as well. Arizona. I heard lots of gators out yeah, there. Yeah, any gators out there? Bunch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still so an issue. Well, man. It's still an issue. Yeah. Oh, um well, oh do you, you know the whole little devil thing that was that wasn't serious <laughs> just serious i love that okay all right i really do i just threw that out there you know i was just being a little That's bit silly thing. okay the thing. Uh, i love it vampire oh, your fans we should be called little devils yeah are you kidding oh, little oh. devils done done little devils <laughs> That's the fan base. Hi, Vampira. I'm a little devil. <laughs> I'm a little devil, too. Damn. <laughs> I'm absolutely in, in, yes. in. So I just want to say thank you so much. And congratulations. You're so talented. I just hope, wish the best for you. And I think a lot of people are going to be following along now. So keep thank slaying. You. Thanks. And I just want to put in my two cents about how much I love you guys. Mm. I know a lot of people do this. Please. Uh, no, I, I just... I, no, lay it on thick. <laughs> yeah, lay it on thick. I need it right now. I love you guys so much. Yeah. And I actually followed H3 ever since you guys started. Wow, um, thank you. At the time, I I actually lived in Jerusalem. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, wow. I are diplomats, so I've traveled oh, shit. all my life. Whoa. Yeah. And so um, at the time, I was just in middle school browsing on YouTube, and I kept seeing... Uh, videos of you with Ela, and at the time I didn't understand what I was watching, uh, but I definitely started <laughs> catching onto the H three uh, fandom uh, once I left Jerusalem. So um, I've I've known you guys for forever, ever since you started, That's and wild. I love. You. Well, and thank you for saying that again. Just because so many people want to call me a Zionist, this is another person that left Israel. And then <laughs> I will say, school. I don't want to say because of me, but it sounds like, you know, something clicked when oh, you left I Israel. See. Right, right. That, uh, <laughs> you know, so I'm just saying, I'm an anti-Zionist. I don't think that um, <laughs> diplomats, they have like a certain amount of time um, on their post. I was only there for three years. So that's essentially that. Mm. But I loved my experience in Jerusalem, and um, I I wish I could go back again. I used to live right next to the old city, oh, like wow. five minutes away. Well, that's that's such an intense part of town. There's just so much hustle and bustle. It's like yeah. such a city, city. You know what I mean? Loved it. My sister and I. I was like twelve at the time, and she was like ten. Her and I would just roam around. Jerusalem by ourselves go to rebar or like get I, I just like buy things just cute little girly things right you know? I don't think just girly I don't things. think people realize like I didn't for sure when I first went to Jerusalem like it's such a it's such a like uh booming city it's not like just old town although old town is pretty pretty wild but there's so much going on there it's a pretty amazing town it really is. Huh. I, I mean, I'm privileged and lucky that my family and I experienced such, uh, we had such a good experience in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, at the time, I didn't really understand the conflict. Um, now I'm more aware of it. Um, but yeah, um, I, I just wanted to throw that out Thank there. Thank you. That's so nice. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm happy that our our paths uh, crossed and that um, that we'll continue on. And you know, I'm I'm excited. So thank you. Can't so to hear you on the dream yeah. album. I know. I'm working on the collab. It's gonna happen. I'm, I'm I working. I don't know that much about dream, but mm. well, don't um, look into it too. Much. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably, maybe not right now. Don't, yeah. don't look yeah. into it too much. Maybe ever. The less you know, the better. Yeah. <laughs> Little Devils forever, though. Little yeah. Devils. Yeah. We love it. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye. There it is. There it is. Congratulations. And we got their uh, payment stuff, both of them. Good. Nice. I'm in touch with both of them. Let me all gather it all together.
Thank you, thank you. Beautiful, wonderful folks. I, I, gotta, I feel like I've got to talk to Cardamo, too, or at least just give him a shout out. You could just send him a, a DM, just let him know that, how much you loved. Is he on songs. Instagram? Do you want me to send the Zoom link and see if we mm. get lucky? Uh, we can move on. I guess, yes, yeah, send the link, I guess, and maybe. Okay. We'll continue on, but if he answers, I just want to glaze him up a little bit. You know? Uh, because I, you know, I mean. And I, his video was very sweet. So I love it. But yeah, follow everybody. I think Vampire has got quite a little following here in the audience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the girls are riding for Vampira. Right now. Okay, let me hear another one of his songs. Let's let's try this one. Andro. Uh, and Should we ask him first if he has these uploaded anywhere? Yeah, probably. This one's called Androgynous. Uh, I guess I should wait. I'm s I want to play it, though. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to regret it if it gets claimed. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they, nev they don't even know how to remove it. It's like a whole nightmare forever. All right. A nightmare? A nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare. So, uh, at this point, we can move on to something that I've been looking forward to talking about, which is the documentary wars that Jimmy Lee has caught himself in the center of a hurricane. Old timey turned into a bad timey. Jimmy Lee has absolutely... Is his career in, in peril? I don't know. There's a lot of people upset at Jimmy. There's there's a lot of emotions are high. Uh huh. It's interesting. Um, Jimmy. So, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Mike Klum. Yeah, or? thank you. Sorry, Mike. Mike Klum. Um, when he called in, he had explained that Jimmy, he had shot a whole ass documentary with Jimmy. Mike. And because he was taking too long, which I think was just only a few months, really. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy started to work with this other documentarian, Alex, documentarian, documentarian, Alex, who put out the Jimmy Lee um, documentary, which is a very good documentary that I suggest people to watch. Yep. But, um... There's some drama. Alex saw that and he got upset because he felt that Mike was accusing him of plagiarizing. And now my interpretation of that interview with Mike is not that. I, I felt that Mike was being very, very um, kind and, and flat and complimentary to you. I think if anything, he's blaming Jimmy. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, so Jimmy, first of all, Okay, here's statements from all the parties. Let's start here. Let's start with the first exhibit. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some kind of um, CSI. Yeah. <clears throat> so so uh, Jimmy has never put anything like this out. So if you started a doc with someone and then was ghosted after spamming them for months, would you not think that's out the door? Do you think Jimmy wrote this? It's not like in his voice. <laughs> no, I mean, no, hell not. used the word ghosted? <laughs> out the door? I feel like Jimmy wrote that. Ghosted, though? No, he wouldn't say ghosted, would he? He said it when we were on the phone with him. Hey, Mason, write something up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He got someone to write this for him. I'm not young like you guys. I don't have time. <laughs> bro, bro. I said that jokingly, <laughs> bro, that's but I, I do think that he just thinks he's going to die soon, and he's yeah, got to get the ball going. Yeah, he's in a hurry. Alex hopped on it and completed it, whatever. <laughs> I was being goofy. You think, and, he definitely wrote this. Okay. This is an MD, by the way. Well, no, not an MD, but this is a doctor. You'll know he if he wrote it if there's like typos and ats in it, because he always like, there's always ads and shit. Like that at sign? Yeah. 
Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, what is it? Uh, He's shorthand. He's a shorthand kind right. of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex hopped on it and completed it, whatever. I was being goofy apologizing after hearing how many views the boogie doc got. Thought you guys would understand that by now. It's a comedy podcast I'm on after all. Who is this guy? <laughs> I've never heard Jimmy talk like this. Because yeah. it's probably not him. But he posted it. I thought he's the only he's the one with posting power. I'm looking I'm going through my text with him right now. It doesn't seem like his general uh verbiage. I gotta ask him who wrote this, Zach. Oh. Mike is I love that he'll drop anything to call into the show pretty much. Like, when have we ever been like <laughs> get Jimmy on the line and he didn't answer the call? And the <laughs> guy he owns like five dentist practices. Ain't no way he's he doing would shit. he would walk away mid patient. To yeah, call it into the show. Sure. You want him? You want him on the line? Yeah, let's get him on the line. I got to know what happened here. I'm an older guy. Oh God, he's really laying it on. He says Mike is doing fine. Everybody's fine. Nobody is hurt. I'm an older guy. You guys are attacking for no reason right now. That's uncalled for. You think my documentary would have even blown up like boogies? Let's be real. I mean, that's true. I don't know that that's true. Yeah, it's definitely true. I mean, who's Jimmy Lee? People know who Boogie is. Okay, but I think, I mean, who knows though? I mean, it's done quite well on Alex's. Not, to, I don't want to take away from Alex. No, it's done fine for yeah. for being. I mean, I, I I agree with what Jimmy's saying there. <coughs> like if Mike had made a documentary, it probably would have got a similar amount of views. Right. Good for Mike for going with Boogie. Good for me for going with Alex. All as well. You can't just take what a person say and run with it. We're humans. We're complex. We're getting used to get mad at every little thing where in the end, no one's getting hurt. That's true, Jimmy. If nobody's hurt, um, I mean, Mike did waste a lot of time. Well, he doesn't seem too cross about he wasn't, it. He wasn't he, he was the only, he's the one who's not upset. Yeah, yeah, he's right. the only one that got fucked over. Yeah, he seemed like... <laughs> right. I guess people got mad at Jimmy when they heard about what happened. Right. Yeah. Uh, when Mike said Alex stole clips, how could that happen if nothing was released? What didn't Mike didn't that. specify was he meant stole the same filming location. That's all. Did he use the word stole? I don't remember stole. I don't recall him ever saying I don't Alex think he did. stole. Yeah, I, don't think so. I think I think Mike said that yeah, you went into the same locations and like. Right, and, which I guess yeah. got interpreted as like you were ripping off, but he, I, I the way I interpret it is, it's Jimmy Lee. It, he's one person. He has one set of friends. He has one brother. He has one yeah. comedy club that he hangs out with. And they t he takes him to the same location. Yeah, it's everybody. gonna, it's gonna be a similar it's silly. thing. I mean, I, yeah, I get it. Uh, Jimmy said he'll call in in ten minutes. All right, he's finishing up on a root canal. He's he's driving. <laughs> he's probably out to dinner. He's yeah, he's at the dinner. deli for sure. Um, so this is interesting. This is a new side of Jimmy. I can't, is he defending himself? Maybe he's defending Alex. It's interesting. Alex was upset by this whole situation. Um, Alex is in chat. Alex Novell. My doc got as many views as Jimmy as actual followers on Instagram. There it is. That is true. Damn. That's true. And Jimmy, that's your official documentarian saying that, so... Hi Alex, welcome uh, to chat. We appreciate you. And let me check on the, let me check on the the doc. Let me see what you've done here. You did a great job too, by the way. I mean, let's put it in perspective because Mike, he's a professional and he works with people. I seemed like you really put that together. Um, oh, thank you. You really put that together uh, yourself. I, I'm assuming, and it's quite impressive. It brought me to tears. Olivia was crying. My Twice. God. Just about famous, the Jimmy Lee documentary. I recommend everybody watch it. I mean, damn. By the way, speaking of which, did we get a hold of the Mots boss? Yes, we did. So we're 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 gonna, you and me, we're gonna talk after. The okay, show. good. I'm excited. I'm excited for Jimmy to not know anything about it until it happens. Still, I mean, this is shot like super classy. I love it. The majority of things that happen in this area are funny. So that's so that's Alex. It just got fifty thousand views. That's great. Um, so let's continue on with the statements here. There's another post by Jimmy. Hi, everyone. Right now, it seems like I am the enemy. Again, I just, because people are always mad at Jimmy. I, I just, yeah, I mean, like, 
I find it interesting that of all the times people have been mad at him, that this is the one time he had to come out and defend himself. I've never right. seen it. I want to assure everyone that this is all a misunderstanding. Mike and I were in the works of a documentary before Alex and I were involved. After Mike. no response from Klum, for three months, after repeated attempts to reach him to no avail, I had given up. I know what that means, though, Jimmy, to be fair. You were texting him like a thousand times a day, and he was trying to live a normal life. Um, after no response from Klum for three months, after uh, repeated attempts, I had given up. Alex reached out to me by email and asked if I wanted to make a doc. So I went with Alex. Thank you. I'm very satisfied that I chose the right person to do the film for me. I am now aware that he did not say that Alex stole his content and it was a misunderstanding. Okay, nice. <laughs> Things are heating up, man. It's an old timey conflict, you know? All right, let me see, what did I get here? The chicken pesto? This thing looks pretty intense. Hey, you, people complain about hearing me too. I'm so far away. The chicken, uh, caprese. <laughs> I don't think so. Why, is there an extra roast beef? Oh this, Lord. This looks good. I'll switch if there's confusion. Olivia. So um, the drama is continuing. The documentary uh, documentarian who ended up doing Jimmy's doc left this comment about the situation. Oh boy. Alex said, I worked super hard on my doc about Jimmy. I heard a lot to hear Mike say I basically stole the idea from him when Mike was literally making a hit piece on Jimmy. Mm hmm. You know, I think it's kind of harsh, but he might be, it might be that Mike's documentary would be more critical. I think Alex took a really like humanistic kind of, uh, very, just a very neutral showing of Jimmy and what his life is like, you know? Yeah. And I could definitely see Mike, not that it's wrong or a bad thing, but you know, I think Mike is, as a documentarian, more interested in like telling a story, mm -hmm. which isn't bad. It's good. When I met Jimmy, he told me he had filmed with Mike for four days and all of Jimmy's team told me how worried they were that it was a hit piece documentary. His team, I gotta know who you talk to. I love Jimmy and have been a fan of HG since 2013, so it was super sad for me to hear people say my project is lesser than Mike's non-existent Jimmy Lee documentary. I put real time into my film and have true love in my heart for Jimmy. I'm super broken after this and not sure what to do next. I also interviewed Jimmy's brother, which took a lot of hard work and emotional discussions with Jimmy. There's also where I got all the archival footage from, which Mike never did. So I'll say this, Alex, your work was phenomenal specifically all the archival work and then bringing his brother into it was uh was a was a masterwork amazing i do i have i do fear that you might be taking mike's words i don't i don't think he accused you of stealing anything you know i think from your part it's totally understandable what happened uh it was definitely jimmy um that fucked mike over not you uh, no. Please let me call in, I tell you. Are you sure? You want to call on with Jimmy? I mean, that'd be interesting. Let's keep, let's keep the, let's do it, let's do it. Let's let Alex call him. The documentary wars are heating up, man. Cardano's coming too, let's get them all. <laughs> oh, I should. People say I chew with my mouth open. What's this? Because I'm talking? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm trying to do a show? How am I supposed to talk with my mouth closed? I'm not Jeff Dunham. <laughs> I 
Mm-mm. I'm not going to do it. And then I go like this to cover it, and people go, he's soy. <laughs> Look how soy Ethan is covering his mouth. Who said that? Some people are saying, that's my ick. That's the funniest shit I've ever what? heard in my life. No Reddit. fucking way. <laughs> soy because you cover your mouth as they you They said, speak. that's my ick. I'm obsessed. That's a you problem. That's, that that's is your so ick, funny. That's on you. <clears throat> you know. That's an ick to call it an ick. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That's a reverse ick. So, well, since Alex is calling in, then we'll just wait and talk to him. Mike responded, though. So now, Mike has made a statement. Everybody is forced to make a statement on this. Uh-huh. Hey, guys, just to clarify, I don't think Alex plagiarized my film. In any way, he did a great job and brought additional scenes and ideas that I had. Him. Given a range of commitments I have, my process takes between 6 uh, to 12 months. I understand this wasn't the timeline that was fit for Jimmy. He was anxious to keep things moving. And I mentioned I needed more time. Alex didn't see my footage, but we did both shoot in a lot of similar locations and discuss similar things. This is why I said replica, but that was the wrong word to use and insinuated malice intent, which there was none by Alex. I do think Jimmy should have been more forward with me about his involvement in another documentary, and I would have happily collaborated. But this is ultimately okay, and this is how things happen in business. The H3 interview was my first major public interview. I was a bit nervous and excited and should have been more respectful to Alex and his team for the original work they did. I encourage everyone to check it out. I think he's, I think again, Mike to, Mike is being very gracious. I don't, I think Mike, I, I, I don't, I mean, I think you both are totally fine. Both of you guys, you know, just as Jimmy did this. This is an old timey thing happening here. This is not your guys' fault. Jimmy caused this whole thing too. We weren't going to talk about um, Mike working on his Jimmy doc until Jimmy messaged us. <coughs> so he he shoehorned himself into the drama here. Mm. True. Um, in Dub We Trust said, "What is this about the eel pit? Is this a eel pit? Are you eel pit associated?" Well, I have a second. Let me speak for the audience. Oh, never mind. I misread that. We see you putting off the eel pit. No, the eel pit's going to... We're doing that next. Right after this. Right after this. Mm-hmm. Um, so, is there more? There's more posts. And Jim, like, Jimmy put this on a chalkboard graphic. What the fuck? This one is Jimmy for sure. Because <laughs> look at the spacing, the enters. But where do you get this template? <laughs> Dude must have downloaded it like an app. A good Shock note marker. app, and he just like, I don't fucking know. It's written in prose. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Jim, so this one may have been Jimmy. He said, hi, everyone. Right now, it seems like I am the enemy. Oh, didn't I read this one? Yeah, I read this one. Yeah, a different version of it, I guess. I like this version better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have um, Card- Cardamon. Cardamon. In the lobby, and I also have Alex, the uh, documentary filmmaker. Let, let's lobby. stay focused, Cardamo. Sorry, I, let's follow. Let's continue the thread, and let's talk <laughs> you to Alex. Have him as a third wheel in this conversation. Let's let's try to keep it. Uh, so bring Alex in. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, choking. <clears throat> I mean, I'm I'm fascinated by all this. It's pretty incredible. All right. Um, he's here. He doesn't seem to be paying attention. I don't know if he knows that he's in here. Alex? He hasn't connected his audio. Oh, there we go. Alex. One uh, sec. Let me mute the... Oh, uh, okay, cool. There we go. I had to mute the show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Are you fe- uh, great to? Sorry to cut you. I was just saying. I hope you're feeling better about the situation because I'm. I'm feeling really good. From the get go, when I called Mike, I don't know if you watched the video that I put out, but when I called Mike, he was very understanding about the whole situation, and I was just like, "Look, like I feel like there's like some misconceptions because I just started getting like bombarded like all of a sudden I've never seen something because I'm like a really small guy I've never seen something like this where like I was getting all this love on the dock and everyone was really into it and then like you guys had that episode with Mike and then like all this hate started flowing in and all these comments on the dock of people being like 
I'll read one to you right now. Yeah, go ahead. I'm here. curious what people were saying. That might explain uh, why. The Mott's Boss segment is so out of place. Got to got to rep the Mott's Boss, by the way. Dude, I love Mott's Boss. We're we're working on getting him. No, I I've been talking to him. I've been I've been coaching him for We're sure. booking he, him. We we shot I shot something with him on Saturday and I just put it up on my channel this morning. Um it's Ooh. like an extra Star Wars like heavy Star Wars <laughs> mozzarella boss Hell bringing yeah. old mozzarella back That's to life an exclusive. with the power of the force. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. So anyways, so Someone said, like, uh, they said, maybe the doc was about Jimmy and his friends, but I think the other guy should have done the doc. Boogie's was way better quality than this. And I think, like, the thing is, is there was never, it's a like, comparison yeah, of yeah. the two docs. And because of that episode, there's just all this comparison between, well, Mike could have done Jimmy's story. And I just put out a video to say, like, look, if Mike had done it, it might have been different. I have no ill will towards Mike. I just felt like I had to defend my doc. I had to defend Jimmy because Jimmy, Jimmy did, he's not being very clear about this, but like uh, Olivia, the girl who works with Jimmy, she reached out uh, to you what? guys, I think, and sent you an email. So um, Olivia um, works for Jimmy. Different and, person, not me. And what did she, what did she email us? She, I think she guys, she sent you guys an email uh, with like, text screenshots of her calling Mike Klum and telling him basically that Jimmy didn't, he was worried about the doc. I, I'm not really sure. Cause I just, I, she was texting me about all of this and I think it's more like her, her side of the story than mine. But I just wanted to say my piece of that. Like Mike understood that I, that like as a filmmaker, I had to say like, look, replica is a really weird word in filmmaking. He, I felt because it was very hard to like get all of that that like I don't know I just felt like I had to come out and defend my work. I understand but Alex one sec can we get Olivia on the call? Yeah. We're going to get and Jimmy's going to be joining us soon. So we'll get to the Oh maybe, my god, this is a Can we get the mozzarella boss on too? That's on you. I, I mean, do we have his frankly, number? Yeah. Yes, I, I do. Yeah, I have his, I have I have his number. Get, I've been texting with him. Yeah, let's get the Mots let's boss. Let's get the Mots boss in here. Fuck it. I just, <laughs> we gotta counsel. get the whole. Can we get Joey Gabadaguch? Do you guys have Joey Gabadaguch's number? <laughs> I don't. I can give you Gabadaguch's <laughs> number, Olivia. Who um, is Gabadaguch? Oh, that's Gabba the Gucci guy at the diner. Jimmy. Gabbana Gucci is Jimmy's sidekick. He's a very important character oh, in all of this. Literally, he just oh, kind of—he's quiet. He'll just kind of sit there in the <laughs> corner and be quiet. <laughs> he's but for, for ambiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabbana Gucci is very so, important. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I see how, why that comment would be upsetting. Although, I think you know, I think and also what, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but he, he implied that. That they were that Jimmy was taking me around and showing me like places and stuff. My whole family's from Cherry Hill, uh, so I, I kind of like we would set intentions for the day of like what the story would be. But it, this was all kind of like I'm a longtime fan of the show, and this is like my love letter to Jimmy and to the show. So Thank you. It, it, it's not. It, it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like how it was implied that like Jimmy was taking me to the diner. Jimmy was taking me. The only place Jimmy took me is whenever we shot the street comedy. We had to like kind of stay and follow him, and right. I had to coach my camera people to be like, "This is we got. This is the reward he gets for the day. We we did a lot of hard work today, and this is what he wants to do." So, how many people did you work with on this uh, on this documentary? So I like finance this all out of pocket um, with like five grand. Um, wow. And it was just me, my best friend, Josh from college, my friend Yuki, who's a really talented cinematographer and filmmaker. Um, so there's like maybe 10 people total who worked on the, the movie. But oh, wow. I, uh, uh, I just like called in every favor and like every person I, I know from like, working professionally doing like stuff in my day job and then like stuff outside of that just trying to like i feel like i just had this story to tell about jimmy like i I'm thought so connected to I... him it's so sad <laughs> you guys talk every day i'm assuming like well constantly that's what jimmy and i are kind of like on the rocks right now actually he, we haven't talked in like four days <laughs> oh, and it's no. really sad to me i'm hoping when he calls in we can make nice because like he he said I wasn't defending him enough in the comments, and he thought I deleted one of his comments. <laughs> and like he just got so upset. Wait, at me Jimmy and I got cried mad over at you? I ate a Costco rotisserie chicken and I cried and sobbed. I'm like, Jimmy no. hates me. Jimmy 
after me. He hates me. Why does it work? And Larry called me. Larry called me on the phone and he's like, I'm sorry about what's happening to you, man. And like, Wait, and I Larry's said, Larry's Jimmy's brother, right? Yeah, Larry's so Jimmy's brother. So he's bro- even involved in this? This is, well, this, this, right. this drama is far reaching. This what? is like a, it's total national. Fall out. This is international. Could we have everybody him call was in? affected? But, uh, His brother? That's fucked up. No, no, the, Jimmy, Jimmy was. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's too far. That's too far. I won't do that to him. Uh, I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, guys. No, I'm no. a little hopped up. I think I, I Olivia uh, messaged me on Discord. I don't. I, I don't know if this is her. I Instagram DM'd her. Okay. The, with the Zoom link, so Olivia, so if you're got, watching. So he got mad at you because you weren't defending him. It's that's um, this is a mischaracterization. Jimmy is an amazing person. He has extreme OCD. What I found from working on this film, he adjusts the corners of things and he flips the lights on and off and does stuff his mom would do, which is like incredible, like classical OCD. But he also, in conjunction with that, has what we call old fashioned New Jersey lead poisoning. Ah, um, uh, uh, so maybe he's not histrionic, maybe it's just lead poisoning over a no, lifetime. But like, of- Tap the water. people from that town, like the people from Cherry Hill, like my grandparents, are like leaded the fuck oh, up. They're interesting. just filled with lead. Oh, that is so insightful. So, tell me about the timeline, though, because so all this there was kind of a fallout. You got upset after the mic one. It sounds you guys resolved it, and I'm happy about that because I think you're both good dudes. So I I, I hate to see Mike's you all a fighting. great guy. Mike yeah. is a re- and his movie did so well, and like you. His movie did amazing, and it's incredibly way more polished than mine. He did put twenty thousand dollars into his film, and I put five thousand into mine. But I do want to emphasize how amazing what you accomplished was, specifically getting his brother and all the um, nostalgia shots. I mean, that was that was really professional. The way that that all came together. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Actually, I never asked Jimmy what was his response to seeing his brother in the documentary because that was kind of a big deal. He knew Larry was going to be in it. He we we, he knew like it it took a lot of convincing to like tell the story of the brothers and all of that. (laughs) And like I kind of tiptoed around like the the main issue of why why and how and I won't get into all of that. You know what happened though. Yeah. But you can't. Obviously, you wouldn't say. No, it's not no. your place. Uh, it's yeah. it, it's like it's like the wife and kids. It's like you just you don't go there. It's yeah, not... yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's but sad again, though. It seems like his bro is like really guy. wants to um, reconcile. That's the I guess the sad part. But he must have really Big fucked time. Jimmy. <laughs> um, uh, you no comment. You don't have to comment. Yeah, you don't have to comment. Uh, that's all I'll say. Yeah, no comment. So um. So Jimmy's mad, but I don't understand why Jimmy would be mad at you. You didn't, you didn't do anything, say anything about him. He was just upset, like at the whole situation. And I think he's never. This is what Mason, Mason called me, and he's like, "Listen, Alex, Jimmy is FOMO the fuck up. He got five hundred hate comments. He's just <laughs> on FOMO overload. Like you have to, you have to let him chill." And I'm like, "No, like I was trying to, I was trying to produce something else with Jimmy. We're we're trying to work on this other project, and like." I was trying to get like a sponsor involved. Oh, look, Olivia's here. Hi, Olivia. All right, we've got another uh, member in the call. Jimmy's calling as well. Uh, again, joining as well. Hold it. So, Olivia, I can't Hold see. It. I can't see Olivia. Oh, look right there. I can't see anyone but Alex at the moment. Oh, it's a jump scare when Jimmy comes oh, God. in. Look at him. Jesus fucking Christ. We need Mason in here. That's uh, I need We do need we need Mason. We do need He texted me, so get he, Mason he knows in here. Alive. I need the whole Jimmy. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can see and I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Olivia, can I just can I just text him that link? Yeah, just send it to Mason. So Olivia, what what do you do for uh Jimbo? Um, I encourage Jimmy to be the best version of himself that he can be when I get to see him in the city. Hi, Jimmy. (laughs) Jimmy is, uh... He is serious today. Jimmy, are you non-verbal today? What's going on? You seem kind of harsh. You're not talking. Hi, Jimmy, I straightened my hair. (laughs) And Olivia, uh, Olivia, are you, are you a paid employee or what is your association? No. No, no, no. It's pure so, love of the game. Um, yes. Well, 
actually it started out where I have this like meme page myself and like I would just DM Jimmy like hey you should delete this because like uh, I want fun and so I'd be like hey this yeah this one's definitely racist uh, <laughs> so, hey, some people like, need that soundboard you know uh, don't do the camel joke you someone needs to tell you that <laughs> need the extra love and <laughs> sorry about my bird in the back sorry i have a pet parrot so oh no i can't even hear you're good you're good you're good so um but they you're referred to as someone on jimmy's team would you consider yourself to be on his team yes always on jimmy's side always have his back <laughs> jimmy <laughs> you really have these these people they really care about you uh -huh. I see Alex talk about you. He really, he really does seem to have a soft spot <laughs> for you. A lot of these people, they're endeared to you, Jimmy. Jimmy, uh -huh. Jimmy, what? Come on. Uh, yeah. Mason's joined. <laughs> Mason, it's so nice to see you. Um, Thank you. Very nice to finally talk with you guys. Mason, hey, nice to connect. I don't think we've ever connected like this. I don't oh, think so. Awesome. I know. This is I just know. so great. This so is exactly this is what I wanted. This is huge, dude. This is huge. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> can, we get, can we get Gooch in here? Can we get mozzarella balls? We're working he on it. Yeah, we're working on he it. He said he's he trying. <laughs> Mason, um... Gooch. Peebler was there the day that he filmed with Mike, so if you could send a link to Peebler. Oh, Pe Peebler. We gotta get Pe we gotta get Peeb in here, too. We gotta sure, get yeah. Peeb. Send the link to anyone Peeb's you guys think. Must. No, no, yeah. I'll, let's, can I just put I the link? Yeah, let's just put the you link can just out. Post, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. Whoever you want. No, no, I'll send it. I'm just so, I'll Mason, you have, the, you have the exclusive distinction of being the only paid uh, 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 employee of Jimmy's. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good. It feels good. I love doing it. I love making the memes and shit. So it's just so much fun overall. You're really good at it. You've got a wild mind, dude. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I try to just be crazy just whenever I can. Just fucking real crazy with it. Although I do want to ask, are you the one that made the meme about um, Osama bin Laden parachuting from the World Trade Center and saying all timey? <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. No, I don't know. Who makes those ones? <laughs> Any of that, yeah. yeah. It was probably me then. Yeah, it was probably. Uh, I make a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are, is this your full time gig, uh, Mason? Right now, yeah. I was a manager at like restaurants and stuff. Hell and then yeah. I used to do like stream, but now I just do this videos. We do his videos too. And yeah. that's that's honestly <laughs> so cool, Jimmy. That uh, that uh, Mason has found himself a really cool job doing something that he loves. For example, I mean, this meme really changed. Everything changed after this day. The devil mm -hmm. gets chills when the nice guy uh, loses his temper. My Roman Empire. Oh my! That was a big one. That this was is one your Roman Empire, AB, because you think about it yeah. every week, all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, Jimmy, you haven't said anything. What's going on? I'm letting everybody have their platform, being being considerate. <laughs> Jimmy, that's are you gonna call me back? Jimmy, how? Why is it that you've been? <laughs> Jamie, why is it that you've avoided uh, talking to Alex for the last four days? <laughs> Jimmy, you're being very... Your histrionic uh, personality oh, disorder go. has evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> Any comment uh, about the Alex situation, Jimmy? Uh -uh. Did the lead poisoning thing, did you hear about that? That he says you may have lead poisoning? Uh -oh. No. Mad Hatter's disease. Mad Hatter's disease, uh, some call it. Jimmy, do you think it's possible that you consumed a lot of lead over your lifetime? No, sir. No. In the pipes in New Jersey, Jimmy, come on. Maybe James Weiner has. James. Oh, oh, oh it's Gabe. Gabe is here. Hey, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, nice to see you, man. How are you? It's nice to see you not on a Friday, on a Monday, in fact, like the, the opposite. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, it's Mott's boss. Let's go. The Mott's boss is in the house. Oh my, God. my boy. Yes. That internet is not oh, looking too good, good over there, but. Hmm. Oh, we're here. The lighting. Oh. Mott's boss. <laughs> the one and only. You're a star, man. 
<laughs> You're the breakout character. I mean, my God, everybody's asking, who is the Mott's boss, and how do we get more? Well, let me put on my mozzarella boss hat. Yeah, yeah. We finally, you know, I got to get in full gear. Jimmy's mad. Uh, okay. Jimmy, uh, well, Jimmy, any comment so, on uh, the proceedings? A big gulp. Wow. <laughs> That's a huge gulp. What anyway, are you drinking, Jimmy? Anyway, I'm a, well, I'm a long time listener. Like Jimmy, <laughs> forward. What are you drinking, Jimmy? Water. Jimmy Lee, I have a No, that with wasn't you. water. Bring it Fish. back. That's water, Ethan. I have a beef with you, motherfucker. <laughs> you? <laughs> okay. okay, Gabe. I have a beef with you, Jimmy Lee. Wait, right. Gabe has a oh. beef with Jimmy? What happened? I don't even know anything. What? What did Jimmy right. do to you, Gabe? What the right. fuck? You, you, you ran Jersey, baby. Fuck, you ran Jersey, not me. I ran Jersey. Oh. I'm the king of Jersey, especially Matt Pelosian. Matt Pelosian, New Jersey. I, I ran right. Jersey. <laughs> I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I've been behind. Mott's boss <laughs> says he I runs his Pelosian. Jersey, uh, I ran Gabe. Jersey. Have, I run fuck. Jersey. Does anybody else want to claim that they run Jersey? I, I run Jersey. Alex runs Jersey. It never, it never was the Jersey. Outlaw. James, you having uh, some conflict of uh, turf? Are you claiming New Jersey as yours, or are you con are you conceding to uh, hey, these two? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm the Jersey Outlaw. They all know I run New Jersey. That's I'm it. A platform. They know that. They don't even know him at the Jersey Shore. Oh, uh, they, they, even... they know Motspot says the Jersey Shore? Yeah, they I'm do the know the Motspot. Jersey, bitch. Yeah, Mantelokin. <laughs> I ran Mantelokin, baby. Mantelokin. All right. Lava Mantelokin. Left, baby. And Olivia, Mantelokin. Olivia, do you live in New Jersey? Are you local? Uh... No, I'm from New York. Oh, you're from um, New York. You're a city slicker. City slicker, yeah. Nice. We love that. And Mason, where are you? Where are, I'm not, you don't have to dox yourself. I'm just curious if you're local with all these folks. No, I'm in Northern California, uh, like Sacramento. Oh, I see. I see. And and Alex, you do you live on the East Coast near Jimmy, or what? Did you trans? Did you drive out there or trans? Uh, travel out there? Bushwick. Say what? Brooklyn, Bushwick. Oh, another city slicker, huh? Big city folk. They're all city collectors. So, Jimmy, but we're I mean, from the sticks. J Jimmy, we've got quite an ensemble of people that really admire and care about you. Um, this is quite inspiring. Thank You're you. I appreciate that. Now, do you want to talk about. We're here to say. Mods Boss, are you. Um, are you thinking of uh, selling the mozzarella? Are we bottling it? Are we going international or national? We're, we're just, I've been just doing it for fun, having a good time, not really, you know, just, just enjoying myself doing it. You know, Jimmy was famous and you know what? I'm going to make myself famous since, since as we know, behind the, uh, one F'd up Dennis going back seven years ago. You were involved in that. Right, Jim? I was I was the one that actually said, Jim, just be yourself. You're funny when you're one fucked up Dennis. Oh. Because I've been friends with Jim Fuck. for what, I ran 35 years, High. Jim? I ran Atlantic City, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Dave he says he runs that. Atlantic Jim. City. <laughs> That's true. Jim, is that the guy we know from the casino, the paper-wrapped chicken? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> These two are I'm really in pain. I'm the you know where we used to go get the free Hold on. Hold New on Jersey, there. fuck. That was a little. That was a little mean, don't you think, Mott's boss? No, no, I don't. I didn't mean him. I, Jim, and I used to go. Jim used to take me to dinner at the casino with his uncle, and the guy would make his oh. paper wrapped chicken. Oh, you literally? Home. Okay, you're you're thinking of an actual literal person. It wasn't like a racial joke. No, no, not okay, at all. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> okay you good. racist. Not at all. I rap. I turn seaside. Motherfucker. Fuck. <laughs> That's my boy, Gabe. You're doing. I love it. Hey, Claude, Gabe, we love you. Yeah, so, we do. So, Jimmy, um, what's going on with Alex? I, I hate to see that there's some kind of rift formed between the two of you. He did a good movie on me, and uh, I thanked him for that. That's it. Pretty Jimmy? much. 
Alex, that's not exactly true, is it? Um, Jim, uh, we've been we've been talking, we've been we've been working on something, and and uh, you just kind of ghosted me a little bit. And also, like, you were, I thought I just thought we were friends. We said you said <laughs> we were going to go to Ponzios together. Jimmy, go ahead. I don't have anything really to say, Eighth, to be honest with you. I'm so really sad. He had a very good me. movie on me, and I thanked him for that, and I was appreciative of the movie. He mm -hmm. did a great job. I'm yeah, Mott's boss. Your mozzarella isn't it, bitch. <laughs> You're breaking my heart, Jimmy. You're really breaking my heart. I think that that comment really got to Gabe, and I understand why, Gabe. Your 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 anger hey, is justified. Hey, we love you. We love you, Gabe. You're you're part of New Jersey, buddy. Olivia, did you want to say something? You were putting your hand up. Um, I just feel like, you know, Jimmy, he's a complex guy, a funny guy. So sometimes, you know, things go up and down, but he's the star and, you know, you've got to make it work. And Alex <laughs> made it work with Jimmy and Jimmy got his movie. Um, yeah, I wasn't really going to insert much there. So you can follow the well, course of conversation. Well, I'll say that Olivia. Ghosted you. Yeah, that fuck ghosted you. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, Olivia, I want to say you really are a, are really good at your job. I mean, you're doing PR, you're managing Jimmy, and it seems like I can't say it seems like a thank. It might sound like a thankless job at times, and I think I think you're doing a really good job. So I congratulate you on that. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Jimmy may not agree, but thank you. Um. Mason, Olivia, and Alex, are you guys in a group chat at all? Do you guys communicate about that? No, no. Okay. We kind of all talk through me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jimmy, there is definitely some tension between you and Alex that I just don't understand. Dude, I, Alex, I'm, you're really funny. <laughs> he says, he's, Whoa. What was that? he's a funny guy. What, is he, that what does he mean by funny that, Alex? Guy. You are I, a really funny guy. Jimmy, <laughs> what is going on, dude? Why are you so upset? You haven't talked to me since Friday when all this kind of, when the shit hit the fan. I, tell, I, I told you, I love you, man. I love you so much. Like, that's why I told your Bro. story. That's why we did this thing. Uh -huh. And, like, I, I just don't understand why you're treating me <laughs> like I... Like I wronged you in some way, and why you cut me off. I was we we talk like maybe mm. nine to ten times a day sometimes, and suddenly zero phone calls, not a text. And then he texts me, hits me with the K, like that's nothing, or he leaves me on red. Jimmy, do you think it's possible that whatever perceived slight may have happened uh, that's uh, pushed you away from Alex? I do genuinely think that Alex doesn't know what he did wrong, and I think it, it'd be a good maybe time to communicate so that we could mend some bridges here. I There's nothing really to say, to be honest. I told you he made a movie on me. He did a really nice job making a movie. He really did. The documentary is really well done. Jimmy, do you think Alex was deleting comments? Like in no, your... you, you know what? You know what? Here's the here's what it is. Here's what it is. Ooh, here we go. Here's what it is. Here's what it is, guys. Yeah. Here we the, go. A couple days before the movie came out, I sent Jimmy a copy of the movie and he called me and he said, you need to redo the entire thing. It's very boring. Oh, I don't like the mozzarella boss. The mozzarella boss has to oh. be removed completely. Oh. And, and he just like, yeah, and, and to be honest, you guys, to be honest, I screamed at him. I full on screamed at him on the phone. I like, I've never let loose on somebody like that. And I apologize to him for it. I was very apologetic, but it, it, there was a huge lead up to this of him calling me a schnorrer because he said I didn't pay for the meal for his crew. Oh. He wanted me to take everybody out yeah. to Balthazar. And it turned into this whole thing. And now we're like at odds with each other off this weird shit. And it's like, come on, Jimmy, let's, let's work it out. I understand. I, I'm not a schnorrer. I put out five grand for the movie. And... And also, like, the movie, everyone loved the movie. It was good. It, it didn't get a ton of views. It didn't make you famous. But, like, it was a good movie. People liked it. And, like, now you, like, want to treat me like I'm the devil because I didn't turn you into Sylvester Stallone. Jimmy, was his recounting of that accurate? Whoa, the second angle's really, sorry, whoa, I was just like, that's, <laughs> that's cinematography. Mott's boss, how do you feel knowing that Jimmy was lobbying to remove your uh, section? 
I, yeah. Well, I always know, don't forget. I, me and Jim, Jim and I go back since 1985. That was when so I was born. I know, I know Jim, and he knows me. And you know, he, you know, he was bound to become famous. And the movie did finally come out. And then I had to put my two cents into it and say, you know what? I got let's let's face reality. Um, I got no. Never once does he ever mention about me and my involvement with one effed up dentist, how I came up with the idea, ABC, always be cleaning, and all the stuff that went along. So he had seven years of fame, and <clears throat> you know, it was always wiener, wiener time with the W. Well, now it's the flip. Let's flip the switch. Maybe it's going to be mozzarella time, you know, with the M. <laughs> I'm sensing I'm sensing um this is really interesting because I'm sensing there is a little resentment uh mozzarella boss not just for the his suggestion of cutting you from the film but it, I'm sensing you feel you've not been credited enough in his rise to fame. Correct. 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 Can I can I like, say one thing? Absolutely. We'd love to hear from you. The only thing he said true was the the uh, the always clean teeth. He did he did do that part in the one F up dentist, and the one F up dentist was my videographer John Bell's idea. It wasn't Rob's idea, and Rob was put into the movie because he was a friend. And the only thing he said true was always be cleaning teeth. That was his skit from the movie I used. Mott's boss, no. do you have a response to that? My response is Jim. I said you're funny when you're yourself. I said, you're one fucked up dentist, and that's what the video should be. I said, you should go with that theme, not the outlaw. You're not the outlaw. You're the dentist. That's interesting. We've been trying to give him the same advice, Mott's boss. Uh, Jimmy, did he come up with that name? He's funny, but he's himself. No, he didn't come up with that idea. It was John Bell that came up with the idea. Rob Never. did say that I should be the one effed up dentist, but the problem is it hurt my business career so i do street comedy but he didn't come up with the idea and he didn't do everything to make me famous i've done everything myself and rob was in one of the episodes that's the truth well jimmy you know some people say uh there's a uh, there's a line in a drink song that i can't recall but it's something about when you rise up you got to bring your people with you maybe mott's boss feels left behind a little bit in your rise to I, fame i I do feel a little left behind, Ethan. Right. You know? Well, that's just him I, being... I do. I mean, here, me and him, we go back since 1985. I was washing his uncle's boat. Uh, you know, we we had many, many good times. And, uh, you know, when he got to the top, I got kicked to the curb. Wow. That's, that's, that's you know, also a total... Like... That's also, Rob, such a total lie. <laughs> um, oh. You're really a liar. You're really oh. a liar. You think it's a joke. Okay. It's really not a joke. And you well, really hurt. Well, trying to act like you're the reason no, I got honest. famous. Jim. I've been breaking my fucking balls at this shit for 25 years. You were in one of my freaking you videos. Have. You are not the reason I am where I'm at. Don't even play. Hell yeah, Jimmy. Not nice. No, Jim, Jim. Jim has no, Rob, Rob, very, Rob, very Rob. Don't insult me on H3, who I, who I love and I pride myself on. <laughs> And lie to them on the air and say you made me famous because it's not a joke because you did not. You have done nothing for me. You were on one of my episodes and that was it. So okay. don't bullshit them. It's not right. It's wrong. Don't Jimmy lie. He made himself famous. Jim, Jimmy definitely made Jim himself famous. Jim did make himself famous. Yeah. Well, it's it's wrong very... to lie to Ethan. Well, hold on, Jimmy. Uh... It's, it's wrong to lie to people, Rob, and do that because you're lying. It's not right. Well, Jimmy, if Jim I can interject, himself... I, if I can interject a bit, I don't think, Jimmy, he was accusing you of. Of, I don't think he was saying he's solely responsible for for your success. I think he just, I think he feels a little left behind, and I think he's being raw and he's being emotional and he's being real for you right now. Just to say, like, as a longtime friend since 1985, he he wants to be more included in, in all the amazing things you have going on. He has invited me though. Jim has, for the record, he's invited me to New York. He's invited me to L.A. He even and I invited me to the invited first him to everything, and he just with mostly doesn't come to anything 
but he came Correct. to came to the thing when Alex filmed because he wanted to be included. Ah. And he, the things that can get him noticed. But when I invite him to go to New York to Little Italy and do a lot of other things, he doesn't do them. Okay, so honest. so a new, being honest. this is a new dialogue emerging here, Mott's boss, that suggests that uh, perhaps you could be more supportive, but perhaps you're just uh, uh, pursuing the clout. I, I have to interject here before Rob responds. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Jimmy is saying that he ends in, he invites Rob to Little Italy and stuff like that. He invites Gooch and people to do stuff like that too, but it's it's hard because it's like a full twelve hour day sometimes where you're with Jimmy, you're doing FOMO, you're on the street, you're running around, and like Jimmy has this insane energy. I mean, there was this week where everybody in New York was sick except for Jimmy. He's like <laughs> Robocop or something. I don't understand it. So I think like not everyone has the energy to keep up with Jimmy and do something like that. And and so like a lot of times people say like, oh, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go do the FOMO. Sorry, Jimbo. Um, is that a, is that a good, uh, accurate kind of uh, response, Mott's boss? I, I would agree. Jim, Jim has invited me many, many times for the record. Yeah. He's invited me to New York. He invited me to meet you guys when you guys first met and did your thing um you know i i just have different uh things that i need to attend to right i mean you're so, Rob, but Rob, man, the I, daycare cleaning business it's really Rob, important Can you talk about the daycare? Uh, hold on guys go ahead jimmy yes rob did i invite you when i met ethan 10 years ago to come yes you did it was about seven years ago jim but yes you did okay. that's also a lot but go ahead. wait you what? never invited me no you did <laughs> Jimmy didn't okay. invite me anything. <laughs> Gabe says he wasn't invited. Fuck. <laughs> Gabe, I don't know that. My... Gabe, you, you are invited funny. my friend, but you didn't invite me. That's interesting. Jimmy, your thoughts? About Gabe? He says he wasn't invited. Well, I don't know Gabe very well. I met Gabe at your live show in June one time. <laughs> I like Gabe. He's nice. Now, but I only met him once. Mott's boss, uh, d at this point in time, does anyone want to interject anything? I want to continue the conversation, but Mason, Olivia, do any of you guys want to add anything? I just want to give a pause and allow everyone to talk. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I've got COVID and I'm super high, so I'm trying to okay, stay cool. along. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. That would be an interesting experience for you. I yeah, trust it's feel good, so positive. Nice. Nah. <laughs> Good vibes, Mason. We love the memes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Olivia? I don't, have, I don't have much to say, but I sent you guys, like, an email when, like, the whole debacle was going down. Um, but, you, yeah. Do you guys have an email to pull up? So, so Mott's boss, um, Jimmy's, I think, called, uh, made some kind of accusation of you being a clout goblin. Do you know what that is? Following him, he now said, that he's famous, he says he, trying to get lip off of his tail, yeah, coattails. <laughs> yeah, the coattails. The coattails of Jimmy it, Lee. Hit it on the nail, Ethan. And so, do you well, do you accept, uh, Mott's boss, that you may be riding his coattails? I I cannot accept that. No. And why is that? Other, other than speaking with you, I that I will give him credit. He, me talking to you and the team right now is because of Jim and because of Alex. Right. This is all because of Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy is everything. Jimmy's the cause of all this. <laughs> and this is, I'm, I feel I'm, like I'm a, I'm a little upset because I feel like in this room, there's a lot of love. And Jimmy, I just, I sense that you have a lot of resentment for some of the people in this chat, and I just feel like it's a shame because I don't feel like it has to be this way, Jim. So, Ethan, I'm a very intelligent, smart person, and sometimes I see things. Mason's aware of this. We talk a lot, and I don't say things, but it doesn't mean I don't know things about people and the things that they do. Okay. So the reason I am, I'm very protective I told this to Zach tonight of you guys. I can list numerous episodes when things have possibly threatened you at your live show in June with somebody. I'm not mentioning a name. And 
uh, other times, and I totally talked to Zach, and he'll 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 nod his head on this, and Zach. called him, told him, told him the <laughs> truth, and and he and, and he tells me what to do, and I tell him the truth, and I'm never once wrong. You, Zach, am I right or wrong? Zach will Zach knows that. Oh, I don't need Zach to tell me that, though. We know that. But Zach, are you okay, not, are you so, not commenting, Zach? I, I mean, I, I'm very upfront with Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, yeah. I'm a loyal, loyal Absolutely. guy. Absolutely. And that's not loyal. questioned at all. That's not questioned at all. No. Loyal, loyal to the end, just like you're, I am with my wife. Your, your but, loyalty but, is not in question, Jimmy, I promise. Right. So, so and my, my integrity and honesty, despite my character and my offensive jokes. So, when I find out how people are unfortunately i do sometimes i get very hurt because deep down i'm a very sensitive person mm -hmm. and then i kind of shy away from people when they hurt me and do things that aren't very nice kind of like why i don't bother with my brother you see yeah because I, I ethan i'm a lot like you and howie you guys are the probably the most generous nicest guys that I've met just Thank to be kind and nice to me. And I'm not just saying it to to, to kiss your ass because I'm on the show. I'm saying that as a truth. And I like to surround myself with people that are generally really nice and in it for the right reasons um, that really love me for me, not for ulterior motives and if they can get something from me. Does that explain it without having yeah. to go into detail? Jimmy, I love you this? for you. I love you for you so much. I just want to hang out with you and not do FOMO or anything. <laughs> like, hang out you and me. Just like, you know. Get, get Jim, do I day. have ulterior motives? What's my motive, Jim? Well, you're uh, Ethan. Ethan hit it. What do you call it, Ethan? A clout something? A I don't clout know. goblin, wow. I believe it was. Yeah, the yeah. Ethan, Ethan hit that one right on the head. Rob, That's a mischaracter. I like you. I've known you many years, but I do know what you're in it for. And you're a little I? deceptive with me, and you, uh, <laughs> you know, you're just, you're just, you're just who you are. I'm not angry with you in any way, but you're not forthright and honest, and and it makes me hurt. You hurt me, and then I kind of shy away. If Ethan's wanting to know the truth, uh, uh, let, can I interject here? Because I feel yeah. like Jimmy is actually being quite vulnerable with us. I think being able to admit that when someone hurts you, that how you shy away, I think is a quite a quite mature and vulnerable thing to, to um, my admit My brother to. my entire life, <clears throat> Ethan, has done very mean things to me, and this is why I don't have a relationship. So when people do things to me to hurt me, deep down I would do anything for anybody and give them the shirt off my back. I would give you my last dollar. But if you hurt me, or you lie, or you're deceptive with me, or you have motives, and the love isn't really there, because I'm an older person now, I won't engage, and I will shy away. But so and, do, do you, and, and, being, and being so open and honest with us and vulnerable, mm -hmm. do you think it's possible that sometimes, as a defense mechanism, you shy away when you perceive that you've been slighted? But I think that being able to recognize that is only half the battle. I think the other battle, Jimmy, is being able to confront that feeling and uh, talk with the other person about it. Because I think you'll find most times, Jimmy, that the, the, the harm that you perceive on a personal level was never intended. And I will, I will admit on the air, because I'm far from perfect, and everybody on the H3 crew knows that. Yeah. I am a non-confrontational person. I'm very bad with that i'm like that with my employees and uh i i shy away because i don't like confrontation and conflict uh, and and that's that's my problem that i have to work with so i ethan that's a very valid point and okay you're right you're right on that i will give you that one because I, I i hate to see like let's just start for example with alex i mean alex mm -hmm. is really he put a lot on the line to make this documentary for you he spent a lot of money and um I just, you know, I, I don't see why you guys can't just connect. Let's say this, Jimmy, he slighted you and you're feeling, again, let's recognize what it is, a defense mechanism, and we all have them. And so you see yourself, because um, you don't want to get hurt and, and you don't want to even go there because it hurts so bad to be betrayed by someone you love as a friend. But I think that 
I think that if you guys can make a connection and that that's how you heal, Jimmy. You know what I mean? Because if you if you just withdraw, you you leave in pain. You leave with an open wound, and we need to allow these wounds to heal. Okay. You said, Jimmy. You told me that you loved me. You said that we were like brothers. And oh, oh hi. <laughs> spit it, spit it. So I really yeah, been... bonded. I really bonded, Alex, with you a lot till I got wronged by you a few okay, times. Okay, okay. That's this... why I backed off. You know, <laughs> Jimmy, like my brother. You're a lot like my brother. <clears throat> Jimmy, you, can that's you... what you're treating me like your actual brother, dude. I I love you and I care about you. I want the best for you. I want to bring you to the level that you actually. That I promised you when I made this movie. I said, I want to give you that fame that you want. But it's a multi-step process. It's not just the movie. It's the movie, and then it's another project, and then it's another project. And it's like creating a brand for yourself as not just like a street comedian, but as this host-type character like Howie or like Ethan, like you want to be. Okay. Um, I was, you said something interesting, uh, Jimmy. Alex did something specifically that hurt you. Can, would you be comfortable sharing that with us today? Well, me and Akira watched the movie. That was the, he's hurt me about four times, but the first one was we watched the movie and we called him and we suggested changes and he started to scream and curse at me and Akira. And Akira actually taped the phone call because she was, she couldn't believe it. And, and she said, I'm going to tape this because people won't believe he did it. So I said, tape I, it. Very, I said, I don't think upset. you should tape it, but he was so rude. And he he did this with um, with uh, Andrew Callahan's assistant Jade, who called me, who couldn't believe how he talked to her. And I said, "Boy, this is being repeated on me." And you know, this guy—that's a mischaracterization. Do, do well, you, I'm telling you. Hold on, you hold on, hold on, Alex. Let him let him talk. This is important. Uh, you're, yeah, you're you're, right. a, you're asking me a question. So, Ethan, you know. I talked to uh, Brad from Newsmax and Mason and about four people about this. And they said, normally there's a round table when you do a movie and there's always people talking about things that maybe don't fit or maybe it's too long or maybe there's too much time <laughs> in it. And uh, maybe the movie should be shorter. And I watched Sly's documentary three times and it's mostly a documentary. There's not that much about his filming. So I was suggesting that um, there's too much comedy in. So, Jimmy, uh, uh, if I can... It, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go ahead, go and, ahead. Go and ahead. the way he painted my brother and I, it made me look bad, not my brother. And the mozzarella boss, as much as I'm friends with Rob, he doesn't fit in the movie. But um, now I to know why. To be fair, it was very uh, shoehorned <laughs> oh, yeah. in the Mott's he boss put him, He put him in the movie. Now I know why, because he was going to make a movie on him. So he... But he didn't tell me that yet. But I'm Alex not making a movie. Hold like okay, hold on, hold on. Wow, this hold this it. is okay. Hold, hold on, it. this is interesting. This is this is what Alex said, Jim. I put him in, not because he fits in, but because he has the same dreams of you. I said, but people won't understand it. But the real reason he put him in then was so he could get a vibe on him to make a little movie, which he made today. So basically. The thing I said to you earlier, Ethan, about people having ulterior motives and not being honest with you, that doesn't build relationships with people. That That's one thing I preface myself, <laughs> honesty, integrity, and always doing a lot for people. It's There's a movie called yeah. Supermensch with Chef Gordon. He talks about coupons where you're always doing a lot of things for people and you can redeem coupons when you want. And I built my dental business on it, my relationships with people on always doing a lot of nice things for people. And then when you get a coupon, if they're a mensch, they respond. So okay. you're, you're asking me, honestly, I'm, I'm being very honest. That's with you. I, 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 Jimmy, I don't, I can't say that I've seen you be this vulnerable and I really appreciate it. It seems to me if I can extrapolate the big slight happen between Mott's boss and Alex, you believe that Alex and so, hold on, let me let me paraphrase and let's see if this is accurate and then you can respond. Okay. You think Alex put Mott's boss in the film, which was shoehorned in. I'll grant you that it's because he wanted to launch another documentary with Correct. Mott's boss. And so you so feel he put him in. He put him in. <laughs> And I thought I believed Alex when he said to me, oh, no, you don't understand Jim movies. He called me an idiot and said he's in because he has the same dream of you. I go, he doesn't fit in the movie. And me and Akira were politely telling him things to edit and just talking nicely. 
and he was cursing at me on the phone, saying, "I don't give a f about Kira. She's a nobody." Who is really Kira? I didn't Akira say she's the nobody. Me I said social she... media and helps me, and she's a very uh, nice is person. Is she an employee? She... Do you pay her? No, she no. They her. do social media for me, but she was you, very hurt. You and pay her? I don't even want to say what she said about you, Alex, but she's right because you All were right. so well, to me and her. Let me. Let, can I? I can I respond? Can I respond to this now? You can do what you want. Ethan's asking me, and I'm being very. Honest. I, no, no, no. I just I, I'd like to say my piece here because I feel like I'm being mischaracterized as someone. So, Who's so, very angry, and so, I think like. Go ahead, yeah. Go not ahead. angry. I'm being honest. Okay, so no, hold no, on. you are being, you are being. Hold, honest. Let me, hold on, guys. Let me. I gotta moderate person. a little bit here to keep this uh, watchable. Jimmy, thank you for being so vulnerable and honest. I'm uh, very grateful. Alex, obviously, there's been a lot said, so let me give you this time to respond, and let's just let Alex talk. So let me hit a couple of things. We'll go in chronological <laughs> order. Andrew Callahan's producer Jade called me when the trailer came out. She was very upset because Jimmy promised them up and down that they would not that he would not post anything with Andrew. I told Jimmy that I intended on putting Andrew Callahan in the trailer. Um, and Jimmy said, well, if you do that, can I blame the whole thing on you? I said, absolutely. Uh, you did say I could blame it, but I said, yeah. do not do <laughs> it because I told her. No, you didn't say don't do it. Yes, you got I, stars yes. in your eyes. You got stars in now, your eyes and we round tabled I, about it. The, and you decided I, that it would be a good idea to include it in the trailer. And we, we all agreed. It was my idea. I wanted to do it. And I came to you and I said, please, can I do this? I know you promised them, but I want to release this. Cause I'll be Andrew, back in a minute. All right. Well, I can go to the bathroom. OK, so, thank you, Jimmy. That's OK. Andrew, right. Andrew made a big stink about us not releasing any footage. So hold and, on. this is this is a whole different thing. You guys met up with Andrew Callahan. And then, that, in the movie, there's a scene where we meet Andrew. Yeah, yeah and then he, he asked you guys not to use the footage? He asked Jimmy not to use the footage. He kind of big-timed me, and, and I kept saying, I'm not part of this. I'm a separate filmmaker doing my own thing. I'm going to use this. And he kind and I gave him my number, and I said, I'm going to use this very, very soon. And he kind of big-timed me and ignored me, which is fine. Um, but then his producer, Jade, called me and was asking me to remove the video. And I was like, absolutely not. I, I I put this out there and it's got Jimmy in it and like uh, you know like the tendrils reaching in it, this affects so many people I mean it's really remarkable this whole why movie did, was a, did, was a crazy disaster in so many ways but why was it that um that Andrew didn't want you to include the footage do you think because he was making his it was before his comeback and he wanted <clears throat> to have the most clout from his comeback and he didn't want us to like scoop him on like his big return and I didn't care about his big return because of the allegations and whatever so I was like fuck this guy I'm just gonna put him in the fucking trailer uh, you know it is what it is I mean because it's, it's an interesting part of the movie it's like a huge interesting thing that Jimmy and Andrew met like why would that ever happen I agree it got me intrigued definitely but I'll say something that I think maybe Jim uh Jimmy if I just want to say that I gave the girl my word and I he felt did. Bad when he did it and the girl called me and I told her to call him and you ripped her a new a-hole, and she called me and said, that guy is the biggest a-hole I ever met. Not a good building relationship type of guy. That's All what right, she basically well, said. Well, that's what, and then you did they it asked to me, Nakira. I'm not trying to build a relationship with you Andrew You did it to me and Akira when we, when we gave you feedback on the documentary. You told me, you told <laughs> me to re-edit the whole movie, well, Jimmy. You said on. it was bad. You said it was no. boring. You said it had to be no, completely that redone. That is a lie. That's what, You're that lying is, again. Hold on, guys. Line, hold on, hold on. I said you could... Take a few things out and shorten it. I did not say redo the whole movie. No, you said Stop it had lying. to. I had to put he all of the FOMO at the beginning. Out of the movie. No, no. What, I, if I, I had to put. All, can I make a point, um, Jimmy? I believe there's something you you might be missing in that. You're the subject of the documentary. You you're, get you're not. Exactly. You're not supposed to have editorial control of what the documentary becomes because then. It's just a puff piece and not a genuine slice of life. So I think well, if then, well then I'm then I'm wrong. I thought that there was a round table and everybody talks and agrees. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the filmmaker is creative and does his thing then. Then I then I'm wrong. Well, I was just so upset when I raised my I voice to you that. and I told you this. I was so I was so upset because I told you I said I sent him the link. And this was this was after we'd had a big, a big disagreement where he had we he had said that I had to pay for a meal for his crew and stuff. 
and and we and I wasn't gonna send him the movie before it came out, but I decided I was gonna because he kind of like we had this whole thing and we made right, and he was like, okay, well. I want to see the movie. And I said, okay, but go home and watch it alone. Please watch it alone. <clears throat> and he watched it on his phone in a diner with Akira. And I was like, why did you do that? That's not how to watch this movie that I like, I slaved over. I did so much for this movie. And you like, you pissed it away on like watching it at fucking Ponzio's on your phone. And then you were like, it's bad. And I'm like, well, it's not bad. It's good. I, I you you it's watched bad. it in a diner. You did say I it's bad. You said it's changed. bad. No, I didn't. No, you said, I think and then I, I the think reason I, why I was upset at Akira was you yeah. said, you said it was very emotional at the end for both of us. And Akira goes, well, not both of us. Uh. And I was like, I was upset. I was like, what the hell, Akira? What did I ever do to you? <laughs> no, I, I think I can, I understand what's happening here. On one hand, Jimmy, you have to appreciate how much work and time and love Alex put into creating this documentary. And I think that when you, when he finishes it after long, long lasting uh, tons of work, to re receive that kind of criticism is perhaps certainly would make uh, me feel unappreciated. But then on the other side, Jimmy, I understand that you feel slighted because of um, the potential collaboration between Alex and Mott's boss. And you feel like people were, uh, you felt deceived in how their relationship uh, came out. So I see two very different um, wrongs that we were, were perceiving. But I don't think it's anything that we can't work out. It seems, Jimmy, like I'm talking to you and you say you didn't understand how that works. So in a documentary, the roundtable thing is real. But in a documentary, Jimmy, you're the subject, right? So that's the difference. And so we had a roundtable of producers, by the way, who like my friends who all watched it and gave me feedback. Just to clarify. So it, it makes sense to me that you wouldn't be involved on that just because you're the subject. And it said, okay. you said, maybe I'm right. So maybe you're willing to. Um... So if that's how movies work, then, and I'm the subject, then I have to, when I work with a film person, you know, I have to maybe research stuff and, you know, talk ahead of time. So we're all kind of on the same playing field and tell the filmmaker kind of what I'd like in it and what I expect to make sure I'm comfortable, which I didn't do. But and Jimmy, Jimmy, fault. I don't think you're going to find any serious filmmaker that will make a documentary about you on those terms. Okay. I'm I just, and, and I'm just saying that, uh, well, because that's how documentaries work. Otherwise it's just a PR piece, you know? Yeah. Right. And, and then Jim, you should, you're, if, if now that's you're attacking me and telling me that I'm like, that I'm attacking everyone and making really mischaracterizing me. I feel like, um, everyone else who I've worked with like Olivia and Peebler and everyone who I've worked with on the movie and including Mason too, has a nice things to say. And I think like, I was n very understandably like passionate and also like super upset to hear that you didn't like this and movie. Texting, we had so many texting all my social media people to create drama and trouble. None of them like that, Alex. When you started, Jimmy, you you because I was upset you that you asked text, me to pay for a meal. So for, you for your started whole crew. to That's text all my that. people <laughs> to text all my people and create problems, and they text me. Why is this guy bothering me? You're like a troublemaker. Okay, pal. one sec, one I'm sec. I'm not a troublemaker. On, I didn't sec, understand guys. why you You're asked me to pay for the meal. Guys, hold yes, on. This is are. new. This is yes, new you information. Are. You're a troublemaker. Hold on, pal. one sec. Hold on, Jimmy. Well, let's let's figure this out. No, because I'm angry because no, he creates yeah. a lot of problems, Ethan, for me unnecessarily. I understand. I don't create any of these constantly, problems for your team, and he lies a lot. Yes, you do. That's not yes, true, you Jimmy. Do. Yes, you, you do. You uh, hold on, guys. Hold on, Olivia guys. Uh, Olivia has a interjection. I'd like to hear from her. Well, wow, that was um quite the battle there. <laughs> but I just I feel because like because I tell the truth, though, Olivia. I don't have to lie. That's why. Okay, right. Jimmy, Jimmy. One moment, Jimmy. please. Jimmy, love you, Jimmy. Okay, just um stay there for a second. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> I think that you guys both have like worked on this and Jimmy, I understand how, like a lot of things for you with the time, you know, you're trying to get big really fast, right? Like you're trying to get big fast. So things have to be in your time. Right. Um, I think Alex was like working with that. And also like the whole thing of like you guys both getting emotional and like um, going back and forth, like while working. Um, 
I mean, man, you guys are getting emotional now and it's making me lose track of like what you guys are even saying. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I forget what I was even saying. Olivia, can I ask you, did you receive a text from Alex that you perceived as shit stirring? Oh, that's what Jimmy was talking about. Okay. So basically, no, I, no one thought that. Peebler thinks like Alex is fine. Um, no one thinks it's a drama stir. People were actually wanting to talk to Alex and like have Jimmy like know about the scenario too, because Jimmy was getting um kind of painted as a guy who like can't be worked with and like doesn't have time or consideration for filmmakers, which Alex defended him on. So like now people in the future will know that, you know, Jimmy is able to future. able to like um be filmed and stuff. Stuff like that. A A Mason, did what text message did you receive from Alex? Um, I don't recall anything with me. I mean, we, we did, we're you got, pretty friendly. You got messages because you told me. Mason, well, you're you talking about that when, so what happened was, it was, uh, we were supposed to go out on Saturday to celebrate the movie coming out. And what happened was, Jimmy called me and he said, I want to go to Balthazar, which is a very expensive restaurant in Manhattan. Very, very, very expensive. And mind you, he does not pay his crew, so the meal that he gives them is their payment. And he said, listen, you never pitch in. I want you to pitch in for the meal at Balthazar. Is that is that a false characterization, Jimmy? I did say I that. Do you know why I said it? And you Can said that you really said quick. it because hold I was Hold on, hold on. Jimmy, why did you why say I that? Said it? Why? Because this is this is, go. this is Alex. I got all these jobs. I got all this money. I got a big apartment building in New York. I make a lot of money. I said, well, grab a check. You're a big shot. That's not I'm true. You called me poor a bunch. You kept no, calling me poor. No, no, no. You said I, I live in the you, tenement. You kept egging you said me I live on. In the tenements, like what Jimmy. a big shot you are. Hold on, and, hold on. No, you hold said on. I live in the tenement. Hold, That's hold, all I hold, did. hold on. Uh, Alex, what what are, are you um what is your financial situation if I may ask? I am a freelance producer. I do a little bit of work for MTV doing like video editing sometimes. And I mostly do work for Media Matters, which is like a uh, sure. It's like a you know Media Matters political activist group, right? So yeah. like it's a nonprofit. I don't make a lot of money. Um, I don't make a lot of money on YouTube. I finance this all out of my pocket. I live in Bushwick. Um, Jimmy tells me I'm poor a lot, so I'm like Jimmy. You I'm not poor. You told me what a big shot you were, all no, your connections, I, and how rich you were. So I said, grab a check. You made me do it because you egged me on, my brother. You That's, did. No I didn't bullshit. egg you on. Yes, I you did. You yes, you did. Do you think, do you, did, did, did you ever say anything like that to Jimmy, Alex, where you were maybe suggesting that you were, uh, very successful. Very yeah. successful no, what, this financially. This is what happened. Yes, the, the, the night that, the night before we were supposed to go out, I was doing work on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Awards. I was doing video editing, social media work for them. I got $500 for the night. Five hundred dollars. Um, you told me you get thirty five hundred dollars. Wait no, a minute. I, I never said that, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my got... God! You're so. I'm leaving. You're full of shit. You're Hold such on, Jimmy, a bullshit. No, Jimmy, don't leave. We're 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 I'm not, we're getting I, to somewhere. Know, like he, then he lies about everything. <laughs> He's a fucking liar, man. He told me thirty five hundred dollars to do that. He told Jimmy, me he's a right, big Jimmy, shot. He's a Jimmy, guy. Jimmy, can you just sit? No, I don't because know I can't saying. stand being lied to. Jimmy, you, how about liar. this? Jimmy, how about All this? He does is lie. Uh, Jimmy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe Jimmy, just if you want to just take a maybe, I don't know, if you want to excuse yourself and cool off, yeah, but please come it. back. Come back, okay? I think like All Jimmy. Right. Thank you. Mott's boss. Hold on one I'm, sec, guys. Mott's boss, you have something to say? Ethan and everyone including Jimmy Lee and Alex and all the great people at H3. Thank you for having me. I have to go. <laughs> I appreciate everything. The show's great. Thank the you, Mott's wait. Boss. The cheese can't wait. What can uh, I love you guys. Mott's Boss, one last thing I wanted to ask you, if, you're not in, if it's not urgent. Um, did you go behind Jimmy's back and attempt to become the star of your own documentary? That is something he brought up. Absolutely not. Right. I would. I would never. In fact, I even said to Alex, "Why do I have such a big part in this? It should have been five minutes." <laughs> well, Alex, why did he and have Jimmy. such a big part in it? I would love to address that because there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the mozzarella boss's scene, and I think like the movie is not about Jimmy or the mozzarella boss or any of that. The movie's called Just About Famous. It's about like this 
Jimmy is like an empty void of want uh, and of desire. And even if he got Sylvester Stallone famous today, he would still want more and more. He's like this empty void of want and need. And that's like a relatable, interesting thing for an audience. I so see. I think like thematically it tied in. Yeah. I see. That makes sense. Can I, can I also just say, I'm a really small time guy. I'm not, I feel like there's a lot of mischaracterizations being made about me at the very beginning of my career on the internet here. This is like my first thing you guys. And like, I was with Jimmy Lee and I worked with him for like four or five months and we talked every day. Like, obviously there's some volatility there, but like I'm being like attacked here and I am very uh, defensive, obviously, but also like, uh, I, I, I like don't know what to do. This is, uh, I'm very, well, Alex, I'll say, I don't think that you need to feel overly defensive simply because I don't think anyone besides Jimmy thinks you really did anything that wrong. So I think the, the problem that I'm focused on is more the interpersonal relationship between the two of you guys. Because professionally, Alex, I don't think you have anything to worry about from this situation, to be frank with you. Well, I should just stop looking at chat, to be honest. That's that always a good... Uh, there you go. Yeah, let's not look at chat. Hi, um, chat. <laughs> All right. But um Mason may, may the force be with you. All right. May the force right. be Thank with you. So here. much Mozart. <laughs> right. We'll Mots, talk tomorrow, Mozart. Yeah, Mots, Mots, Mots. yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mots. Thank you. And um Jimmy, is his around. mozzarella good? Would you would you concede that at least? Be mad at me even if I never tasted it. I'm being honest. It's so good. Wow. It's the best. He's I ate it many sure times. It's good, but I never, I never tasted. I'm not a big cheese eater. I'm being honest. But don't you I'm think? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> That's okay. Why. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. You don't eat cheese. That's fair. I'm a cheese guy. Okay. Mason, you, you need to. Mason, how are you doing down there? You have any thoughts? I, uh, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm zoned right now, bro. I'm just. You're not in here. <laughs> More than any, no, nah, I'm not here. Okay, cool. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, thank you guys so much for having me on. It was, uh, oh, it's it nice was, to see you. I love it. Was I, great so to nice finally to see you. You as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys have a good rest of your night. Okay? All right, you take we care. Go, Mason. go, go, Phil. go relax. Thanks, Mason. Right, bye, everybody. <laughs> poor, poor Mason lays out his mind Mason, trying, to, trying to process all this. Yeah. This is crazy. This is like, guys, what is like, oh my God. I, I've been, I've just, my whole existence <laughs> on YouTube. I've been watching this show and watching you, and now I'm here, and it's like Jimmy Lee is attacking me live on the air. My best friend, my brother, the guy who I love with all of my heart, Jimmy. Uh, can we please I, I, understand? I, I, I love you. Why? We we. What I is feel Jimmy? we can. Please, let's I didn't lie to you. Let's explore uh, because I feel like Jimmy's being really vulnerable right now, and this is a good opportunity. Jimmy, if he could be honest as a person about things okay let's go one by I one i don't mind i don't mind being friends with a person ethan who has integrity and who's honest so and jimmy cares. let me stop you what name first of all let's name one thing that you feel alex lied about let's start with just one thing and let's start there well he told me how much he gets paid for his freelancing gigs it's always like two to three thousand dollars he just told you 500 and he told you on the air that he never told me that. Okay, Ethan, Jimmy. That's okay, that's a lie. That's, that's a lie. So Alex, that did, hurts me. Makes me not trust him, Ethan. So Alex, did you ever tell Jimmy you make that much money per gig? When I so when I do work for MTV, I make a lot more money because I work for like a week <laughs> and I'll make a day rate. Got it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying any of this, by the that's way. That's okay. This, you, might, you this might ruin all of this for me. But anyways. Nah, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Awards was for Disney. Jimmy tried to get a ticket to the show, and then he asked me to get him a ticket to the show. I told him I couldn't get him a ticket because it's my first time working like with That's with true. Clients. That's true. And he said, if you were really my friend, you would do that. If you really cared about me, you would pull strings and do that. You and said, I said that, Jimmy? I said, if you if you could pull... No, I said, if you can pull strings, get me a ticket. Then you said uh, You said, you could do it if you really wanted to. And I said, I do really want to. I just can't do that for this. And also, like, you could have bought it. There were tickets online. I ever, like, it was like a public event. And I just, like, I couldn't get you backstage because I was down underneath Barclays Center. And, like, I just, like, I was out of my element. It was not, like, mm -hmm. an MTV gig. I've worked with them for, like, oh. four years. This is, like, my first time working. I gave oh. them a really good deal to do it because I just, like, right. wanted to be there and be, like, mm -hmm. on Foot the Foot in the door. 
Yeah, foot in the door. Yeah, you Again, understand. I'm really small. I'm really, really small. I'm brand new. Yeah, Jimmy, you understand when your foot's in the door, you're not in a position to be asking for favors and stuff. You know what I mean? He portrayed to me all the time that he was a big shot. So you how called me poor. You told you? me I live in the town. Okay, okay, okay. Do okay. not say I live in the town. <laughs> to you know, if I can interject something, it, to go back to the beginning... And thank you, Gabe, by the way, for sticking it around. I appreciate that. It makes me feel better to know that Gabe's here, honestly. That's like taking a huge weight off any, of my shoulders. Do you want to add anything, Gabe? It's nice to see you. It's nice to feel your presence. Well, I'd say it's a war. Who, who believes who's lying? Who believes who's honest? It's just I can't really tell. But to my thing, I think, I think Jimmy's trying to twist tongues to see that he's a liar. Mm. But I don't, I don't believe it. I don't know. So Gabe is saying that he's potentially getting the vibe that Jimmy is the one being not honest. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I think perception is reality. <laughs> and I think Jimmy, I think Jimmy really like, I think he feels slighted by me and that's really real. And I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry for that. I don't want you to feel like, like I was representing, like I had all this money to you. It's just, you kept telling me, Jimmy, all the time, how much of a poor loser I am. You would tell me I'm young. What did I, I say? No, what did I say you that you're a I, poor loser? You made me feel that? like that. You told me I'm what? young. I have no experience. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I say that? Hold on, you, hold on, you hold, said on, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make this totally clear. Stop, stop. What did, did he you, did say exactly? That? Hold on, Jimmy. What did he say exactly, Alex? What exactly he said to me was, he would he would put these fake articles in like LA Wire and stuff like that, and he's like, look, I added you to the article, and you know, I didn't tell them how young you are, or how you haven't worked on anything, or how nobody knows who you are. I just called you a top-notch filmmaker. <laughs> So you felt, and, and Olivia, I see maybe you are nodding and agree. Hold on. No, Jimmy, I, give me one sec. Olivia, do you, can you corroborate that at all? Because I saw you nodding. She was there when he said this. Oh, Jimmy's calling me poor. Um, <laughs> like, this is nothing new. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jimmy's called me poor before. Like, this is nothing new. Like, this is, I, I'm not, like, I'm, I don't know why anyone's shocked. Like, this is, like, yeah, this like, This is classic Jimmy, Jimmy she's saying. So, Jimmy, he, 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 he has, he, I understand. Okay. Jimmy, I don't know if you can hear me. He's like, okay right now. But I understand where you're coming from in that he has a way of being condescending. Yeah, he has uh, a way with words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, like, do you have any like, other questions while he's, like, um, on a leave of absence? That's a good point. Well, basically... It's interesting, yeah. I get the sense that he's just a real sensitive guy and he he doesn't have a it's not easy for him to analyze his own behavior but he has a really easy time analyzing other people's behavior and when he feels slighted it, it's part of his condition frankly I believe I think it might be again I'm not a I'm not a professional and I don't want to diagnose him but there are personality disorders that have fear of abandonment and fear of being slighted and fears of being, you know, that people didn't really like you. And I think that we're seeing symptoms of that. And frankly, Jimmy went through a really turbulent childhood. And so these kinds of issues really um, can, can, you know, rear their head uh, even, even as he, you know, and so, so in a sense, I, I sympathize with him, but in another sense, I, I understand that it would be hard to have interpersonal relationships with him uh, when he can come down quite harshly on you guys. Um, He's coming down with Thor's hammer on me right now. I don't I mean, know what to say. Yeah, like, Jimmy, he wants to get famous, and, like, he is a sweet guy, but, um, you know, he, he has a goal in mind, and he's going to put himself first, and, like, you know... Um, that's his goal, you know, ultimate formal. So, Jim, Jimmy, uh, now that you're back... I understand from Alex, essentially, that he felt condescended to at times, like he had mentioned when you included him in the write-up, that you put an emphasis on, like, that he has no experience, that he's a nobody, and all this kind of things that made him feel so like you were talking that, down to that, him. That, again, is a lie, because when I spoke to the editor, I said, write something punchy about the filmmaker. So I think one of the articles said he's a top-notch New York filmmaker. I would never 
No, it wasn't in the article. It was when you called me on the phone and said, don't worry, I would never tell anyone how young and inexperienced you are. I tell them all you're a top-notch guy. It, and it's like, I, I've worked, you know, I have my own credits. Did I, I say that to you, Alex? You, Ella B was there. She was sitting right next to me when you said it. You said definitely said that to me, Jimmy. Okay. So are you, is that an acknowledgement that, uh, or, or are you denying it, that it happened, Jimmy? I, I, I never said that. What I said is I'm going to paint in a nice light in the article, which I did. But Jimmy, is it, is it, Jimmy, is it possible that sometimes you communicate and you're not aware of even how you're saying, how things you're saying are coming off? I think I will, I yeah. will say this about me. I do <clears throat> say things wrong sometimes and yeah. I come off, but my, <laughs> and my wife will tell you this. My heart is always in a good spot, and I love people, and all I want to do is be loved, and I don't have a mean bone in my body. And I will always stand by the people that are, that help me and, and do right. Just like with Alex, he is a new guy on a block, but I made sure in the article that he was painted nicely because he did my film. And I went on Harry Mandel, thanks so, to you, so and I did something very just, nice about uh, Jimmy, so, just to analyze, it is what, what, it you, is. what you just said was a little condescending to Alex. Okay. And I also told you when you went on Howie and when you went on the podcast the first time with the trailer, not to mention, I kept saying, don't mention my name. Just let the movie speak for itself. Like, I don't want to, it's like, it's not about me. It's about the movie. And so like, but, you, know, you just kept focusing on like returning to me, like giving me some sort of like uh, uh, quid pro quo. And then it, what I realized was that later it was so that you could turn to me and try to tell me what's what about the final cut of the movie. Alex, that's that's not, not, Al, Alex, that's not why I did. Alex, listen, I will win with you. We did a movie. You did a good job. I'm not going to win with you. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm older. That's the end. I'm Jimmy, not. we were we're best friends. I no, don't no, understand no, why no, you're no. suddenly acting like we're not. And, and no. now you've attacked me on my favorite show. I don't I don't want to attack you. I, I you just I, did. You, I don't want to be bothered. Can, can, I, my movie, can I comment, please? my movie and that's it. Alex, if I can maybe give some advice to you, is that when working with someone like Jimmy, who is this, you know, larger than life character, let's put it in a nice way, um, that it's, I think it's important to not take things personally as much as that's possible. Obviously, you're close with him. But Jimmy, obviously... Um, He's a, he's a funny guy. I mean, he's the outlaw. So, like, it's <laughs> you you know what I mean. Like, he's he's a flame. He's a hot flame. He's burning. You know, you got if you stand next to the flame, maybe you get burned. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't have a mean bone in my body, but when when I get misled and things happen that hurt me I, I, people aren't honest with me i don't want to have that relationship i'm sorry that's uh, all I, 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 that makes me really sad because I, 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 I alex makes me more sad than you to be honest with you to be honest, honest with you jimmy i i didn't do this for views or to go on the pod i never wanted to be sitting here on the h3 podcast that is like my nightmare Stop. to be honest i'm a watcher was, of this hold on was, let him finish jimmy let him finish he was I, in the live chat last week on monday according to mason Texting for to call in. Okay, well yeah, he's a fan because, of the show. That's nothing. Wrong I was with that. texting a call in because yeah, now it's like about. about what you just said about. you never wanted to be on the podcast. Hold on, hold on. Texting oh, in the live oh, chat to Jimmy, go on this week. Jim, you're uh, lying Olivia, again. Uh, Jimmy, hold you're on. Lying lying again. Jimmy, you're. I think you're you're building <laughs> mountains out of molehills, as the expression goes. He didn't text me. He was on the live chat. Jimmy, that's come not... Come on to the show. He just said he never wanted to be Jimmy, on the show. But Jimmy, that's not that serious. Because I Olivia, wanted to you talk were... about the movie. Now. Yeah, I was going to... Go ahead, Olivia. It's, like, hard for me to even keep track of my thoughts with, like, the peanut... Like, 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 um, <laughs> what is it? Gabe, <laughs> uh, Gabe, what's happening? Are you... What are you doing? Yeah, I just ordered something to eat. And I was oh, like, cool. I hope they don't take my food away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm still outside. So I'm still on a That's what's up, dude. Let's get that food yeah. going. Oh, yeah. I just ordered some food. I don't want them to take my food away. Hell no. Good. Yeah. You're the Come man. Um, sorry, Olivia. Go ahead. I had to touch in, touch um, base with Gabe. Yeah, that's okay. We love Gabe. Yeah. Um, so Appreciate the love, my bro. You guys are the best. Love you, yeah. buddy. <laughs> and uh you guys and i'm mm -hmm. glad to be on the podcast on it's not it's not friday yet but it's monday monday yeah baby happy 
Monday. Monday's as good as day as any, my friend. So uh, uh, go ahead, Olivia. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So um, to keep track of my thought. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, Jimmy is like, oh, Mason told me they were in the. Uh, he was in the live chat. I mean, after the call with Mike, like even I was in the live chat because like every time, Jimmy, every time you're on the damn show, I'm in the live chat being like, hey, fact check that. <laughs> like, my, like I do it too. Yeah, like I'm a fan of the show. Yeah. Like Jimmy, these people, your FOMO crew exists because of Ethan Klein. Like I, I know, know, I know, I know Ethan that. Klein. Okay. So, so like the reason why Alex is in the chat, like saying he wants to talk is he wants to speak to his work. <laughs> like if I, if I drop eight bands on a movie, Oh, you bet. You bet. I'm, I'm Olivia. I'm it's call. okay that he was in the live chat and he said he wanted to be on, but he just said to Ethan, he never wanted to be on this show. I, I did it before. Hold on, Jimmy. Hold on. Hold on. He lies. Okay. No, it's Jimmy, true. hold on. Jimmy, Jimmy no, I think you're taking things <laughs> too does. literal. Jimmy, yeah. you're taking things too literal. Just be what he's saying is I don't want to be in this scenario. Yeah. I don't want to be in this scenario yeah. where I have Jimmy bickering at me from Cherry Hill. I have this person doing this. Like I have this person saying that. That's not the scenario he wants to be in. Everyone wants to come onto the H3 podcast like and show their work. Like Alex is in film and art. <laughs> I'm just a college student who happens to live and, in... And that's he okay wants to be on, but then why did he just say he doesn't want to be on? That no, was my Jimmy, point. Jimmy, you're, you're... Well, I feel like we're focusing on the wrong thing Jimmy, here. He Jimmy, did not want to be you're... in the podcast like this. Like this. This scenario is not ideal. This is not ideal for him. Jimmy, right? you're, you're, you're on the defensive. I think you're looking for... I don't like people that lie. He didn't not lie, lying, though, man. Jimmy. I don't know that that's an accurate representation, for example, of what just happened. But was, this is this is an accurate representation of how things go with Jimmy. If I can speak without being interrupted, Jimmy, it's that like he's misinterprets something and then attacks. And like what I'm trying to say here is like I didn't, I didn't want to be on the show. I wanted Jimmy to go on the show and talk <laughs> about the movie. If if you guys wanted to talk to me, maybe. But like the whole design of the movie is that I don't have to say anything. That the movie speaks for itself. That Jimmy can kind of speak for the movie, and like. It just it, it just should have been that and like it it spiraled into this crazy thing with Mike and now with this and like now I'm just like on the show and like Jimmy's screaming at me calling me a liar and like and I'm feeling like oh my god like what what is happening here like I, I just I, think... I just don't understand why why it's come to this instead of like like I'm I'm just not in this for the cloud or anything. I just want to make movies that connect with people, and that was what I thought I was doing here. I think I, if I can do this, like uh, Ethan's last word, maybe uh, you know, like another show. Um, <laughs> Jerry Springer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ethan's I didn't, thoughts. I didn't want to invoke that name. Right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. What we do is obviously a lot more. Yeah. Scary. Completely original. <laughs> Um, Alex, I have to, I think maybe when dealing with Jimmy, it's important to not take things too seriously. I mean, he's done so much to people in this crew that if we were to treat Jimmy, if we were to just take it as it were, then a lot of us would probably be very cross with him. But I do find that with Jimmy, it's important to... Again, not take things too literally, not take t things too personally. And you're not wrong for doing that, by the way. But I just feel that with J Jimmy, he's a, he's, a, he's a butterfly. And what I mean by that is that he's a unique individual. Every butterfly's wing pattern is different, and Jimmy is no exception. And, 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 and then to, to summarize something else, Jimmy, to go back to the restaurant, even if you thought, Jimmy, that Alex was a big shot, I don't think it's right to expect him to chip in on this meal. I mean, um, I, it was this Jimmy brought you guys out for a meal, right? I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to go to a meal at all. I said, let's wait until we see how the movie does. And he wanted to go out and shoot FOMO on the street. And I said, okay, well, like, when he goes and shoots that, he has his people with him for the day. And he wanted them to go out to eat at Balthazar. And he was like, you should pay for it. And I was just like, listen, I don't even want to come. And I'm not filming the movie anymore. There's no reason for me to like be there filming or anything. And he was like, well, you can shoot my stuff for social media. So, and so, I was like, but I don't really do that. So, Jimmy, you can understand why 
he, he first of all, even if you thought he's a big shot, I mean, he's not a, you're obviously much wealthier than he is. I mean, you're a well-established uh, dentist for Christ's sake, but you can't bring people out to a super fancy restaurant and then ask them to split it with you. I mean, that's just, it not, wasn't split it. He wanted me to I, pay the bill. I don't, that whole I don't eat How much was the bill? That. Do you remember? It would have been, it would have been like three. I've, I've been there with him before and it's like two, $300. I, I think like, it, it wasn't about the bill. It's that that's how he pays his crew. And he's basically asking me to pay his crew. And it's like, that's why are interesting. you? It, the only the, reason, Ethan, I did it was he was pontificating of his connections, how much money, his big apartment building. And he was acting like he had a lot of money. It's still thing. not right. So though, I, Jimmy. I wasn't pontificating on how much money I have. Uh, but, it, hold, but Jimmy, it's still not right to th Fo to foist the bill on him. I, I don't think that even right, if so I, I, I could have been wrong on that. I just did it because he was trying to carry on like he was a big wig. That's the argument. That's not true. It was because you wanted to come to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Awards and I couldn't get you in. And then you were like, well, then you should just use the money from it. Then you should just use the money from it. I mean, that's, that's my... It's not, Jimmy, Jimmy. It's, that's my perception. Jimmy, hold on, again. guys. Jimmy, it's not a lie. The Rock and Roll Music Awards hold has on. nothing to do Jimmy. with it. I always said it because you were acting like a fucking big shot. So Jimmy, I said, hold on. Check if you're a big shot. Hold on. That's the only reason I said it. Jimmy, he's not lying. He's explaining <laughs> his perception of events. He's not lying. He's explaining Nothing his to feelings. Nothing do with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It came up one time on a phone call, and it got dismissed. It, you, when I told you lie. that I got hired for it, you you got really excited, and you tried to get tickets, and then you called me two days before, and you said, "Can you please get me in?" I said, "I really can't do it. I wish I could." And then and you said, "Well, how much?" Go, and then go, and, and really then you said, go. "How much are you getting paid for it?" And I said, "I'm getting paid like 500 bucks. I'm taking a really big deal. I'm not giving them any. I'm not." Making you a lot of money. We're making twenty five hundred. No, you lie no again. I said I'm not you're making a lot again. of money on this. All right, all right. Uh, all yeah, lie. yeah. We're we're re we're rehashing. You lie a... about oh. everything. That's all you do is lie. We're done, pal. We're done. Uh, I'm I, not working with I a hate, liar. I hate to hear that, I'm Jimmy. Sorry, Ethan. Was it, I don't know why. It's 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 your life. life, but um, I will say that I I truly believe, Jimmy, that. <sighs> I think you're you're being really, and I understand like um, your your point of view, but you're really seeing a lot of lying and malice where I just don't believe there is any. That's my honest opinion from the outside, and I think it's a shame because I think Alex does really care about you, and I think it really just genuinely hurt his feelings that that uh, to hear you kind of. To speak and Jimmy, you so, told me you take so, make fifteen thousand dollars a day at your dentistry. Um, so, <laughs> if we're talking about how much money someone makes on something, I never said I didn't say that. I did say that. Wait, what was that? Did I you? Just, he makes fifteen thousand dollars. I can make a, a lot of money. I told him that. That's true. That so, is true. And you're st are you making fifteen thousand a day uh, even now? You mentioned that not, business is not, down. Not often. Not often. But yeah. I said I have good days. Yeah, oh, okay. You called me the other day and said you made eighteen thousand for the day, Jimmy. That's you said you said I'm the big you said I'm the biggest earner here. Nobody earns more than me. Did you not I say did that? Say I'm the biggest Wait, producer. what? Hold on. What? What was the context of that? Why would why did he call you and say that? He just calls and he gets I all gassed up. He just, he you just said, said you did say it, Jimmy. I said to him in passing once on a good day I make fifteen. I did not call him <laughs> last week and say I made it. <laughs> I haven't even talked to him in a while. <laughs> Four well, days. Last time we talked was Friday. Ethan, yeah. I won't win with this guy. He made a film. He did do a nice job, and that's it. I, I don't really feel we can belabor and go anymore with I him. Understand. I, I understand. Well, I, he's I, an okay I, guy, but he's not for me, this guy. Well, okay, I'm sorry. I just feel like you've got on my favorite show and you've soured a lot of people against me at the very beginning of my career. I, I wouldn't take it, I Alex. This, I wouldn't I take it too really... seriously. I don't uh, think. Yeah. I know, but I know, but there's like a hive mind mentality with chat and I've definitely been there. So I just, I just want to say that like, you know, Jimmy, you know what you're doing on some level and I really do love you and I care about you and I don't take it personally that you're I, the one I, doing I, this to me. Alex, I have to disagree. I don't think he knows what he's doing on any level. <laughs> well, I think, like, I, I think, think he knows in that, in that sense, doing. I got to defend him a little bit. I think he knows what he's doing when he when he's 
saying this stuff and trying to paint me in this way because he knows how people act on the internet. I'll talk to you privately alone with Zach. You see how now he's acting like there's going to be something else and like there's nothing else. Alex, there's nothing else. It's all done. It's all over, guys. So so okay, let's let's wrap it up. I I want to say, you know, was it worth all the lie? I I genuinely feel bad that Alex. You know, it seems that you you're a good guy and you did a good job and that you're you feel uh genuinely hurt and Jimmy also feels genuinely hurt. It's just a bit of a sad impasse and uh, it's just a, it's a shame and I'm sorry to see it. But I think you're both great guys and I just really wish that you know we could go back in time. I, I wish we could go back in time. I wish that we could roll back the clock and walk the path again and take a different, you know, make different decisions that would lead us down a path where we're all friends. I wish I could go back in time a lot of times, you know. But we got to we got to stick on the road that we we chose and and I think, you know, as we walk this road, it's important to look back and and see where we've come from and to know that the people we have crossed paths with although they may not be in our lives forever, that that crossing will last forever. Well, thank you for that. I like that a lot. That I, I feel like the way it's all, it's all and, washed uh, away now. Gabe, do you have any um, anything you want to say? Closing thoughts? Well, it's kind of like over disagreement, especially going out with people. <laughs> but you know, to me, honestly, if I'm if I invite people over, I don't ask them to chip in. If they want to add, you know, want to chip in and the rest, it's fine. But it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to waste people's time. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> that's a fair observation, uh, for sure. I like that. That's a fair observation, don't you think, Jimmy? Yeah, he's right. Don't waste time. Especially when that, you No, old. you're not hearing the... No, you're hearing that's the part you want to hear. He said that you don't invite people out and then ask them to pay. I heard that, and I, I'm going to say I'm wrong on that. Okay, okay so that's nice. That's, that's nice, Jimmy. I'm wrong on that. I, I appreciate, you know what, Jimmy? What? And I, I do want to say, though, I know you're a tough crack to, a tough nut to crack, and I do appreciate how you've been open and vulnerable about things that I know you didn't want to talk about. So I appreciate I, that. I didn't. I did it out of respect to you and you had everybody on and I was very quiet in the beginning and you happened to get it out of me like you did a year ago when I didn't want to talk about my family you got yeah. it out of me that's twice can and I ask you so, um, separately because I am a fan of Alex's documentary and the way well, that I will say again Alex made a very good movie on me and I thanked him for that I really did. He did a very good job. I he, have nothing bad to say about the movie. He, he, the involvement of your brother was really um, a fantastic surprise and lended a lot of gravity to the oh. story. Um, what was your feelings about your bro- seeing your brother talk about you? Because the way he spoke was very reconciled. He wanted to reconcile. He, he, it sounds like he really loves you and misses mm-hmm. you and, w- and wishes that he could, you know... Mm-hmm. Uh, have a ha, uh, have a life with you in it he's hurt me tremendously through awful things he's done to me for the last 55 years since i was a little kid and i, I it's not healable ethan in one day maybe right. when i'm in the studio quietly yeah. not on the air i'll sit with you and zach and i'll tell you everything and you'll jaw will drop and you won't believe what he did i'd love so to, I, I would says, yeah the thing he says on the air makes him look good and makes me look bad. I because see. Because I said the truth about him, and he was kind and nice about me. So to a naked eye, they're going to go, Jim is not They don't nice. know what happened. Nice. That that was but a great— Ethan, yeah. That, you don't know, and, and nobody knows the pain I've had through the years with my parents yeah. and my brother and how mean he was. And he did so many things hurtful. And I can't go back and I can't forgive when a person hurts me. I am married to my wife, who is probably the kindest, nicest person, whose family's treated me so nice. And they've done so many nice things for me. And I would die for them and do anything because they've just done nothing but love me for me and accept me. 
And I feel your 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 crew is like that. Before you came, you came late on the last podcast, and I thanked everybody in the crew for 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 um, accepting me and loving me. You were late, and you can ask the crew that. And I, I believe even, it. No, I, and I even I know. said to Dan, I, I hope you don't hate me, and he smiled. Yeah, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I, I, I did that, and I, and I did that because I, I I don't care about money. I just care about people liking me and. And your your crew's been nothing but kind. And then by accident, I saw that Sam made a cake. And I, I went and thanked her. And Zach said, you're not supposed to know. And I'm an idiot. But I said, that was like the kindest thing you did. Because little things, Ethan, mean a lot to me. My wife's family's like that. So when, but, you, when you saw your brother in the film, there wasn't warm feelings or nostalgic feelings. You felt bitter because... It's, well, e- it's easy for him to want to reconcile, but their great mystery is that nobody mm-hmm. knows what really happened between you two. Yeah, and I did ask Alex not not to put him in because it was very uncomfortable for me. And Alex found his phone number on his own. He called him on his own, and I, I politely said, "I really am not comfortable having him in." And he put him in, and maybe it did add to the movie. The only it thing did. I'm, I'm I promise it did. I'm a little bit sad about, and I'll and I'll say this to Alex is that it makes me look bad and him look good. When honestly, Ethan, I've been hurt tremendously by him my entire life. He's done awful things to me, even up to when my dad died. And he acts like he wants to reconcile. He loves me, this and that. But if you love a person, Ethan, you support them, you nurture them, you take care of them, like I would do with my wife or she does with me. You don't rip them down, treat them like shit and punch him and screw him and do shitty things to him. Okay, you said you love me and that's what you did to me tonight. You said you love me and that's what you did tonight. I will say something. I don't really dislike you. I don't like how I got treated by you when you screamed at us and some of the other things you've done in the last week to me. I don't dislike you. I do like you. You did a nice movie. When we were making a movie together, we were very connected. We talked a lot during the day. And I felt a lot of camaraderie with you, and I shared my most intimate moments with you. And then I felt so hurt when I shared my thoughts on the movie and some of the other things you did after the movie. And you hurt me so much that I've been so hurt by my family, it's hard for me to come back to you and love you because you've hurt me. I don't dislike you. I'm just afraid to get hurt anymore by people. All I do is get hurt, and all I do is always take care of people and do everything for them. And I'm too old to get hurt anymore. So I hope that explains it better. I'm not really a bad person. I'm a good. I don't think I, you're a bad person I'm a good all, person. But I don't think I've been been all. hurt so bad, and in the last week, some of the stuff that's happened with you really hurt me, and I I, I just can't go there now. Maybe in the future I can, but not now. Let me okay. maybe maybe just I do want to end with this, Alex, on your part. Do you see why perhaps Jimmy was so hurt? <laughs> By the way, it seems that you, you, I, I really, you yelled. I really yelled at him. No, I definitely, I, what, I yelled at him and I'm, and I apologized to, for, to him about it many times. I did. That's I was true. really, That's I was true. really, really, really upset when he, cause he really, I mean. So hold um, on, Alex. So, so sorry to cut you off. So no, 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 Jim, sorry. Alex apologizes and understands what no, he, he did. did to upset you. Now, Jimmy, may I ask you this? Do you understand why Alex was so angry that he was yelling at you? Do you understand where he was coming from? He said to me, I'm keeping the film exactly the way it is. I'm not changing it. I don't give a F what you want to care or think. And how dare you have a care watch. But me. Jimmy, do you understand why he was upset? I did ask you not to show I the movie honestly, to anyone. Too. Honestly, Ethan, I think he was upset because, you know, when you're an artist, and you make, and he put a lot of time, and he really did because we talked a lot, and I respect that. Maybe it hurt him to hear that I wanted the movie changed, and some things changed, and it upset yeah. him. But, but the way he treated me, and, and what, and how it whole went down, it was like I just couldn't believe it. And me and Akira, we were having lunch, and we just when we hung up, I'm like, we're looking at each other like a deer in a headlight. What just happened? 
<laughs> right. But I think you really, could be more. Really, could it, you, is it possible you could be more forgiving of Alex in that sense that well, it was it, a high if, emotion situation? If it, if it was just that one thing, but then other things happened. Okay. All right. So I, I Jimmy, need time, Alex. Let's not dive time. back. Let's not dive yeah, back let's, into it. Yeah. Jimmy, my phone's always there if you want to give me a no, call. I, I don't really think, Alex, you're, you're a bad guy. I just got a little misled with you and heard a little bit on a few things in the last week i just i got to take a little break right now but I'm jimmy not jimmy That's can i all. put it in per, like if you do um you take everyone's teeth and replace it and you put it and you're proud of it and you do all this work and then the Ooh. next day they come in and say you know fuck you this looks like shit i hate everything you've done here i would here. be upset so yeah. I understand. Yeah, how and that's I, I him. He he. This documentary was a, a whole set of teeth for him. I know, and, so and, and it was my first. I one. understand, and I do understand. That. Yeah. I do. Okay. I do. Good. I really do. So I think I think maybe I don't know if we can resolve this today, but I do feel like potentially Possibly. we've laid we've laid some some positive foundation here for you guys to maybe connect in the future. And Ethan, I I want to thank you for in a roundabout way showing me a little bit about me so I can understand myself. Cause a lot of times I don't yeah. and I listening towards the end of this and I need to take a little bit of look at me sometimes and, you know, understand I'm not always right. Yeah. I'm a straight shooter and I'm a nice guy. You, you're going to, and it, there's nobody more loyal, but you know, everybody has their faults and you know, I have, we all know that personality disorder. So there's things yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and, and listen, you've been so, through such a, such a tur turbulent childhood. I mean, can we end on maybe getting both both of you guys apologizing to each other? That would be really sweet. I, I, I want to say I'm sorry I was hard on you because you know what, Alex? I was. I don't dislike you. I, I was kind of hurt by you with some of the things that happened last week. I don't hate you. That's nice. I don't have feelings like you toward like my brother who was just did so many mad things. And I want to say to you, Ethan, I do really love you. I mean, the things you've of done course. for me, getting me on Howie or coaching me, I. I owe you like the world. You're like a real friend. You really are. You're well, nice. Person. Jimmy, you're you, listen. I, I really I, do. I don't know what else to say. You're gonna make me cry. Right now, honestly. Well, Jimmy, you're. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. And I'm I mean, our, a little our emotional here. Our relationship isn't in question. I understand. Uh, I understand. Uh, I I know who you are, Jimmy. I understand. I and, want you guys at your crew to know that. There's been instances, nothing to do with Alex or anything, but in the past with some members of my crew or whatever that didn't have your best intentions of heart. <laughs> the first guy I called was Zach, and I told him stuff, and Zach would coach me what to do. <laughs> and a couple of times he may have called you and then called me back, and Zach will say, Jim was there, Jim took care of it, and Jim will always be there for you and will always <laughs> take I appreciate of, that. You're always loyal, day. Jimmy. No one, no one's ever questioned that. You're a loyal motherfucker. That's we'll right. give you that. And I do that with way. my wife's family. Anybody has anything to say about my wife's family? Maybe because of their Asian or anything, <laughs> I'll fucking kill them. No, because that's the loyalty <laughs> you, I have. You do say when that, though. That you love, say that. No, well, Keep that's just the character. We're not doing right, character. Right. So tonight. if somebody's in character, can they say joke about them being Asian? Yeah, if they're in character. Okay, they're in character. Jimmy, like, but what I'm saying to Ethan is how I am with people who love me and are there for me and take care of me and, and, and I trust them with my life, I will be there for that person forever and ever. That's Jimmy, your apology to Alex I thought was touching. Alex, uh, No, no, it... I, I, I do, I do want to say that because I was really rough on him, but I felt I have some merit and I need a little time to heal. I, Alex hasn't tremendously hurt me. He's done some things that's disappointed me. So and Jimmy, let's the let, wanna, let, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're building bridges, Jimmy. And then Alex, is there something that you want to say to Jimmy uh, about how James, you handled some things? James Weiner, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry in the ways that I've slighted you. I'm so sorry that I got upset with you. I had never really gotten upset with Jimmy before ever. We've mm -hmm. always just been buddy buddy, and it was mm -hmm. the first time he'd ever heard me get upset. And I'm sorry. I. I was in over my head with this movie mm. and I put so much on the line um, financially and just like everything. Really, I put, my, really I put that, everything and I also on the line. want to. Um... Hold on, don't cut him off, Jimmy. He's having his moment. Oh, no, because Olivia is. I want to say something nice to her. Well, too, okay, well, well, hold on one sec. Uh, Al so Al let Al Alex finish. Yeah, I let Alex finish. Yeah. That's my fault. Um, no, you're good. You're okay. 
when when we made this, I, you know, I told you my intention, and I think, you know, I just care so much about you, and I'm sorry that like hearing you say all this actually makes me feel good because I've been texting you, being like, what's going on? Like, what did I do? What did I do? And so well, at least at least now it's on the public stage, and like I know how you feel about everything. If you love and, me, if you love me, it's you keep saying you do. You have to be, you have to love me, and not hurt me. You see that? I, that, I that, hear you. The, I'm, okay. I'm and sorry I for want to smiling. say something to Olivia. Olive, are you there? Olive, okay. she's here. Yeah, me? she's there. So, <laughs> no, not no, you're, no you're, not you're, you. Oh. You're a person, Olivia, who's believed in me. You were one of the first people on my team a year ago, and. I will say something because after listening to Ethan, I think he's right. Sometimes I'm a little hard on Olivia on the streets when she doesn't film exactly right or whatever because I get I get impatient and I get I'm I'm, I'm a perfectionist and sometimes I'm a little rough with her and I I'm gonna admit that because right. I'm on and she works guy. for free, Jimmy, for and, Pete's sake. No, no, and I want to apologize for being like That's that. Good. That's good. That's nice. Know, that 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 girl there stands by you. And and she does love me because she's not getting anything out of me. Maybe a meal. Just, <laughs> I don't think anyone's doing the it for the meal, is, Jimmy. Uh, no, no, no. What I'm saying. Certainly not her, Alex. No, exactly. But what I'm saying, Olivia, is sometimes I get frustrated on the street when I'm not doing well, and then if they're not built, come on, let's go. We didn't get any footage, and I just want to say I'm a little harsh, or I don't mean it, but I, I just like to get out and hustle and get shit done. So I want to say to her, in in. I just want to say I'm sorry sometimes when I'm a little rough with you. That's there awesome. you go. That's nice. Just try to be nice. That's all. Do you accept That's that apology, heart. Olivia? That's not my heart. Um, yeah, I mean, both. She's a good person, <laughs> Olivia Detail. You really are. Deep you're down. Good. Deep yeah. down. No, you're a good kid. I know <laughs> it's you over a year. Uh, I've known you over a year. Hold on. Let me uh, go ahead, Olivia. Um, yeah, I think <laughs> one, like, I think the whole reason why, like, there was even like turmoil between Alex and Jimmy to begin with is because they're both pretty blatant people. They will tell you how they're feeling. Like, you know, it's not like you can read their face just like how you can read mine. And I'm kind of like the same way of like, you know, I can, I can like sugarcoat things, but like, yeah, I'm like, I, I'll be blatant too. And like, I'll tell Jimmy he's not funny when he's not funny. So like, um, I, I do understand like, yeah, he's frustrated. He's in his own head. And like, sometimes he says things that are offering because like, I'm just doing this for fun because I love like the H3 podcast. Like Thank Jimmy's. You. So, well, you're like basically you used to be in New York. You went to California. Jimmy's here for you on the East Coast. <laughs> he's my rep <laughs> over there. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Rep we are. Here. We are. So we he's are. my live show in the I city. We're in New York every week. That's yeah, it. exactly. Come find me. I'm in New York. How about remember that? <laughs> And then, yeah. and then, Jimmy, is there anything you want to say to White Claw Gabe, who's uh, mediated this? Well, I think White Claw Gabe's patient to, to still be on. Yeah, and I, I, I met White Claw Gabe at your live show. He's a super nice guy. And That's I didn't get true. to meet him too well. But um, he's, he seems like a good guy and a uh, little nutty like us. And uh, <laughs> nothing nothing but nice things to say about him. That's nice. All right, appreciate the love, bro. I know, I know, we've been Mike going for a really, really long time. Can ride shotgun and run New Jersey with me. You we've been going so, so long. Do we? Do we have time for the eel pit still? No, we definitely don't have time for oh, the eel pit. We are way over. No. It's like sick. Listen, I, Jimmy, I got to tell you something. This probably make you feel good. This show was supposed to end an hour and a half ago. No way. And I kept you it going because I was so there. compelled by this yeah. impromptu um, meeting that I stayed well beyond. And I thank the crew for sticking around too. I think we thank all you. understood that this was a historic moment. I want to apologize that I was a little rough. I, I'm really hurting now. The movie's fine, I like the movie, but I'm just hurting things that happened. And I, I'm okay now, and I think I'm feeling a little better since we talked the whole That's thing out. That's good. I really wasn't. That's I'm good. Honest. So I've been trying to get you on the phone. That's again. honestly amazing. Yeah. I was trying to get you and on thank the you. phone. Thank you to, every, to everybody. That's H3, so welcome. Alex, and, and everybody. Yep. Olivia. We okay. love you, Jim. Yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. nice I to hear. I love you guys a lot. Yeah. I, I mean that. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank and you and you Olivia, th thank you for being so nice and taking care of Jimmy. It, I mean, it's, it yeah. seems like you really do a lot for him, and I, and I thank you for, for doing that selflessly. That's very sweet of you. Well, thank you guys for one, like reading the chat and then, <laughs> and then having us in the call, especially me, because I'm a little bit more like random. Like I could be any revolving of 
faces of Jimmy's, you know? Mm -hmm. So like um, to have me on, it meant a lot. You know, shout out to you guys. Shout yes. out to you. Thank shout you for you. Uh, thank you for changing his diapers. Olivia. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zach, go come on. Go I gotta I gotta cover your shift, Zach. There you go. Uh, oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is, Zach. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There Bingo. It is, Zach hey. Oh. Yeah, and, and thank you, Alex, for the wonderful documentary and caring so much. Thank it truly much. is amazing, and I hope you don't feel bad about it. It really, really is a great work, Beautiful. and you should be proud of it. Appreciate and I think it. everyone is really. I said that. I yeah, did, he did yeah. a great job. All right. Hey, Alex, to give you an idea, last night for the fourth time, I was in my bedroom, and I was able to figure out how to get a YouTube on my search on the infinity, and I watched it on the big screen, not on the computer. Then <laughs> All right. Last that's night, the, yeah, that's yeah. the way you should watch it. Well, I that's how I watched it last night. So. I appreciate that. Jimmy. I, I, yep. all right, I guys, listen, lot, please listen. Thank you, guys. I uh, gotta say goodbye. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for getting on the call. This truly was a historic evening, and I appreciate you guys so much. So, thank you, thank you to everybody. And, um, what a day! I mean, my goodness, you never know what to expect here on the wow. 8 Podcast. Yeah, I really, really didn't never do that to go that you, you really yeah. never do. One thing I can say for certain is that I really, truly believe that everybody's heart is in the right place here. Hmm. And sometimes, you know, things go sideways. Sometimes things don't come out the way you did. And it just seems that sometimes sorry is the hardest word, as Elton John is saying famously. <laughs> and I think we, we... It's a very human interaction. I'm very grateful for everyone being so vulnerable. It's interesting. Thank you, Phid and thank you, Phidias, <laughs> for... Uh, Phidias, your thoughts on, the, on everything. Do you have a closing uh, thought? And another new person potentially comes in the li your life. It's like you compare, oh, what if we did? Oh, is she more beautiful? Is she more cool? Is she more loving? Is mm -hmm. she, like, did you have this as well? How is... Standing over for Phidias. We really capped it off perfectly. Alright. Guys, it is so fucking late. It's 6 o'clock. I gotta go. My computer died. I don't know how I'm gonna do the show tomorrow. Dude, you're oh. getting a Dell. Alright. Dude, you're getting a Dell. It just doesn't turn on. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Too bad. Yeah, I have to get more info, but uh, maybe you try plug it in? can figure you, something out. You come to my house if you want. And if it doesn't work, we just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you could stream from here. Thank you. That's true. You can right. just come here and just do a, a member stream from here. That's true. And bring uh and bring the computer because I I can probably take I, a look at it. I suspect that the the power brick, it's an power supply. With that, I think we have an extra here. We could try swapping Is it. Is it out. a big juicer? Mm -hmm. Dude, let's do a PC fixing stream tomorrow. Oh, maybe that could be the stream. Yeah. Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Troubleshoot that shit. All right, guys. Love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all the members, you guys. I run New Jersey. I run New Jersey. Nah, dude, I run New Jersey. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We'll be back. Uh, members tomorrow, hopefully. I mean, yeah. I'm going to say 80% chance tomorrow. Sounds good. But Wednesday, 100% chance. Boom. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>